<laughs> yeah, it was fucking painful, dude. When I finished the uh, first rando for the first part and I hit upload and it was like... It was... Uh, it's like 1.5 times the length of the video for the time it would take to upload it, and I was like, oh, fucking hell. That's a lot of hours. If I just had one extra day, I could have gotten everything ready perfectly. But uh, the reality is, I don't even know how far we would have gotten through today anyway. So let's just hope that uh, it runs perfectly normal and naturally. It doesn't ruin absolutely everything. Oh, look at chat, already rolling in. Beautiful. I have to look over there and it's that fucker Big Buck Bunny staring at me like he's Boogie's persona. Surely we like Big Buck Bunny. He's a, he's accompanied us through our journey on EFAP. Always there. And like the, the llama. There's the llama, yeah. there's the magic girl, and then there's Big Buck Bunny. And we've never seen any of these fine, fine, fine films. Maybe one day we will. We can have an episode where we cover the, the default Discord movies to see if they're of high quality or not. I think we've thought about that before. I don't know if we've ever actually uh, committed, though. No, it won't ever happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out there's some other stuff we gotta get done, you know, every once in a while. Anyway. Maybe in a slow week. Here we are, this collection of people across the internet that has been uh, wounded by a particular creature, and it's time for us to um, <laughs> discuss him. He hasn't wounded us. He's done the opposite. He's brought us incredible joy and satisfaction. That is kind of true, actually, because he's he's Boogie's been. Oh, I say he wounded me. A oh yeah, bit. he did wound you. You actually made wounded <laughs> sounds. So <laughs> <laughs> some mental scarring. I was gonna say, how much do you do you know about him, ER? Because I remember you you were pretty surprised by all the stuff we did when we looked at the documentary. Yeah, I only knew like the bare minimum when we went into the oops, the documentary. And then. For this stream, I've been mainly just kind of ignoring mm -hmm. uh, everything happening so that I can get, you know, a nice, fresh perspective, so... Well, I, I mean, uh, yeah. with the newest stuff, it's like he's at the actual end of his career, or at least the closest thing to it we've ever seen. Um, a lot of people would have assumed uh, that for, for, from, like, the broad event. People have heard, like, the, the headlines, so to speak, of what's happened. But uh, I thought... I would make a compilation of how we even got here because so many people don't know what Boogie is. They just know him like because there's so many eras, <laughs> right? What it's is like, Boogie? It, it, there, there are there are a lot of eras. That's true because there's the era that preceded the beginning of the end. You know? Yeah, and it's like uh, it's like coming into a TV show in season fucking seventeen and being like, yeah, this is this is what this show. It's like it's like saying Simpsons is what it is right now, and it's like, nah, you don't understand. Not even close to the golden era. Yeah, and... In the last one that we all came together to do, ER was like the perfect stand-in <laughs> character for an audience member. Yeah. Because he was like he was like bathing in the horror in real time with us for the first yeah. time. Yeah. Well, that was uh I think the un because you know that documentary was not that was not a good idea for Boogie. Uh it just it just distilled in one convenient package basically all of the reasons why somebody would dislike him <laughs> life and crimes of boogie 2988 in his incredibly cringe uh yeah. bizarre yeah. he comes across as very maybe he may, maybe his um his strategy was that oh if i do this documentary it'll it'll make me seem really like pitiable you know mm. oh well, i think so. that the, the, the documentary tries he tries his best to have an arc in the documentary, you remember how like the ending was kind of uplifting and optimistic mm. when he discovered existentialism for the first oh my time. God. Why the... Oh yeah, the shaman. Yeah, the he shaman. Hired a shaman. Shaman Dave. <laughs> the flaming star. That oh, oh, wait, star. that's the same one who like defaced his property. Happiness. That yes, that is a chapter in this video. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. I don't even know about that. This is oh <laughs> Okay, my yeah. So gracious. I should be 100% oh, wow. clear. As I collected this thing, which was fucking painstaking putting this thing together. They would think cuz me me and Fringy, uh known boogie historians at least to an extent. Yes. There was some stuff in here that I was like, "Fringy, I've never seen this before." <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> and then of course being reminded of some of his greatest moments and uh yeah, the purpose of this is to lay all the groundwork for how you you get to this these are the early seasons of of boogie. This is like going all the way back to season 0, if such a thing could be said, where he piloted himself as a as an entertainment source. So, um, it'll be educational, is what I'm trying to say, for, for so many people. Mm -hmm. We're going to give the young whippersnappers of the internet uh, some education, because once Oof. upon a time, he was really well-liked. 
super I popular. Was, uh, yeah. Incredibly popular. He had connections to so many prominent YouTubers. He was viewed in very high regard, which is why the downfall is kind of unique in Boogie's case, because uh, like what examples are there really of like somebody who got this popular and then deteriorated to where he's at now? Yeah. You say popular, but he was even I mean, wholesome. Like he was a wholesome was, creator. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's not only the popularity, but the reputation going from the view, oh, what a nice guy he is to absolute rock bottom. Rock bottom. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and that really, said, his most popular bottom. video is still dramatic fat guy splash. So that's what he's known for. Just oh, a fat damn. guy falling into a pool. He tried to fuck, currently sense, sitting at 39 million views. Wow. Only 38 seconds long, and all he does is fall into a pool. And that's Nothing it. wrong with 38 seconds. Thank all you. he had to do was, yeah, eat and then let gravity do the rest. How many people well, know here that he tried million. to redo that video because it was popular? Multiple times. Yeah, yeah he yeah. filmed like. But did you know that, like, since he's known as being dramatic fat guy Splash, he photoshops himself as a little bit fatter in some of his thumbnails. <laughs> so people think he still gained weight. Just to piss people off, which he's admitted in certain uh, <laughs> clips that he does shit to annoy people just to get more views. Like, he has descended so far, and this this series of videos, and I say that there's going to be two, is uh, it kind of just tracks the um, the rise and fall for sure. But that's just too ger generic a name. So, uh, um, but with the combined might of myself and Fringy's naming, we, uh, we came up with what this stream is called, which I think captures... The, uh, the 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 descent into madness, so to speak. But I'm just going to be curious for the people who don't know any of the context we're about to go over, because uh, I just uh, this well, has just been a truism, novelty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We've known about it forever. Uh, anybody in this call not in the wash together? I think we've got everybody. I can see all the icons, so that's good. Hooray! All right. Yeah. I mean, all right. <laughs> I guess it just, it just, it just makes sense that everyone will be there. Now to get the video oh, it's up. Me. Oh, it's not playing for me. Uh, whoop. It's playing oh. for me. It starts off pretty strong. Uh, I'm glad. Okay. <laughs> this is a great start for me that the fucking watch together is going to be lagging. It always sucks when it does that because I'm like the one person it can't lag for. Otherwise, it fucks up the whole stream. Yeah, because everybody else, it doesn't really matter, right? No, and yeah. even if, if you guys were like happily watching the video that I edited at this point, it wouldn't. I, I didn't know what's going on. You know, cause I was there, so it wouldn't matter. But uh, I can't even roll it back. Let me try re reloading. Uh, re yeah, Refresh. just reload the page. Sometimes it. Ugh. Watch together. The I'm glad convention. that they. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it's <laughs> the it's the least worst option for this sort of thing. Dun dun dun. All right. Here we go. So we're just gonna roll through this, and uh, it's, it's it's I did the best I could with the time that I had and the access to clips that I had to track the journey of Darth Boogie. So, oh, right. let's do it. Boogie, so that we could <laughs> cover him on e <laughs> Because now Boogie, Boogie is now media. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie to 988 coming at you live once again through the power. I gotta say, that that uh, that peepo there in the corner. <laughs> he's, uh, <laughs> people mark, yeah. he's watching. <laughs> Always watching. So what's the verdict now? Is this like Draw My Life completely fake? I think so. Like, is there I any mean, part of this that's canon? Draw what drama? I don't even know what this is. The okay, so thing. context. This was a this was a craze really, really early on in YouTube. I say it really early on. It's all relative, but it was like a really good way to garner views is to just you draw a bunch of images that match your life story. And his was particularly tragic. Like he did. <laughs> he, so he, I've heard he cranked the shit out of like everything you can imagine. But the thing is, with everything one knows about him at this point, everyone wonders if anything he fucking said and it was actually true. Yeah, they decanonized it. It's like legends now. <laughs> <laughs> the BU, the the EBU, the extended boogie universe. It's just, exactly. There's too many inconsistencies. Nobody can fucking figure out what the canon is anymore. Of the internet, a lot of people have asked me to draw my life story, and it's kind of sad. But I'd like to do that for you now. In the ancient times of ye old 2006, the first video was uploaded to the Boogie 2988 channel. Over the course of two years came a string of scattered improvisational videos. Eventually, something new and exciting was going to happen to me. And that Why did write exciting YouTube like thing that? was YouTube. Starting by winning over the hearts of many with stories of hardships and wild rage skits that helped firmly establish him on the platform. Boogie created a character called Francis, which basically played into all of the stereotypes of a fat neckbeard gamer who threw. 
in a sense, the uh, the the like Francis character really helped him in a way, right? Like, because it, it's not only that those videos got a lot of views, but then when you had the real Boogie, it's like, oh, what a what a yeah. nice considerate person he is, you know? What like, a novel the, concept! The... the crazy nonsense character is all a lie. He's actually a really reasonable, That's... really kind, like awesome person. That's how I first found boogie i guess was yeah. that that's, most the video. Found him. that's what i'm saying it's almost in a sense it makes it makes a lot of sense you get bombarded with this insane character and then you actually see the the real boogie and it's like oh wow look at that so nice guy a lot of people are saying like he was always actually francis uh he's much worse than francis yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Francis. francis is just francis. an angry like, many guy. of francis's yeah many of francis's uh like problems and concerns i can relate with <laughs> like if I buy a game, I expect it to work when I buy it. You know, I can sympathize with Francis's uh, frustration exactly. at Era Thirty Seven. And Francis Basically, is like, honest. He's a, he's he's an honest character, regardless yeah, he of his. He's, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's not yeah. capable of deception. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> and really, the the worst you can expect from him is is a bit of chaotic flipping of a table. Uh, <laughs> you know, and never your own, to... always his own. So. In in some of his more recent live streams, Boogie will like yell and like um get really aggressive, and it really does sound like Francis. It's like he's looking for sympathy. He's like <laughs> fake crying almost, but like Francis's voice comes out of his mouth, and then it's just it gets the, funny. Um, the the instant. I mean, he I know it's the a ID. long way away. But the, the instant, <laughs> oh, guy, guy, Francis is fronting. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but like the instant change in character, right? Of, of being like very apologetic and and um submissive to then instantly flipping to screaming at the top of his lungs is very the, um i have seen this man and and you'll see it in the video there are about i want to say six instances of him quote unquote crying the only one that i think he's ever come close to it being real was when he said that uh the uh the polycythemia vera was not on the portal and then he started to realize what he had said and he and like you could mm. you could hear his voice starting to fall apart and i was like oh my god is this like actual pain because he realizes what he's well, done the, uh, no it's the, not because the... he realized what he'd done he'd realized he'd got no no no, no 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 yeah. well, no realized that he had admitted to the lie you know ah, okay. which he, no, okay. he he pushed back on for what like fucking four straight hours and then he finally gives it up it's like oof and i think yeah i, think, I don't think he thought it was gonna be as bad as it was yeah, but the thing is that lasted only like 10 seconds max. Yeah, and so, then he goes back to screaming. I still think it was fraudulent. ...who threw temper tantrums on camera. A stereotypical nerd with a heavy lisp, short temper, and love for That's World of like, Warcraft. I really wonder how many people in chat had any clue. <laughs> this this shit was what, like, this is where it, look, where it looked like back in the day, and this is what got him popular, like, these videos. <laughs> Why did you say it like yeah. that? This is what it looked like. The, uh, the well, big I mean, YouTube, was, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was the era, era, what was it for Diablo 3? Era 30. Era 37. So. 37. 30, yeah, that was that was that was one of them. So that was like 2012. Yeah, no, uh, you know, they were like flagship ago. videos for his channel, and then everyone gets drawn in by them, and then he's like, "Hi, I'm actually a really kind, really reasonable person. I'm just going to talk to you about some personal things." Like, oh my god, it's um, love each other. It like draws off all of the negativity one might have had for him once once that's realized, and that worked for so long. Um, He's got the Princess Leia picture in the folder um, <laughs> yeah. to complete the palace <laughs> symmetry. Based. Warcraft. Eventually, one of wants you to forget. These videos saw a surprising amount of success, especially for early YouTube standards. Where he rips his shirt off, exposing his body mass. <laughs> this, uh, this sounds like that um, that commentary that's put over the accolade on Disney Plus. I will say the combination of commentators here is uh, it could be jarring, you know. But <laughs> he ripped all... his shirt off to expose his body underneath his throbbing <laughs> body. Then goes out there. His rippling body. <laughs> throbbing. Throbbing. <laughs> in here. Francis gets his Warcraft account hacked. Nowadays, the stands that they want to five million. Yeah, look at it. Like, like oh, oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> look at bring it. Bring it. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, wait. And that's not even the alt, because that's still got the like and dislike. So that's uh, not. That's like. Because it was star ratings and shit, right? It was one of the It earliest. used to be the five star yeah. rating system. Yeah. <laughs> Now there's no this sets system. a precedent for Boogie, <laughs> and in the following years, the Francis character will be the channel's bread and butter. And when he uploaded a video of Francis angry at World of Warcraft not working, well, that's when people really began to notice the channel. In 2010s, he already appeared not only in a television show, but also in the pinnacle of advertising in the US. 
Boogie was in a Super Bowl commercial. Who Boogie oh was? Goodness. Look at him. <laughs> he's, he's like a normal <laughs> person. Him. He's outside. <laughs> he's outside Crazy. in the sun. Was an extremely <laughs> kind, introspective, intelligent, Looks honest like he's figure. Got the disappointing truth about Francis is that he's troll. Oh he's my a made-up god. Kid. Equals wow. three, everybody. Wow. Holy shit. Equals three. I don't even know this person. Uh, uh, wait, really? You don't know I, I don't. Johnson? Was this before no, your time, Rex? Like... What year was he this? Was, he was one of the really early, like, one of the, when you he's OG, a... OG. Yeah, he's, he's like, who I'd maybe, pick for the yeah. first, like, biggest YouTuber, well, he, as he it felt was, that uh, way. Uh, well, it's, it's kind of, because, like, Philip DeFranco was also around for a really long time yeah, as yeah. well, so it's like, we're talking, like, the late 2000s sort of era. He, um, yeah, his whole thing, equals three, you just grab three, like, viral clips, play them on his own video, and, uh, didn't he have, like, copyright issues eventually? I think so. Which, Maybe. Uh, Actually, I'm not funny. sure. I can, I'm not sure. Also, but he got, he, he, he wanted to Hi. move on. Hello, everyone. How you doing? If you, uh, I assume you're already in. We're um, we're, already, we're getting I'm started. In. We're on the we're on the portion of just his rise. Uh, oh, okay. The fall incoming very soon. Character and the guy who <laughs> plays him is so. actually brilliant. So hats off to you, sir. Shortly after, there was a transition in content where Boogie created less incoherent videos to more personalized videos. Boogie built a reputation for himself as a sweet and genuine guy. Some people even went as far as to call him the Mr. Rogers of the internet. Mr. Rogers of YouTube. Uh, in retrospect, how wow. the fuck did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> YouTube's Clearly, before channel. they got to know him. Oh yeah. Okay, neighbor. Well, that's that's okay. the thing, dude. If neighbors today, I've got some bad news. I've got polysemia. <laughs> 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 I, I've I heard Mr. Rogers of YouTube, and then I've heard like the wholesome uncle of YouTube, and they were half right. He's like the creepy uncle of YouTube. Well, now, yeah, yeah. The creepy. <laughs> well, because if if you've only seen anything from him, thanks to Lolcow, like there's got to be plenty of people who who have only seen that. This part of this video is just gonna be like, what the fuck, Mr. My, Rogers. My awareness. My awareness of him, like, in the old days before his fall, was, like, purely the Francis stuff, and it was just like, oh, yeah, this is just a guy goofing around about nerd culture and stuff, and that's, that's really all I knew about Boogie at the time. I, I didn't really, yeah, I didn't really follow his content or anything, I was just vaguely aware of him back then. I think I had a <clears throat> moment of, like, actually being suckered in completely in terms of, like, oh, he seems like a really nice dude, and I find some of the things he comments on to be, you know, perfectly reasonable, like that sort of thing, and then gradually uh, the game gets given up, which this video goes over, how he, he just uh, he just squeezed every last piece of goodwill out of everybody. Has I, I, think it's, I think it's fair enough to say that's how most people uh, yeah. came across with Boogie, is, is you're like, okay, this guy's actually, like, a genuinely nice guy. And then you listen to him more, and then he started streaming, and you kind of realize, oh no, oh as no. As soon as you notice the patterns, you're like, wait, he's done yes. this before. Yes, this, yeah. he keeps doing this. Why does he keep Look doing this? Looping. The years as a perceived rational calm voice of YouTube. Sometimes she'd get really angry, and she'd scream at me, and that happened almost every day. And sometimes she'd hit me. And that she happened hit you every with day, me? too. And his fan. Uh, the fucking way that he's speaking <laughs> in that video, by the way. Like... Uh, he doesn't speak like that at all anymore. Yeah. Oh my Wait, yes, God. he does. Yes, he does. In the beginning of the third stream, when he's like, guys, I need oh, to yeah, yeah, yeah. my sins. Yeah, it's the exact same voice, dude. Yeah, and he, and he, like, and he says it's the real him, and then it's totally not <laughs> at <Yeah>. all. <laughs> this it's is great. like what his brain the thinks real sounds like. The visual on screen, he was at the, he got like the most popular content mm -hmm. creator at the Game Awards. Yeah. <laughs> he wow. did. Wow. He got an award for being so well-regarded. liked, yeah. Fans liked yeah. him enough to win the trending gamer of the 2016 Game Awards. Thank you, everybody, man, that at home had voted for me. Thanks for my wife, who's, who's changed my life and given me something to fight Ooh. for. Some people All were right, but kind of nice. Yeah. That made me feel really good. <laughs> 2013, being another successful year for Boogie, getting him over 1.5 million Boogie. total subscribers and a sponsorship from Sony to promote the new... What what is the um what does the two nine eight eight stand for? Don't know. I feel like I should that, know that, but I don't. Is that like a? I what? It doesn't does even have. It's not. It's not well, does it even nine, have meaning, or is it just one right? of? The, is it just? Well, is it just one of those like stupid? Yeah, is it like one of those ultimate auto generated things that YouTube assigns to you, and he just thought, fuck it, I'll just put that on. That'll do. Two nine eight eight. That rolls off the tongue. I'll keep that. Oh, one. So a lot of people saying. 
second or the ninth to eighty eight could be it. Well, the well I second, well I, I don't think so. He he's way he's too old. He's older than yeah, that. He's, yeah. uh, he's almost he's 50. 50, 51, I think he's now fifty one. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah, he's way too old for that. By the way, so you, we, uh, we kind of glossed over it, but he said you've given me something to fight for. Is that like the first recorded piece of history of Boogie like explaining his own mortality in comparison to his content? There is a suicide section in this video. Um, I can't oh, say I, 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 can't say I know when it starts. I mean, I know you guys know his career better than me, but like, when did the whole like self pity oh, thing dude. begin? That's been a like for the staple. very beginning. Yeah, yeah that's like, right. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think but, that's what that's what hooked us into him. Is kind of like, oh, you yeah, know, this this guy who does this Francis stuff, but actually he's he's truly hurting because he's been through a lot, and that that draw your life was, I think, the huge thing which which launched him off. He um, um he's bad at the manipulation shit, right? So like, he would give his whole spiel to a person, and they're like on board, they get it, they understand him, and then he'd see them in a fucking week later and do the exact same thing, and you're sitting there like, wait, I know all this, like, you've done all this already, and now the story's changing, and you're trying to convince me to do a different thing this time as a result of it, um, and yeah, once you do it like ten times, you start to be like, wait, what the fuck, are you, are you lying? This gaming console, Lion the PlayStation 4. Do it, yeah! <laughs> wow. Hell yeah! Boogie pushed onward and created a oh, Twitch did, channel. Oh, it did, did drop back down to 3999. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, foreshadowing. Look, I look, I did if, love those days when it would give you like a, a subscriber like, by I, subscriber. Yeah. Out. Like yeah. now they've now they've pussied out. It's, it's like it goes in like 10k thing. increments. Yeah, it's 1k for mo or hundreds and then thousands and something like that. It's one of the, it's yet another one of those wonderful features that YouTube just said, "You know what? We're just going to remove that." Dude, I, would, I was going to describe it as they shave the edges off YouTube, but it's like in what fucking universe would be that would that and like the like dislike system would ever be considered an edgy part of it, you know? But here we are. Stream regularly too and continued making videos. A lot of people watched him because they genuinely liked him and considered him a kind, level headed person with reasonable opinions. This video did well to win over fans and newcomers that wanted to see more of Boogie rather than Francis. Boogie managed to become a huge YouTuber, a well known, likable figure. However, because of everything that has happened with him, his channel now appears to be on a sharp downward spiral. Almost a case study, you might say, for an individual who, despite having over 4 million subscribers, is declining at a rapid pace. His ears? It's like the, 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 the less wholesome he became, uh, the, you know, the veneers just stick out a lot more. Like it, oh, yeah. It, it, some people say when he got his teeth as his downfall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think oh, the was. teeth. Yeah, right. yeah. The the teeth, you really... joke, but that was like in the Sam and Tolkien Reddit, like that huge thread or whatever. That was one of the first things listed. I'm pretty sure his teeth. I think it's so funny, funny as well. Like teeth. if you if you look in the mirror and you see Boogie and you think, ah, what do I need to address first? My teeth, clearly. Like, <laughs> that's what. Yeah, that's that'll do it. Well, yeah, that's yeah. the thing, Drinker. Yeah, if if it costs fine. money to do it, he'll get it done. But if it costs effort or willpower, uh, he won't. In yeah, all cool. did you see the teeth that came out of his fucking mouth? Yeah, they were horrendous. They were rotten. No, that was oh even more God. important no, I than the weight, I think. Did, he liked bad. him better when he had so, bad teeth. Uh, a fun fact. It's like it's if not... you left popcorn out in the sun for six years, <laughs> and that was the <laughs> oh result. Did, it, did he actually make a video showing you his rotten teeth that you had removed? He put a okay, picture so, up on Twitter at the uh, time. Not only did he do that, oh, he God. put them into a Francis doll. Like the Francis oh. puppet he has, his real teeth are in that. <laughs> That's oh. horrible. Yes. Yeah. That what is the correct what is... Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Did he ever have a Sonichu medal sent to him? He is the one. <laughs> like he's. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be in his aura. Hey. Starting in 2016, Boogie started to become more outspoken about things. Whether it was political I was about or drama, to say, like his opinions I, on I, race. I was about to say, I think that the beginning of the end was actually him trying to talk about politics. Well, oh, even we before can. streaming. He was more outspokenly a fed sitter. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's that's what happened. He did not know. Boogie did not know how to handle the changing dynamics of politics as it was starting to emerge in like 2016. Um, he didn't know how to navigate it, and that oh, was starting uh, to piss people off. Jesus Christ! Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh my yeah. God! 
Oh, no. I love the oh, caption. Right. When you oh, had your old oh, teeth, oh, you were oh, funny. Oh. You are now not Why very did funny. Why even stay on at that point? <laughs> Let's scroll oh, yeah. up a little oh, bit. Wow. Jesus, right. to keep them oh, my God. I'm not going to be able to unsee that now. <laughs> no. You know, uh, it's bad oh, enough that's like I'm one not going to post it. I'm just going to push it all the way up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep going, Mower. More. I'm a hero with my poop. Yay. No more books. Chat, if you want to know what we just saw, it's just his it's it's very graphic his mouth basically before the teeth change google boogie teeth if yeah you if want. you really want to see it particular drama related Which you don't, ended up annoying a lot of people in the process due to his propensity for fence sitting though many find yeah, it difficult it to pinpoint exactly what brought him down whether it was his separation a surgery or this kind of sounds like er a little bit er's brother kind of sounds like hmm. him yeah i don't know if it was a way the, to see if he was offended the voice? Maybe. Yeah. You shouldn't be. Was, uh, it was just sounds a little bit like you. What was the it's lowest weight Boogie got to when he was Ooh. born? I think, it, I think it was still like well over three hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah, because he's obviously noticeably slimmer there, but but that yeah, he's like, he's he got never got on, below. He? Yeah, then it was like he never got below three fifty. I can't remember what his lowest was though. Or an inability to adapt. People like to watch YouTubers that are honest and trustworthy. They don't want to watch someone who's just putting up. Explain Hassan then. <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> the front for views. The algorithm just doesn't serve up my videos as much as they used to, and I'm not blaming the algorithm. I'm blaming myself. Uh, yes, I'm the blaming pity the party. Last... <laughs> yes, the pity party. <laughs> the like, the my God, all the people behind. <laughs> YouTube is not giving people my videos. I'm not blaming YouTube. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame YouTube years of my life people are just kind of tired of clicking on my face <laughs> while some have simply just lost interest in the content he makes others believe that boogie's persona is completely wow, fake and is merely a cover-up for his manipulative behavior many began to feel as though this reasonable demeanor was a facade for someone with mm. an extreme inability to take any criticism or stand up for any ideal and many of his own fans are turning on him. i will warn you though twitch boogie is very different from YouTube Boogie. And now we're from oh, Megatron. No. There it is. Which, which Boogie has opinions on minorities, okay? <laughs> no, no, That's no, a lot no, of money no, for a person no. of color. <laughs> you know, what's what's interesting is that's such an iconic boogie moment. Yes. He was playing Apex Legends at the time. So whenever I play that game and I drop to near that spot on the map, I'm like, oh, this is the boogie spot. <laughs> the boogie of course. Spot. <laughs> this is where Boogie said the thing about the people of color and they're not having money. They're like bridges in PUBG. They're not a oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Classic. The <laughs> iconic bridge. <laughs> Reddit, which would go on to significantly impact Boogie's reputation. It was titled The Hidden Truth Boogie Doesn't Want You To Know, and it featured over 5,000 words. It's so weird to think I in retrospect how much fucking damage this post did. A Reddit post. Yeah. Like, it did a lot. It was extensive. Yeah. I remember like going through this and being like, oh, holy shit. My thing's done also in the freezer. But like, <laughs> this was a huge... This this really was. Like I remember because I, I read through like it and it I was too. like, "What the hell?" I didn't know about all of this, pretty much. Uh, yeah. Was this just one person who just did like a deep dive into all of his fuck ups and I think so. Yeah, it was thread. just a matter of uh, keeping an eye on him and comparing shit, and then you know, I don't think it's not like the thread was amazing in terms of every single thing was a kill shot. It was, a lot of it could you could be said to be petty and everything, but. Uh, it opened the door. But it had sure. enough. Oh yeah. Yeah. It had Look enough. Look at it and laugh because it would be like, oh, Boogie claims to be this wholesome YouTuber, but prior to his success, he ran a porn blog where he reviewed dildos. <laughs> <laughs> to be Ooh. fair, that is entirely. Some say there are dildos in him to this like, day. <laughs> um, like, like that, that, that. When you watch what he'd become, become at this point, knowing that is definitely like, wait, what? For real? You're yeah. Like, that doesn't make this any was sense. When the, this was kind of like the, the beginning of that. Of people waking up, the yeah. awakening. Not Boogie's That's awakening. Ours. Showcasing that Boogie wasn't exactly the nice guy he tried to portray. On the 26th of January, user Night Like a Day, a detractor of Boogie, began a criticism mega thread of him. Boogie2988 hit his subscriber peak in May 2019 with 4.57 million subscribers. Not only was he producing less Five Francis eight, videos, go. as they were not being promoted by YouTube, but also they were much more difficult to produce without the help of his now ex wife or destructible items that were assured to be replaced in revenue from the video. This channel has suffered. Uh, uh, to some extent, views are lower. I blame myself. I blame oh, my the content. Pity party. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't the miss a fucking opportunity. Of, yeah. Every like, time. This, he, re he really never does. 
what content is this? Who wants to watch this? That was there was it's... an era where that was just the content was him saying, "I feel awful. I'm just in pain. <laughs> Help me." Or whatever, like, like it does. It sucks to be me. And just like, what? It was a what depressed is age. Yeah. It was so. Sort of, this was a. This was refreshing because there was so much false positivity at this time on YouTube that like people were getting frustrated, and his content was looked at as real. We need real negativity, not false positivity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> real negativity. I suppose there's a kind of there's a kind of inverse feel good factor to that, where you can just look at his life and think, well, you know, suddenly my life seems okay in comparison. I really think that's what happened, though. I think that was literally his like whole. Okay, I can make a bunch of money doing this. Uh, the video game videos aren't doing well. The Francis stuff is getting demonetized. Let me just tell everybody how horrible my life the, is, the, uh, and they'll donate more. Yeah. The reason why the video game videos didn't do well is because Boogie doesn't actually have any insight. He doesn't offer any interesting perspective on video games. Yeah, he never says anything interesting. You never like, go into a Boogie video and learn something or you, go, huh, exactly. that was really neat. That was interesting. You never walk wow. out thinking, wow, he made me rethink my perspective on this video game or the industry. It was just the most milk toast like commentary yes. ever. Well, people there think was... he was a fence sitter just in commentary content. No, he didn't want to really say anything bad about the games either because he had Major Nelson well, going he to his house giving him Xboxes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Major my Nelson. Nelson. I, I haven't heard that name that. in fucking ages. Yeah. Oh. Jesus Christ. I think he That's... retired, actually. Ooh. I used to tune into the uh, the Xbox giveaways on Friday, wasn't it? On Twitter. Holy shit. That goes back. I would have retired, too, if I had to do house calls to Boogie's house. <laughs> <laughs> I blame my consistency. I blame my whiny nature. I blame the stupid <laughs> things I said on podcasts and Twitter. I blame that as the mass majority of it. But it is hard to not see that there's something algorithmically or YouTube wide happening. It was clear that uh, fans' interest in Boogie was is. waning, and in replacement, interest from his eventual detractors was increasing. There's a comment on Boogie's recent. One of the maybe one of the things that now that I've given it, have kind of given it a moment. To think, I think that's something that would legitimately depress me, um, and something Boogie <clears throat> should really feel depressed about. It, it's a long list, but is if you've <laughs> played, if you've been involved in a hobby as extensively as you have been for that long, and you can't be insightful or interesting about it in mm. any sort of way, that I think that that's pretty depressing. I mean, like it's... none of it has stuck. None of it has like you. You haven't absorbed any of it when you spent that much time. I know it's like retarded, but I remember thing. him reviewing you know, random movies and stuff, and it would just be, like, the most generic. I liked I liked the, the first scene, and the second scene was pretty good, too, and I like the end. The actors are good. You're like, yep. Chris Stuckman? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is because he was able to succeed off of his persona. Like, it wasn't he was... He didn't have any, like, skills associated with being a content creator, and you didn't really need to have those back in the early days of no, YouTube. Yeah. Oh, it was a huge... Yeah. yeah, getting in early? Oh, that meant a lot. Yeah. Still does. For sure. <laughs> we, there's so many avenues for success that are, like... It requires zero talent today, but simultaneously, uh, it was a way better version of that when YouTube started. You get these crazy zany characters who ended up with subscribers who are making shit that you would never expect. These days, it's like everything yeah, gets fucking AI was, slop, you know? It yeah. was less of a solved game. Mm -hmm. People were still, it was sort of uncharted territory. There was a lot of stuff that hadn't been done yet. People were willing to experiment. People wanted to be the first of a thing. There was <laughs> less, uh, Copycat behavior, yeah. Less sums it up pretty well. Darkworld124 stated, Losing over 30,000 subscribers on an active channel in a year is not normal, Boogie. Many channels that have been dormant for months don't lose that much. <coughs> Him causing an issue, failing to resolve it, arguing profusely, then apologizing the next day became. Uh, this yeah. is, uh, <laughs> it must suck to be so broken, someone like me actually looks down on you. <laughs> Damn. So, wow. I was about to say, like, we haven't quite gotten to the point, but it, it, doing the whole wholesome Mr. Rogers thing and then suddenly being like, you're a broken piece of shit and everyone hates you. Like, he, like if Mr. Rogers said that, he'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? And he's just like, sorry, you can't handle being an awful human being. And then he would suddenly the next day be like, though I am sorry if I've hurt your feelings. I did not. The, yeah, the like thing that. is, right, exactly. you know, imagine being a, a channel with four million subscribers and fucking arguing with, like, no follower accounts on twitter like oh just he, fan uh, accounts he had a like imagine wasting your time twitter. on that he had an absolute compulsion with using twitter he yes. couldn't stop himself from using it
That was yeah. another one of his. It's it's. I like adding up this long list of. This is the reason why his life. Collapsed. Oh yeah, it's, it's like. Yep, it's but that's the truth, though. That there's there's a bazillion things, but you can always drill down to like what was the singular core aspect. Which on a prior episode, at the beginning, we said it was him having a direct link from what's in his brain to his audience. Uh, having a video stopping it, you know, as, as like a filter, was one thing. But then streaming, it was like, uh oh. Yeah, you'll yeah. see a ton of creators who fall off who had like very good pre-recorded videos for an, a number of years. But the minute they start doing Twitch or they start really using Twitter and you see their more unfiltered opinions, everything just goes to shit really fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A frequent pattern. Boogie appears to be in what I would label a YouTube death spiral. I don't know that I ever want to be a <laughs> big sound YouTuber good. again. He would constantly. I don't want to be a uh, big YouTuber. Like, sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> you could leave. You could leave any day you want, Boogie. You could just leave. You could stop. It's that shit, right? I would, I would argue it would be infinitely better for his life if he wasn't oh, on yeah. YouTube or the internet in general ever again. You'll like, like if he just got a regular job and just lived a normal life and got in shape. He would be so much happier. He'll have moments where he'll imply that that's kind of what he wants, and then we'll be like, "Yeah, you should actually leave." He'll be like, "There's no way for me to go. I'm I'm a felon. I am crippled and disabled. There's no one that'll take me." If you Google my name, it'll say I beat women. You're like, "Okay." <laughs> you saw the. I mean, in the, in the documentary, no one will he, take you. Mm. In the documentary, mm. he does say when he does that call up, and he calls Mike up, and he says. Uh, I am not going anywhere. Yeah. I have a YouTube channel with over 4 million subscribers. I'm going to get back to doing what I do best, entertaining people, and, well, look how that works. Yeah, we speculate that, In like, terms of continuing to do what he's doing for his health, he's now running a podcast with Keemstar, just total <laughs> aggravation constantly. He's constantly under high blood pressure. That can't be good for his heart. No. So like, for health reasons, he should probably just quit that entirely. Right, clown, but he, he switched to, to Diet Do. He switched to Diet Do. He's much healthier yeah. now. I don't oh, know yeah. why. Oh. His doctor <laughs> said it's good for him. Or okay. yeah, the doctor approved the Diet Do. Yeah, the doctor was like, oh, as long as it's diet, fucking knock yourself out, mate. Did has you're... diet on these. Oh. You the yeah, that's going to do said... his new fake teeth some good, for sure. He's going to need another set of teeth after all the Diet Mountain Jew. They just replace him at this point, but, uh, you know, just switch him. But um, the, the, did you catch Keep the part switching where him out. they said um, Diet Mountain Dew still has a shit ton of chemicals in there that are awful few, that he said water has chemicals too? <laughs> yeah, fluoride. It's good for your teeth, Boogie. Dude, that, that was the best part of the last EFAP we did on this, because it obviously wasn't intentional from Mike Clum, but it looked like there was like a Mountain Dew ad placement yeah. just like showing up. Like he would walk away and you'd see like a like it would unveil another Mountain Dew can in the background of the footage. And he had to have like an addiction to the cringe gamer drink. He couldn't have an addiction to Coke or like Pepsi or <laughs> Yeah, it had to be Mountain Dew. It, to it needed to be the stereotype, drink. yeah. He, he needs his innards Twitter. tickled, all right. Or yet he will never oh, take wait. it. Oh wait, he would he does, live, he does live in Arkansas, so yeah. Mountain Dew. You know, there we're, we're a bunch of well, hillbilly rednecks Dew. here. Oh, I we sure we do love our Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew. They, uh, a local export from uh, from yeah. Arkansas. Yeah, every morning they go out with the combs, gather mm. it up, filter it, and then they add seventeen boatloads of sugar I to it. I prefer to the imagine color. they go out with the gnomes. The no they have, have gnomes to collect the Mountain Dew. No, I just hope, rednecks. So. And they're gnomes. They used to be on the... They used to be on the... Well, you know, they actually oh, might be up in the Ozarks, yeah. The apparently it is from the south, so... yeah. Oh, well. well, yeah, the old... Here, um, let me get you the old Mountain Dew logo, because it used to have... Here, let me copy and paste. And I like how you've just it, got that ready to go. No, yeah. I googled it. <laughs> uh, drink Mountain Dew, it'll tickle your innards. Ah. <laughs> that okay. used to be the Mountain Dew thing. And it became over to oh yeah the you can still oh, get the, wow, you can get the throwback yeah you can get the old throwback it. Mountain Dew designs but that was it yeah oh that's that's really interesting I I actually had no idea mm -hmm. <laughs> how did it I go from the this. hillbilly drink to the gamer drink yeah like well, because Call everything of Duty sucks destroyed now. it man well it did it the, uh, the Jeff Halo Keely, three like, <laughs> game <laughs> fuel <laughs> yeah, no. oh, that's right but it game used to be a wholesome fuel. redneck dream. Wholesome redneck, and now all, mm -hmm. now all the gamers now boogie <laughs> boogie ruined it for last night. Mountain you Dew ruined Mountain Dew. Dew. So, Please respond go. more to the negative comments than those of support, and has shown to repeat his mistakes ad nauseum. Boogie two nine eight, boogie two nine eight eight, coming at you live. 
through the power of that YouTube. YouTube Boogie to 988 coming at you live once again through the power What's of up? ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Boogie to 988 coming at you live once again through What's the power up? ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Boogie to 988. I like how his format never evolved or changed at nope. all. But in the bad it, way, yeah. Some people, it's yeah. like, oh, the old classic, you know, you and you tried. like to hear it. He and, but no, this is I the don't. opposite. He has no genuine interest in creating, like, art. <laughs> like, yeah, he, if you... He just wants to turn on the webcam, talk, and get money so that he can play video games, watch TV. Yeah, you notice with good YouTubers, it's like you're... Even if the format changes, the execution of that format improves over time. Image quality gets better. The timing gets better. It just gets more and more refined. But with him, it's just, oh, I guess he got a new camera one of the many, after a decade or whatever, you know? One of the many things people said that killed his channel was he couldn't evolve with the times. But, uh, I mean, you know, maybe that's further down the list than what was the thing that really killed him. Uh, 988 coming at your lava skin. What's up? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie to 988 coming at your lava skin to the power. So that section is like, you know, a brief history. Now we'll get into like specific, uh, so to speak, subcategories. And I tried to do them in severity. So we'll start with like the chillest thing that destroyed him. <laughs> Bro, this is also to the displeasure of fans, Boogie was taking less of an aggressive view on topics and was accused of pandering to his audience. I do plan to continue to make videos about some of the very important issues that were brought up during this thing, including integrity on YouTube, integrity on <laughs> journalistic <laughs> reviews. Oh, the irony. <laughs> <laughs> if only you could see into the future, Boogie. I mean, he would have set somewhat of a record for a lack of integrity, I think. He's definitely the uh, the, the trophy case for that for YouTubers. Views in journal, uh, in gaming journals, integrity when it comes to the trust that you and I have with each other. And that's always going to be very, very important. Boogie's attempts at being a centrist who called out both sides was becoming more and more transparent. And people were seeing that he was interested exclusively in appearing to be the moderate good guy. Because I enjoy my Xbox One, I'm going to talk about the Xbox One in a pod. Oh, uh, yeah. This this was a bad, yeah, because this was, I mean, it's the, you know, it's your total biscuits, right? You're, I mean, Angry Joe's talking about this sort of stuff at the time, right? All of the problems in the gaming industry, but like they actually had principled positions and yeah, reasons why an it felt the way that they did. A huge, an insight. Yeah. yeah, a huge chunk of games journalism died with Total Biscuit unfortunately because total there's... biscuit was um he's he just maximum integrity like he he had insane integrity when it came to video game coverage and analysis he he starts calling it real integrity too because it was yeah proven. he actually would yeah he'd do it he said i will not do this unless this happens or i will boycott this or i will not do this and he well, would yeah. do it he'd go through with it and yeah. he'd always give his reasons and he'd stick to it mm -hmm. I love but, his um, commitment yeah, to like, um, making what he perceived as potentially boring or algorithm unready videos, but that they were informative, like the way they were built. I was always like, oh, that's cool. Well, it, you know, the title just being, I will now talk about X topic for yeah. 48 minutes or something. <laughs> yeah, he didn't, he didn't spruce it up with like, oh my god, explosive new topic about in crazy new drama. He's just like, I'm going to talk about Call of Duty's new leveling system for 20 minutes. <laughs> like, but yeah, this, okay. this was a bit of a problem. Everybody was, um, you know, like, if you're just coming along being like, I'm going to fence in on whether I think the Xbox One is shit. It's like, I mean, I guess you can do that, but yeah. what do you expect? What do you expect the response is going to be from people who think that it is bad, what was happening on that platform? You think they're going to be like, well, you know, that's chill, that you're okay with, like, the degradation of essentially you know, like, the consumer side, um, like, value portion for them, that it's just being eroded away by companies trying to take more and more from you. Yeah, and of all the controversies, this possibly is the least controversial one now, considering Absolutely. we ended up, but the people yeah, were like, noticing, what? like, wow, you don't, you just don't have a strong opinion on anything. Big, big offense center on Xbox One being your least... <laughs> No, yeah, that's just so thing. crazy because it was salvageable at this point, right? Like, oh, this yeah. was yeah. the worst thing you could 100%. say about Boogie for years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and the thing is, like, he, uh, it, it became at first a sort of, oh, he's just trying to avoid upsetting anybody, but it became a sort of, oh, he doesn't actually have an opinion on this. He's just going with the wind. Like, he's absolutely just not, he's looking to get as much out of the audience as possible, which this is a strategy, but you know the old saying, right? It's like, try to please everybody, please nobody. That's what was happening. Nobody had any respect for these perspectives. 
one in a positive way. Uh, yes, if I offend you, of course I'm going to apologize because I don't want you to have hurt feelings. I want you to be happy too. But others growing increasingly uh. frustrated at Boogie's fence sitting or not standing with any specific side in order to try to please everyone. As a means of countering this narrative, he attempted to embrace it with pride, saying that he wasn't a fence sitter, but he was a reasonable moderate. People think of me as a fence sitter. A lot of people think of me as someone who is fairly centrist and neutral and yeah, that's who I've been my whole life. A lot of people think of me as someone who is fairly not a centrist, never been one. <laughs> a... <laughs> the problem is that, like, being a moderate or a centrist is it should be the result of positions you have, mm -hmm. not like a goal that you strive to have. Oh, yeah, he didn't done in earnest. He wasn't thinking about anything when he said the word centrist other than I'm reasonable. That's what I've always been. I've been reasonable. I always find that I'm the reasonable, reasonable I'm the reasonable person in the middle, not like all of you. With your convictions. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, and, and then he'd be like, sorry for being so nice and reasonable. Like, sure, man. Like centrist <laughs> and neutral and... Yeah. Neutral. I've been my whole life. Yes. You're right. I have gone soft. Anita came up to him and began berating him for saying his piece when she didn't have an opportunity to respond. This led audiences to criticize Anita, saying that she was an awful human being who had been mean to Boogie. Boogie then made a video discussing this event <laughs> and was... That's just a funny sentence. <laughs> Oh, we got those dislikes on there as well. Yeah, yeah. Back with me. It's because he fucking rolled over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so for, yeah, for people yeah. who don't know, this event uh, actually did some significant damage to him because his fans were so annoyed by his uh, attempt to benefit from both sides of the narrative, which is that she was an evil bitch queen that did mean things to me, but also we got along really well and she's actually quite fun and insightful and I'm glad that we made it through. You know, it's like you can't have both of those. And he made them between like uh, having a huge amount of controversy from making the first one because this this was kind of like a big deal it, it, the, the narrative was that she bullied boogie 2988 the 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 helpless wholesome nice fat man on youtube who does nothing wrong he's like anita went after you how could she accused of pandering to her and acting in cowardice against such a disliked figure with others noting the irony of anita bullying boogie after an anti-bullying panel he received much criticism from both sides, leading this video as one of the most disliked videos on Boogie's channel. Boogie then tried once again to de-escalate by saying that, though initially confrontational, she ended up having a reasonable conversation with him behind the scenes and they hashed things out respectfully. However, this attempt by him failed as people noticed how uneasy he was while talking about it and began claiming that he was cowering away from being completely honest about the situation. This exposed an issue that would later become much more glaring. Boogie's fence sitting. Should we give the ability to live stream on Facebook, knowing that some people are going to beat other people, or shoot other people, or murder other people. What? Is that oh my God. The what? Right what? Oh my God! Sorry. Wait, what? Uh, what? Oh my God! Yeah, sure no, what? Yeah. We went from not to six thousand. No, but the, <laughs> the, that's the thing. You have to. The whole clip will make sense. The it, the idea that he's a fence sitter, right? So he's presented with the issue: should streaming be allowed when you can have people doing horrible things? It's like so. What? I feel like everyone here would say, "Well, yes." That's yes. obviously yes. Listen to what his answer is. Here's what I can say. I don't know if that's the right answer. More recently... <laughs> okay. Well, it's all right. <laughs> oh, he just yeah. fences on everything. Boogie I mean, am that. I the only one saying it's, like, super ironic that he almost, like, assassinated somebody in front of his house after all of that? <laughs> people who he was almost people. Yes. <laughs> and or others should get hit with a misdemeanor charge and even possibly jail time if it evolves into hate speech. Regardless of your opinion on this, after the tweet was met with negative responses, he pivoted to talking about how clips of his live stream were being taken out of again. context. <laughs> yeah. As the negative reactions continue, let me, let literally let me every say attempt. Some, something that will be more popular. Exactly. That's <laughs> all he's yeah. gunning for. Yeah. He's like, let me say the <laughs> thing that you'll all like. Let me try again. Let me try again. And he slowly buckled to public pressure, saying no one should go to jail because of the things they said, and he just had a bad take. He goes, apparently that was the other version of his fence sitting. Instead of taking a neutral position, it would take the the one on one side, then one on the other side, and then at the end be like, "I need to think about this." Bye, because it's uh, not working, you know. The he would make funny. a tweet, and then he'd receive criticism for that tweet, and then he'd reply literally minutes later to the same tweet with the exact opposite opinion, and then retract on that. So yeah. it was like a never-ending, revolving cycle. Well, and then fucking recuse himself like while saying he's thinking about middle. killing himself. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he just yeah, creates paradoxes constantly. That's just on Twitter. straight up hitting the reset button on everything. <laughs> like... Constantly. Apparently, Ethan's in the hospital. I know a lot of people don't like this guy. 
but I really wish he'd take better care of himself. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Dude, is, he can't even sit on, he can't even wish someone well without sitting on the fence. He's like, I hope you live. He's like, you know, I know a lot of people don't like him, but I hope he lives. It's like, I know a lot of people don't like him, but I hope he lives. But I just want to let you know, I'm not one of them. I'm one of the good guys who wants you to live. <laughs> nice Can you gesture. not sit on a fucking fence? When wishing someone well, at least. Another example of his fence Take sitting a was a video he made about YouTube. Death. <laughs> oh shit! Do you guys remember the Matthew Santoro plagiarism th stuff? Let's go back. Yes, his I fifty know. fucking best things oh, yeah. list or whatever he stole off the internet. Wasn't it like a there was like a primary website he was stealing them all from? Um, if I remember correctly, it wasn't even like like he got multiple sources, but there was a main website he was getting shit tons from. And uh, just to be clear for everyone else, he made top fifty, top ten lists or whatever. And uh, a lot of his information was just straight up taken from somewhere else. Um, uh, I, I love and, and just before you well. just before you hit play or whatever. Like I love how one of the videos on the right there is the truth about why I'm so fat. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh, maybe I it's because thought... you sit on your arse all day and do nothing but eat. Hey, I yeah, we were going to talk about the. Ah, uh, yeah, I zeroed in on 9/11 there. <laughs> yeah, the seven video games that were affected by 9/11. That was what I thought you were going to talk about, but. Why is the explosion going on before the towers have oh even been God. hit? <laughs> oh my what? gosh, what are they not telling us? Oh, wait, it's a cover up. Why is, this, is, why is the sky there. red? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, God. Oh, you're right. I didn't even. <laughs> the sky is red. <laughs> oh my God. Poro plagiarizing lists from other websites, which he immediately took down when he noticed it wasn't having a good reception. The Holocaust is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Oh, 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 oh my god, I do. Oh, I remember this. This was the end. Oh, oh, this, 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 this is arguably the peak of fed sitting, all right? You gotta let it play, because people haven't heard this, all right? Okay. <laughs> noticed it wasn't having a good reception. The Holocaust is horrible. Absolutely horrible. But some good came out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Boogie, less juice? Is that what you're going to say? Oh, wow! Christ! This just, could go somewhere. This could really go somewhere. Exactly. It's just the oh idea that there's God, no Boogie. subject that he couldn't be like, <laughs> wow. well, there's another side to this, you know? you got to consider the other side. You gotta like, oh, who was it who had the exact same opinion as this? Quite recently, was it Idub's girlfriend who said yeah. this pretty much verbatim? Oh, yeah. I think it was like three years ago because oh, it was in my well, video in 2021. I, I think <laughs> Idub's wife is functionally retarded uh, or non functionally retarded. I really should mean say like so. Idub's or Idub's is a well, he used to be just functional. Now he's, I don't know, he's just on fucking antidepressants. That's all he is now, isn't he? Just like fucking pilled up on antidepressants because he's married to a fucking lunatic. <laughs> Boogie would later call the statement one of his biggest regrets. He said it was his history teacher who taught him this, and that he no longer what? believed- It wasn't my what? fault, it was someone else. Wow. I was taught in school, school by a school teacher. It wasn't and once you've been taught something in school, there's no other way to learn more. Like, that's the, it. The, the Nazis were terrible, but there's some good that came out of it. Hugo Boss is a very popular designer still to this day. It's like, hey, listen, unlike public schools, some good things came out of the Holocaust, so, you know. God. Leaves him. He says he's not a centrist, but just a few months prior, he says that he's a centrist. I did some digging, and I found this tweet saying that he's not a centrist. He just plays one on the internet. And when Philip DeFranco oh. replied, that is kind of an odd statement to me. Can you explain what just playing a centrist means? Boogie said, I normally lean very left in most things. I don't really lean right very often, only fiscally. But oh, online, wow. I tend to favor a more <laughs> neutral approach, setting aside my personal feelings to focus more on things people online need to hear. Civility, decency. I, what does that imply? Like, I, I have yeah, to lie I and don't... become civil. <laughs> like, wait, what? Decent. <laughs> He's very animalistic offline, yeah. so he needs to like Look, sedate animal, himself. Yeah. With a, he's kind of yeah. implying that if you're left leaning, then you can't be decent or civil. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I so I have to pretend to be a centrist. <laughs> Etc. And I used to lose maybe, maybe like a, a, a guy every minute, but now I'm losing two thousand people every minute. I'm bleeding subscribers. What the f is this? What the f is this? Are you guys are you guys mad at me? Did I hurt your feelings? This would be a good example of the first of many instances where he'll be like, "I'm just doing Francis, so don't take any of it seriously." But yeah. you start to listen to oh, it. Oh yeah, like, this is yeah, this the, is like Birdemic Two when. 
you know, oh. like you, like you know, and it's not fun well, because he, you know, and we know you know, and it's. He uh, admits a couple of times that he Francis will be his avenue for saying things he believes, but doesn't want to say as himself. It's like hmm. like Eminem and yeah. Slim Shady, like <laughs> <laughs> yes, hundred percent like Francis. That. Yeah. Did I hurt your little feelers? Did I invade your little taste space? Is that it? Oh, Are you too busy being cuckolded that you can't f subscribe to oh. the channel any more? Is that it? I try, I try to do everything to please you people, and suddenly you don't f like me anymore. Oh, this is this is oh, getting really mad off. This one this isn't, isn't it. it. It's close to the bone. This one, vintage yeah. content. I pray if only this boogie knew what his future was. <laughs> <laughs> I f all these cars to try to f please you, and now you're subscribing by the thousands. I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelers? Did I invade your? F Safe space. If he kept this trajectory, you were putting yourself. Kills his endocrinologist or something. That would be the current iteration of this. <laughs> I work hard. I work hard on the fucking channel. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. Let's just come on. Oh uh, man, two-hour workday. Jeez. Whoa. Wow. I worked so fucking hard, you sons of bitches. I broke so much shit for you. This wow. isn't abusive. <laughs> and I was fucking over. And I was fucking over. Hey, you should tell PP you got cancer. Yeah, well, there's plenty, <laughs> plenty of room to fall. You know, at this point in his career, there's plenty, <laughs> plenty more room. It's like breaking through your ceiling. You have to fall through your floorboards. <laughs> you even... honestly, there's a lot of layers we're... of the earth as we're discovering. <laughs> well, there's all being YouTubers, and, and you know, you go through peaks and troughs in YouTube and all that. And yeah. and one of the things is when you're going through a trough, I, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, but normally you look at yourself and you go, okay, where am I fucking up here? Is it because I'm not doing enough work? Is it because I'm not doing this? Is it because I'm not doing that? You, you don't go, oh, uh, it's going down. It must be my audience. That, that's people fucked me over this well, time. If, <laughs> if a bunch of people have oh. left your channel, probably what you shouldn't do is berate the people who are still there watching <laughs> <Yeah>. you. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's kind of not their fault. Dude, he, uh, honestly, strategy, he's tried it's arguably like every... He's shouting at people for not giving him money with oh, the yeah. only people that are left are the ones that give him money. He's arguably tried every strategy except working hard and making things that are interesting or creative. Like, Boogie would never no. do that. He has to find something else that can make this work. He outright admits that he doesn't care about many of the issues that he speaks on, which makes it all the more perplexing that he's still willing to. So I had some good friends, and we go out to eat all the time. Uh, but eating out all the time well, made we know me fatter. You eat, all, eat out all the and time. And being fatter made me sadder, and I get being more depressed and sadder. more fat. <laughs> till eventually I was the fatter than I ever The circle bigger and bigger every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the circle of fat. He's an artist. Let me draw the, yeah. let me draw the circle bigger this time. And the my smile knees. gradually disappears. Have arthritis. My Aww. lower back is in constant pain. My left hip uh, is in, always in pain. My left thigh muscle burns all the time. Ever since I entered it in the last July, you know, my, now my ears are in pain. I am so pain. <laughs> and it's to the point that walking from this to like that like this, this, explode there. This, but, well, this, yeah. Yeah. I'm oh, not yeah. even lying. Yeah, this looks... was the majority of his content at one point. Like for a several years stretch, it would just be videos of him being just listing all of the pain that he is yeah, in. Pity me, pity me, pity yeah, exactly. I think this is yeah. When I, when well, we why it would be because one video got loads of traction yes. and so he's just like okay i've found a, a new avenue and i'm just yeah. gonna run it into the ground i guess absolutely well plus getting a bunch of comments saying like oh hang in there man you're, yeah, you're great. doing you're great inspired. you're strong yeah, yeah, yeah. i love you uh, you make and then it'd be like yes approval and, and getting paid to do that too it's like oh what a dream job for someone like him who because... he's a narcissist <laughs> right there, yeah. There's probably an alternate reality as well where Boogie actually did put in loads of work like in the gym or just eating healthy or whatever and actually got into good shape and gained a lot of respect from people as a result. It's not oh, this Oh yeah, reality, alternate clearly, universe but... Boogie is, oh, do you is remember doing the, really good. Remember the goodwill he got from the, the fight that he completely squandered? Like people oh, were like, you turned up. You, both, you, of them. both of them did. You turned up and you didn't die. That, I'm not even yeah. kidding. <laughs> Everyone knew that's a thing that happens. If you if you turn up to that sort of shit, people will be like, yeah, okay, you turned up. Like, you actually took the, the punches. All right, good stuff. Like, and, and it's momentum. And you, like, you're right, Wings and him both kind of wasted it. The documentary uh, didn't help when it was full of lies about his yes. expenses. Oh my God, So yes. So he did the fight and then the documentary comes out 
He's lied in the documentary well, about the expenses. The well. Yeah, he blamed it all on yeah. Mike Clum. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. He fudged yeah. all the numbers. It's not my fault. Yeah, it's not. Oh, yeah, you did everything correct, eh? Such pain and raising my blood pressure on gas for air, for an attack, walking hard is impossible. When I was at the station forward and lighting, that was so much pain. I think we had salty mission on the roof. Dr. Sarah's team had. Who needs to? Who, who needs to hit? People have got their own shit to deal with. That's the thing, though, as he you blew know, a who career needs to off doing this. this. Oh. Um, funny, it looks there like is... pop there. Boogie, I'll <laughs> buy your layer poster off you. I'll buy your layer poster if you still got it, and it isn't covered in cum. Oh. But you promised him to lose weight <laughs> and never having done it, some fans were getting a little bored of it all, and Boogie was fully aware of this. Boogie inched closer to a gastric bypass surgery. My very surgery. last Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> My very last Mountain Dew. <laughs> This was a no. lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that if done, would reduce the size of his stomach to the size of an egg, with the intent being <laughs> to lower off. his calorie consumption and allow him to finally lose a significant amount of weight. The first of which is exercise is nearly impossible for me. I can barely sit comfortably anymore. On top of that, you got the, the, the shattered back, the ruined knee, the lifting, everything else. Working. Oh, oh you you just said, we just had a video about this, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah we did. Transformation um, from fat Straight guy on. to super wow. strong buff guy well done. is incredible. I mean, absolutely inspirational. But That's uh, the name, the my name is Elga, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, forget, I forget his name, yeah, yeah but he's, yeah. yeah. I can't remember his name, but yeah, see, Billy uh, Bob Thor Yeah. No, no, not, what? Not Billy Bob Thor I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just... No. That's the guy with Angelina Jolie's but... blood around his neck. Yes. Nice. Incredible. I mean, absolutely inspirational. But he actually slid into my DMs and liked some of my tweets after I tweeted that. <laughs> Send me a picture of his cock. Well, like, th th you see this in literally everything he talks about. If there's any chance for him to talk about how someone who's even slightly famous likes him, he'll make sure you know. He's like, he liked me, by the way, and he talks to me. I was no longer focusing on the weight loss. I was focusing on controlling what I ate. I posted this tweet right here that uh, kind of went viralish. Boogie 298. Oh, this, yeah. This was a big problem that he had as well, was he would post like, oh, I did some exercise today, feeling good about losing all of this weight, and then it would never stick. It would never continue. Oh, yeah. He'd, remember, he'd make those videos where he went to the pool? Yeah. Or he'd yeah. go like on these little walks, and we're like, oh, and this later. is the only walk you had all week, yeah. and you, you went 12 feet, and then once the video's over, you're hopping in your car. And he just stops, oh. Taco Bell constantly complaining like you guys don't have a right to judge me for this and stuff but it's like you're making your weight loss your content and he obviously yeah. you. he wants to go he just wants engagement it has nothing to do with the actual subjects he, he just covered it's like it went viral with 2.5 7k likes you're like uh okay wait, wait what that's what he said it went viral oh i mean Oh, okay. Listen to him. Focusing on the weight loss, I was focusing on controlling what I ate. I posted this tweet right here that uh, mm. kind of went viralish. Boogie 298 coming at you live for the power of e begging on a dead YouTube channel. <laughs> I just kind of. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you really feel. I was really proud of this video. Um, it just shows me on my treadmill, but I think I look pretty good here. I, think... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean. You can really see what you were, sure. Sure. Sure, you know, given that. The weight loss in uh, this video, and you can see me getting back up. I'm back up and at it, no. watching what I eat a little more, and definitely getting some exercise. I'm so tired of hearing about the weight loss. I mean, the I thing is, though, that, that video is all well and good. And, and, and another time, Boogie can take a huge W from this if he continued. Yeah. It's, it was yeah, never yeah, about yeah, losing yeah, weight. It was universe, always about yeah. farming engagement and adoration for it. That's all it was. Yeah. I mean, again, and we kind of, the guy was like brutal, but he wasn't wrong because he was proven not to be wrong. And so like, I'm going, as you all know, I'm going through my own weight loss little thing. I've lost like a, in the last, a, just over a year, 120 pounds Doing in weight. Bloody Dude, brilliantly how many Mountain mate? Dews did you drink? Did you yeah. swap to diet Mountain I, Dew? Is that what you did? Oh, I, no, I, <laughs> I switched to crack cocaine. Oh, um, that'll yeah. work. That'll do yeah. the trick. It's, it's, a, it's a fucking bitch on the wallet, but my God, it does wonders for your appetite. Hey, Never no seen a fat no guy game. on heroin. <laughs> the, the point, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the thing is, you got you got to keep going. I'm, I'm, for my members only, I've currently got 100 days of accountability going on, where I, I touch base with everyone every single day, and I tell them literally kind of my, my calorie consumption, what I've been up to, what I've been doing. And that sort of stuff keeps you accountable. Doing, doing you know, like one vid or one little couple of second thing and put it up and go, look at me, I'm doing great. That's all well and good. But then you've got to follow up a couple of months later with, now look where I am. 
or a couple of months later. Now, yeah, yeah. If you want to make your weight loss your content, that's fine. But you have to take the bad with the good. You mm-hmm. can't just sure. go out here and be like, look at this it's really difficult. positive moment and then avoid all the bad stuff. If you don't yeah, want to do that, hard. maybe just don't make your weight loss your content. The other stuff. And I understand that, but I want you guys, I'm so certain that this time around, I'm not going to fail. And this reason is actually wow. fairly simple. I don't think it's very satisfying for the people watching. His weekly fix of attention seeking. Glad this channel is dying. He never made any quality content. He was <laughs> often accused of cheating on his diet. <laughs> fibbing about it. Once he told his viewers he was going to eat clean for 30 days. And since his audience wanted to see him get better, they supported him with views and donations so he could achieve his weight loss goal. Here's how he responded when someone asked him on Twitch why he didn't commit to his 30 days of clean. Yeah, man. What's the thing, because I've done the best I can to timeline this, even though we jump in all over the place, but like the the weight loss shit got him in so much trouble because he kept going back and forth from being like, guys, I just... I really want to get somewhere. What do you want to do? What do, do? But then you'd get really vindictive whenever he fucked up, which was a lot. And he was all off camera. He tried to pr- uh, like like stop people from seeing how much he was fucking up. But uh, mm-hmm. when you know it, when I saw this cave, I actually thought you were going to the bit where he sat down to talk to his dead mum and that, tell her what an amazing guy he is. That is in this. There, it is in oh. here. Wait, that happened? There is, there yeah. is unknown depths to I was this say, this... story that I'm just coming to understand now. <laughs> to reiterate, I'm a boogie historian, and there were clips in this I hadn't seen before. That I was like, fucking hell. <laughs> clean eating. Oh my God. I wasn't able to continue my clean eating, man. I'm really sorry about that. I guess it was very important to you, and I'm sorry that it was, but yeah. Right, I was and, okay, okay, sorry, okay, right? So somebody is going through, you know, doing something like this, and I, I haven't had any operation. All this has been just clean, you know, better eating, exercise, and consistency. But if you go, okay, I couldn't commit to 30 days. Fine, right. Then build yourself up. Do seven. Let's commit to seven, and let's yeah. do a video every day for seven days, clean eating, get on the scales at the beginning of it, get on the scales at the end of it, uh, and see how you feel with seven days, and let's see where that takes you. Well, also, like, the, where he says there, oh, I'm sorry it was important to you, implying, like, he didn't care about it at all. It's like you made <laughs> yes. that the focus of your channel, and people have actually donated money to help you on this, like, weight loss journey that you're going on, and you can't even live up to that, like, the support that they've given you, which you absolutely don't deserve, by the way. And, and you're, you're acting like they're the ones that have got the problem for like expecting some kind of results from you. Oh yeah, isn't he the... playing uh, Anthem as well? So he killed Anthem too with this. He did, um, 100. He was the reason they all got stopped. I was going to say the only thing that's missing from here is just how much he's played up, how important the journey is, and how failing would be the worst thing ever, and how he's inspiring everyone. So so much weight is on his shoulders for that. And then when he fails, he's like, "Yeah, fuck you. Who cares?" That sort of like attitude which starts to get him in trouble it's why he didn't commit to his 30 days of clean eating i wasn't able to continue my clean eating man i'm really sorry about that i guess it was very important to you and i'm sorry that it was but yeah since i was oh traveling my God. I, I wasn't able to keep it up man i got back home and i've been doing it ever since i got back home but you're right i was i didn't do it while i was traveling that's a real shame man and i'm really sorry i wasn't able to. i like how he says that as if it means anything yeah, yeah, well, really yeah, sorry. you can yeah, you can pick up the tone saying. right this is fuck yeah, off the, t- the tone is the tone yeah. is shut the fuck up yeah. stop talking to me I'm about sorry it. that this was, i'm sorry this really affected you it's like wait what <laughs> <laughs> love you though let's see how many people are disappointed <laughs> tell me in chat are you now there's are the you, centrist oh, coming out <laughs> love you though <laughs> love it's you just though. a great little cop <laughs> love okay you though with are disappointed with the fact that out of my 30 day cleaning clean eating habit i only managed to pull about 28. how how are you okay with that or are you pissed let me know no 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 you do you don't do i i'm gonna eat clean for 30 days and i didn't eat clean for two days oh fuck you i don't believe for one moment he ate clean for 28 days oh he's lying for sure lying for sure no way I guys, I said I was going to get I sober, and reversed, I was sober probably. for 25 days this month, okay, guys? I only did crack oh, yeah, for five days. <laughs> 28 <laughs> minutes tops, and he was probably overnight while he yeah, was sleeping, yeah, but yeah. no guarantees. <laughs> well, I think I think the problem is it's just, well, if you keep saying that you're doing it, and it's like, yeah, but you're still like a chongo, though. Well, then, like, <laughs> after a while, I've, I've lost yeah. so much weight. It's like, are you sure? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, that's why you got to have the accountability parts. That's why you got to have. Look at me on a treadmill now. You know, and then he doesn't know two what that months word later, means. Uh, <laughs> look at me on movie thing for five seconds, which hopefully goes viral.
pissed. He also said he would stop drinking soda, but astute viewers found multiple soda cans in the background of another video. <laughs> I'm on vacation, I can do what I want. Okay. So this is post surgery, and he wanted to convince his audience that he had, he was a changed man. Oh now. my god! Uh, and again, this wouldn't right? be as bad if he didn't upload my last Mountain Dew ever. Yeah. Well. Like, yeah. Why? No. Yeah, but but, <laughs> but, 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 but so this is the thing. He's, he's such a fucking shit liar. So in his head, he's like, I still love this shit and I'm drinking it. So what do I do with my audience that I told them I'd stop and that I had my last one and everything? It's like, so this is what he did. Like, check this shit out. It doesn't even taste good. Why did I ever like this stuff? Why did I ever drink this stuff? Why did I buy this? I don't want this crap. What why an the... asshole. Are you why do that? that? Yeah, yeah. Why, why, just bottle it up. Some, some poor guy, you jerk. Grab that bag. <laughs> Yeah, there, so, there so in an attempt to be like, look at me, look how virtuous I am, I'm pouring it out. It's like, so one, why did you fucking set up this stupid skit? And two, that's not how you get rid of bottles of Mountain Dew. You don't empty them into a fucking trash bin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people are looking at you at that airport. Guy like, you're an empty that. <laughs> like, Mountain Dew. I don't, I don't know. I, look, all right, you, you can't do like the, oh, this is shit. Why do I ever like it? It's like, dude, just admit it. Like, KFC fucking coke like all this shit it's it's the monkey brain like it's just you know yeah. it's it you do like it oh but it, it's, I, it's I, just low cal life he now says he hates food and it disgusts him <laughs> he said that he about to make himself yeah. sad yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. did he say to mm. destiny that i only i get mountain dew and i hate the taste because i'm trying to hurt myself it was one of those bizarre yeah. things ever like what <laughs> his argument is that he got mountain dew to hurt himself but he still drinks <laughs> diet too because he's the sugar diet but he still yeah. drinks <laughs> diet too <laughs> 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 With a mountain dew. He hates cool. himself just not enough to drink regular dew that has sugar in it. That's the thing. I, I, well, I think that's that. the biggest lie Pookie has told by far <laughs> that he hates food. Well, that, that's good. Yeah, I definitely I, even worse than that. the cancer thing. Even I worse than lying about that. cancer. I haven't drunk Pookie uh, hates food. I haven't drunk soda, Coca Cola, shit like that. I haven't drunk that for a, a year and a half now. Yeah, but and, and, people uh, believe you. I love that shit. Because... I love that. Yeah, but I'm not well, saying. I think oh, that's I what I that want. Shit. I just like don't don't bullshit that you don't like it. Of course yeah. you like it. People yeah, like. It's... There's a reason why Coca-Cola is a massive company. Coke's exactly. good because it it's disgusting. Yeah, yeah. It oh hits, uh, it hits it's a disgusting spots. drink that nobody wants, which is why Coca-Cola <laughs> Coca -Cola is a massive multi gajillion dollar yeah. company. Yeah, so it's, 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 you're okay. You can say, look, I used to drink this. I love this shit, and and it's. Uh, you know, it's so tempting to have one, but you know, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go on to some Mikael's, go to a still drink, go into some water. I I don't know, whatever you want. But you know, don't go oh I'm demonizing this. He, oh, how could I ever have this? I I bought it to pour it down some fucking bin that some guy's got to pull out and get fucking Mountain Dew all yeah, over them. He's gonna uh, pull out the shit and he's gonna see it's like filled with Mountain Dew. What the f yeah. yeah? Why are you guys what hating? He was gonna get another. Imagine if there's a little puncture at the bottom of the bag as well. And so the uh, poor clay to grab uh, <laughs> And then it dries. Dude, a lot of it dries just sticky. It's like, this is yeah. great. I was um I was at an airport. I think it was the the, the airport in, what was it? North Carolina. Um, what, what, Charles? Charlottesville. And they have these at the airports. It, it's almost like they're, they're docks for trash. They have like a trash bin. And they're clearly designed to where I guess you roll something up to it. Uh, like a little mini machine, like a l little tiny mini forklift sort of thing, and you like pull it out and you replace it, and then you drive away with the old one, so you don't have to physically push around the trash if you need to empty it out and stuff. Yeah, well. So that's my story about the trash I saw. Okay, that's my story. <laughs> All right. That was I, thought it was the really, I thought it was really. I thought it was really. By the way, Rag, people were saying that you, you would have gone to Charlotte if you were in North Carolina. Yeah, Charlotte. You said Charlottesville. Charlotte. Ooh. Yeah. In all fairness, that was the least of the problems with that story. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> really, for me, it was the lack of heroes, technology. you know? God, these horrible the fucking movie The hero is the trash man. <laughs> <laughs> they, keep, they, they, they keep civilization running, okay? Fucking video essays and their plot holes. Oh, no. Buy this, huh? 
No, 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 oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I buy that, yeah. Two yeah. of them. He does it again. Two of them. And then he Why? Oh, you bought another? Is no. the second yes. one? Oh, yeah. oh my god. What? Just, just put, the lid, back. Back. Just put the, the lid back on it and then drop the whole Absolute thing. Absolute yeah. cunt. Yeah. No, because in then the somebody else can reach in there and grab it and then they can drink it. He has to make sure that <laughs> yeah. it's gone. That's the thing as well. He's saving the world one bottle at a time. Boogie, Boogie's a philanthropist. Make sure it's killed completely. Oh my god, welcome Shadlogic. Oh my god, look. Speaking of philanthropist... Um, have you guys talked about Boogie lying about getting molested yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking about... <laughs> Not quite. No, we're talking about soda. He didn't lie, Chad. He just gave three different stories. One of them might be real. Chill. It's, it's, Maybe I they think, all yeah. happen. It's yeah, like in here. Over. This is the Watch Together link, uh, Chad. This, the format here is we're going through sections of how he destroyed his life in degrees, okay? We've done uh, okay. fence-sitting, and we're on weight loss right now. So really, okay, we're anyway, we're in the early to, uh, game. Interrupt. I just that's a very important topic to me. I want to make sure we get. Oh, there. it's an important topic to all of us. It's in here. Excellent. Good. Good. Past three years, I've struggled to lose weight. We've tried every diet there is, eating less, aka calorie restricting, avoiding <laughs> I've sugar, done everything avoiding except meat. exercise and lose weight. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just I just went ahead and I, the nothing worked part is annoying me. It's like you fucked you up. I deficit of oh. 2,000 calories a day for weeks, my body wouldn't budge. Bull no, fucking no, no, shit, yeah, yeah, son. Yeah, that, that is absolute. <laughs> that is not how the human body works, sir. It's no. literally just you. If you take in more calories than you expend, then your body get am bigger, R. So you can't. You have to. <laughs> just be clear, this, is, this is post gastric <laughs> bypass surgery, right? Yes. So he's got like a handicap. As well, like he, this is, <laughs> well, I the guess list. the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just don't don't bring it home. When you go to the grocery store, don't bring it into your house. Just don't buy it. Don't even put it around you. But how is he going to shoot these thousand like viral videos of him pouring <laughs> fucking Mountain Dew into the garbage if he doesn't buy it? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he steals it from people and he starts pouring it in the trash. He's like, I'm well, helping the, you. Uh, that I'm was the thing you. though. He was such a fucking idiot that he was like, see, I'm not drinking it, pouring it out, you guys, I've got it, I've got it. And then in the middle of other videos, he'd be like, is that an empty can of Mountain Dew? And he'd be like, no. That's an old the... one from yeah. the, uh, the, the, the I dark collect them. years. Dude, not, I'm just picturing a reminder, oh, like, like it's a reminder of where I came them. from. <laughs> movie Bob collects them, he puts them, he collects yeah. them. Remember the thing he said? Where, where, was it the wind or something knocked over his pyramid of... Mountain That's Duke right. Cans, the yeah. wind, the wind in his basement apartment knocked over all of his wait, cans what? of soda. Ma wait, Movie wait, Bob wait, had a wait, collection what? of cans, Mountain Dew cans, I assume, and they were all stacked, and he got very mad because they all got tipped over by the wind. I think at some point, basement wind. Just, just some, <laughs> just some Movie Bob. Yeah, he wall. farted and then just. <laughs> Yeah, right. avoiding basement cars. wind. I'm sick and tired of basement wind. Fucking ass. I'm shook. just picturing Boogie standing there ripping a Mountain Dew out of like a starving African child's <laughs> hand, and he's like, "You don't need that. That's not good <laughs> for, for you." you. <laughs> and then Save he puts a diet one in their hand. He's like, "This is better. <laughs> Less <slob>. chemicals." <laughs> now, now get back to making my trainers. Oh no! Are you gonna? Are, is I, like, are you going to use your trainers? Fat, uh, no fat, high sugar, uh, low sugar, no sugar, high meat, low meat, no meat. Nothing worked. Even when I had a deficit of 2,000 plus calories a day for weeks on end, my body wouldn't rubbish. budge. Rubbish. Many people rubbish. Yeah, it's, rubbish. Like, it's like science is pretty, you know, settled on this issue. Um, <laughs> like you're, you're just, you're, you're intaking too much food. You're, you're lying. Well, you're you might have the, too much. the side cow here and there added in to the meals but let's you know oh maybe he has like one of those like a calorie generator organ in his body that just generates calories from like uh, the sun. that yeah. could be it yeah People but how know. hard is it to do this after gastric bypass like this seems like a well so a he doesn't know I mean, he it, should, it, should be, it should be almost like physically impossible to stay at that he, he size followed, when you've had a gastric band he followed the meme result the prediction is that you will guaranteed lose weight just by sheer like the surgical restrictions you won't be able to not lose weight however if you did nothing for your lifestyle and state of mind you will gain it back like there's there's the surgery is just a stop gap like it'll only it's practically like being put in prison and being forced particular sized meals you like surgically won't be able to do more than that and so he was like look at me i'm amazing i've lost so much weight from it but then he just started to collapse straight away which is in here as well because there's a yeah YouTuber because that, 
uh, comes he after him. He never fixed it. it in his head. He never fixed it in his head. No, same yeah, with he never wings. got discipline. Wings, he never wings changed his never style. did the same either. They they had the operation. They thought that was the the way to get rid of all the weight. They didn't take into any consideration that if you're mentally not tuned in to, to improving, then you're going to fall back into bad habits. You're going you're gonna to start eating the food that you used to eat before, and you're going to start upping the quantities of what you can eat, and then you're going to start stretching it out again. If you don't tackle the mental issue with this, you're never going to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. Nowhere. And, and, and both of them prove that. So, no, it's a 2,000 calorie deficit a day for weeks is, is nonsense. Absolute nonsense. To call out Boogie for making excuses for his failure to lose enough weight. So a lot of people are wondering why I'm stuck at 340 pounds. And there's three major reasons, okay? There's three things that have to say that. Number one, fuck you. It's none of your fucking business. It's my body. It's my Bro, business. it is absolutely <laughs> their business. Oh, oh it's, it's his business, oh, all right? It's for, it's made made it everybody's business. business. Yes shit right it's only your business when i make it your business and i'll oh, let you know when you it's are... your business <laughs> that was the, this you... was another huge aspect of all of his content constant weight loss it's update. the evil teeth it's the evil new teeth it was that i swear <laughs> to god <laughs> when i want to talk about it i'll talk about it when i don't want to talk about it i'm not going to so kiss me oh, a man Fuck named alan wow. roberts from the youtube channel every damn day fitness Uploaded a video Ooh, to this. YouTube with some yep. constructive criticism yeah. it's got, and it's advice for Boogie. Videos like Heavy. this are not helpful. They are harmful. They just to be clear, this is Boogie responding to the video that, that just got made, being critical of Boogie's uh, aspect, sort of his attitude toward uh, weight loss. They make the situation so much worse. If this man wanted to help me, instead of getting clicks, he would have emailed me. We would have discussed it. I have no emails, no contact attempts, nothing. He clearly just wants to make the clicks, the money, and use me as an example for his audience. Yeah. Maybe on some level, mirror? he also wants know, to right? help. Me reaching out to the boogie cries there out the pain as it eats you. <laughs> there, there was the fence sitting as well, like right at the end. Oh, maybe he wanted to help as well. <laughs> like, again, <laughs> leave the door open every time. <laughs> yeah. This, is, it, this departs from the typical boogie strategy, which would be to say something like, Oh, no one's ever wanted to help me before. Oh, no one's ever wanted to have my side before. Oh. Well, he's definitely this hoping the, this definitely will garner undark. everybody to, like, because he's deluded enough to think this will help him. He'll be like, everyone, tell that man to stop telling me that I need to lose weight, because he's being mean, and uh, it didn't Punished work out, obviously. Boogie. Use me as an example for his audience. Maybe on some level, he also wants to help. Me reaching wow. out to you, me emailing you, this video wasn't for you. But you and I have discussed things in comment sections of one of the videos I did make about you, and I offered you to reach out to me anytime. Uh, and I did actually reach out to you on Instagram on June oh. 3rd, 2018, after Steve Shaw made a video about you. You could have lost more weight. You failed your surgery. You're oh. still fat. You should be skinnier. Boogie's always like, yes, I hear you, and I hear your feelings and your opinions, and that is correct. I could have done better, and I want to do better, and I'm going to try, because I'm a beta cook. People-pleasing piece of shit. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> no lies detected. Right. Wait, where do you even go from there? Hmm. Uh, I... I uh, okay, I don't know. It's like, I mean, I mean, it's like I'm I'm watching an animal at a zoo, you know. <laughs> well, yes, That's you, you kind says. of are actually, but yeah. Okay. Wait, did you call this video Darth Booger? The why? <laughs> <laughs> you call it Booger? <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. He'd eat it. Now, if somebody walks up to me and says, "Hey, you lost 200 pounds. You could have lost more, and you should have lost more. How does it feel feel to be a failure?" My answer is, "Go fuck yourself." Wow. What I'm not doing is I'm not cutting back on what I eat because food makes me happy and I want to be happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Then Dude, this is revolutionary information for why people are fat. Turns out they like the food. It's like, and really? The best part is, is it's still a contradiction. Like, now he's saying the opposite. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. Now he'll tell you depressed. he never liked food. He only ever did it to harm himself. <laughs> he's full of shit. Felt that he could eat whatever he wanted and still lose weight. And I personally said, I said that that is a serious warning sign that it is, he was, has not addressed his food addictions. I didn't do the mental work pre-surgery that I Correct. needed to do. In fact, Correct. I'm more damaged now in a post-surgery oh, world God. than I was in a pre <laughs> He always finds yeah, a way. Oh. It's so, yeah, so it's like, fact, you should damaged. feel even worse it's not for like me I'm now. Just, yeah, it's not like I'm it's, just lazy and yeah. unmotivated and I've got no self-discipline. It's like I'm a damaged individual from the trauma of doing YouTube videos for an hour a day.
Trauma. Just in case you were thinking about being happy for me. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Then. He started your world because I got fucking divorced. Eat shit. Eat shit and go fuck yourself. Suck wow. every dick in the world and fucking die. How about that? How about does this? Is this your fucking body? Is this your fucking brain? It's my, this is my yeah. brain. This is my body. How the fuck does what I do impact you? Go what fuck yourself. Eat shit. shit. This is what I mean. What a vile, vile this is really likable. That's the thing. This is costing really, him. Really get behind him. He thought he was just him, getting you know. away with this because it was on Twitch. It was a. Uh... Oh to be fair, I didn't know about his Twitch channel for a long time. Eat shit. If you want to be skinny, go be fucking skinny. I'm me. I'm not fucking you. You're not fucking me. This is my brain. It's my body. Eat shit. If I want to be 700 fucking pounds tomorrow, I'll go to McDonald's right now. Go fuck yourself. If I want to be 200 pounds tomorrow... I like how tomorrow... he's dressed up as a doctor here. This is the same one that gave him the cancer diagnosis. I More like a mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the doctor's in the other room. Let me go get him. I'll fucking do that. It's my fucking body. It's my fucking choice. It's my fucking brain. Go fuck yourself. Brain. Go fuck yourself. Said on Twitch one night. Oh, I'm like, I don't know that I'll God. ever. I don't know that I'll Didn't ever. Didn't he get a lot of get support? This actually, like his fans gave him a bunch of money. Oh, yeah. shit tons. Yeah. Yeah. At this time, yeah. This is I mean, it's less like uh, fraud. It's like Keffels esque, you know? He was Basically, spending yeah. all his fucking time talking about how of an important journey it is. How much he would often say, like, I people have reached out to me to say, like, my successes are their successes and I'm inspiring people and you know, it's interconnected, it's all important. But then the second he fails miserably, he's just like, Fuck all of you, leave me alone. This was never so getting up before. Yeah. Like, don't do this publicly if you don't want people asking questions about it. You can't just take the good, like the bad is going to come and then you're gonna get on Twitch and yell, basically. Yeah, well, he's he's, curse, he's like one clip away from just saying, I like it when you guys give me money and say I'm good. I don't like it when you're critical of me and you don't give me money. I don't like that. Oh, oh okay. In fact, I think there's some clips mm. in here that are like that. Smaller than 350 pounds because I'm really happy at my current size. Mm. And the reason I said that was not because I'd given up. I said that because a lot of people were really worried about me and I wanted them to stop worrying. I wanted them to know that I was happy where I currently am. What he conveniently leaves out, however, is all of the other stuff he said about how he looks forward to dying and only expects to live for 10 more years. So, how he looks forward to dying. The delivery there was superb. <laughs> But when somebody says to me, well, Boogie, you're going to die in 10 years if you don't lose this last 50, 100 pounds. I'm like, hey, that sounds great because I'll have a great 10 years. I'll eat what I want and I'll die. And I'm looking forward to dying. Oh, that's the yeah. stuff you say to get people not concerned. You, that's the stuff you say to make people think that you are happy. But now Boogie's all like, I hear you talking and I really respect you. I don't fucking respect you. I don't fucking respect you at all. Die in a fucking fire. Oh my god. Die in a fucking fire! Jeez. Fat shaming piece of shit! Fat oh, shaming? Oh. The Mr. Rogers oh, of yeah, YouTube, Mr. everyone. Rogers over here. <laughs> Boogie learned a new ism today. Yeah, oh. and this one he didn't have any like real opinions. Wasn't that just such a better time 20 minutes ago? <laughs> well, at least he's not sitting on the fence. Yeah, yeah at least he's taking true. a hard stance. Yeah, the fence finally broke. <laughs> Anyways, look at you, you bald, chunky motherfucker! Why wow, the fuck are you gonna be judging me on goddamn Twitter? I take that personally. <laughs> Wait, <baby. laughs> Who are you to judge me on Twitter? <laughs> well, Twitter is for judging. If I've learned anything about Twitter, that's the place for it. <laughs> fuck you! For fuck's sakes! My fucking life. I'll do, if I want to fucking get to a no, thousand you're mad, fucking. No, you're mad because you don't want to be accountable. That's why you're mad. Yeah. You're mad because people are holding you accountable for what you said you're gonna do. Yeah. But you never had any intentions of following through with it because you thought you were taking a quick fix solution, and now you're beginning to realize what accountability actually is. You're pissed with yourself. Ounce. And of course, he just lashes out. And, and I put a piece of TNT up my ass and blow myself up. Do I'm it. allowed to do that. It's I'll my fucking you. body. I'll sponsor you. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Tell me I'm fucking wrong. For fuck's wrong. sakes, man. He's in late wrong, 2018, yeah. he posted an image of his scale showing that he was at 350 pounds. He only had then one in January of 2019, <laughs> he claimed that he's now hitting 350 Losing weight is the only thing that gives Boogie any joy in life. <laughs> <laughs> that and Mountain Well, maybe gaining weight, but... 
50 and this is somehow an improvement. Either he somehow faked the scale's numbers in 2018, or he's lying to his audience in January, acting like he's still improving and losing weight. If you're 500 pounds, you're like, I love being 500 pounds, and 500 pounds is who and what I want to be, and I don't give a shit about the health ramifications. I don't give a shit about the fact that I'm dying. I don't give a shit about it. That's not healthy. Yeah. That's that's crazy. You're being crazy. Stop. He took Lizzo. He literally says the exact same thing, but at a lower level, yeah. Myself right now. And the problem he's, is, he's, he's saying something which isn't actually that incorrect, in it, but he's wording it incorrectly. Well, the point what, of it what is What he's that... trying to say is your, your body gets used to the weight that you are. And so your body resists. So even if you're, if you're in a, a fit, if you're a fit person and you do lots of exercise, if you start becoming uh, sedentary, your body will resist. And it'll be like, come on, let's get active. Let's get active. It's exactly and, um, the same as if you're big. If you're big and you try and lose weight, your body's just like, whoa, 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 whoa. I, 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 I like being this size. Your body loves status quo. So, so what is, why are you doing? Why are you trying to lose weight? Let's, let's stay the way that we are. That's why you have to smash through these barriers. Yeah, the, the human body and like humans in general are very, very adaptable. And we kind of get used to different scenarios and we're able to, you know, be versatile, which is... In most situations, very, very good. But in cases like this, where you can get used to being that size, and that's the normal, and you're used to that, and you just sort of accept it, it's definitely, it's a, it's a huge negative. You shouldn't have to settle for that. You shouldn't get used to that. I don't care if I lose any more weight. Like, that's my biggest issue right now. I don't care. Being as big as I am right now at 350 pounds, I'm still going to die early. That's where I spend 97% oh, of my time is right here in this chair. Either mm -hmm. drinking Mountain Dew, for yep. sure. I have a couple of these a day. I'm also the Mountain Dew that he hates, by the way. <laughs> it's it's disgusting. He hates it. Yeah. Hey, it's yeah. diet, okay? A couple, a couple of crates, that is. A couple of crates of Mountain Dew a day. It's yeah. coarse. It gets everywhere. Yeah. Two <laughs> to three hours before I go to bed, playing... I didn't even make your PlayStation. fucking bed. This is where the PlayStation 4 Pro ended up. This is where the Xbox One X ended up. And I don't really use the treadmill. Oh, oh. interesting. Oh. I don't care about, like, Look at the fucking dust on the treadmill. <laughs> yeah. Hasn't been touched in months. <laughs> the, uh, well, yeah, it's like, my friend said, like, wow, he, th do you think, <laughs> does Boogie think I give a what? shit where he puts oh. his PlayStation? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's by the TV. The That's fascinating, wow. Boogie. Yeah, wow. incredible. Wow. You put your video game console in the, by the TV. Wow. Crazy. Oh. Wow. His fucking treadmill is turned into a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a really low shelf. A really low yeah. shelf. <laughs> it's like it's just a platform for objects. Treadmill much. If people don't understand that, fuck them. I don't care anymore. I oh. honestly don't care. Oh, Boogie, you're lazy. Fuck you. Oh, Boogie, you're not trying. Fuck you. Oh, Boogie, you're the... Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. It's I don't genuinely oh, impressive I don't... that a guy who's so lazy Visible? and so unmotivated and so untalented in so many ways and so unlikable has managed to hang on to fame and success oh for yeah as as he did wow well, success i don't know about that fame we well, had it i mean he had it for a while i guess and that's because so he, he got to that that's, level that's because he, he was a wretched fat freak <laughs> he was su internet, success right? financially i assume you mean that right because because he was popular yeah, and he yeah. had money he never made anything worthwhile but of course the, the fascinating part is that he probably would argue that he had, like, a steep, sharp fall, but it took fucking ages. It did. It took a long time. It took, like, years and years. Yeah, it because a lot long. of he's, people, are good. people are good, and people want to give you the benefit of the doubt, and a lot of people, even if you fuck up a couple of times, would be like, well... Come on, let's 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 see. Let's see if they can get this redemption story going. Let's see if they can change their attitude, change their mind. And... and when you've built up a channel that's so big, it's so difficult to see a, a, the sort of tide turning if, you, if you're in your own bubble. This is a guy who's telling his audience who want him to succeed to go fuck themselves. These aren't horrible people that are saying nasty things to him. These are people who are trying to either motivate him, trying to give him a kick in the ass in the right kind of a way. They're trying to put him back on the right pathway. They're trying everything they can to get this guy to, to, to lose more weight to get healthier so he can produce more videos for longer, live longer, etc. And he's literally telling them to go fuck themselves. Yeah. I think he's just got to the point where he just gives up. Uh, he feels like nothing works, nothing matters, when ultimately he's the issue and his attitude's the issue. But uh, I don't care. Well, it's his last curious. resort. He has no other response other than go fuck yourself. That's what it came to. Pretty much. Yeah. To see uh, those of you who get it and those of you who don't. Look at this. Do you think I would choose? 
this? Oh. Or do you think I'm doing everything I humanly can to oh, that, fight that, it? That green screen is really <laughs> unfortunate behind him. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's doing everything he can to fight it, okay? His lowest weight post-surgery was 336 pounds. Interesting. 336 pounds. His original goal weight in 2018 was 270. Now, at the start of 2020, in January, he reveals he is 351 pounds. When called out for his lies, Boogie said that he had a tumor, which of course he did not. Oh. My doctor says that my entire system has gone to shit. Hormonally, I'm a nightmare. I have little to no muscle mass. My bones are weak and brittle. My blood sugar and insulin are through the roof. According to him, this all is because <laughs> of a right. Yeah, I wonder Sorry, why. I, right. I love that it's in the body from the, the right stuff and doing the right stuff. <laughs> like, it's, it's leading to it's a It's likely a tumor. It's like, uh, <laughs> I can think of something else that might be causing all of your issues <laughs> metabolism which makes it a little bit more difficult to lose weight the same month of this reinvestment he posted his weight on twitter Ooh. 384 pounds in march of this same year he was 371 last year he was getting criticized for being at 363 it is important to note that he was asking for help relating is this, to the is weight the same but doctor that thought he had cancer twice that he didn't have cancer he said he thought I had what? a tumor on my perpetuity gland. Oh, it could be. Wait, his, could his be. alter ego in the lab coat. <laughs> <That's> the, <laughs> yeah. I don't think this guy's. Yeah, I don't think this guy's got a doctor. Really. Look, I can expect like, maybe or, one time, two. Or two, he, yeah, he had like self cancer or, twice. Well, no, it's true. In that meeting, it was probably like the doctor reeled off a big list of things that could be causing this, and one of them near the very end was that as like an outside possibility. And he was like, "Sweet, he's just it's not me being it. fat. It's that." I love that yeah. One. <laughs> It's a tumor. <laughs> tumor. Then went on to post. Then went on to post this Get on the video. Mill. All right, gentlemen. I've called this meeting for one reason and one reason only. Uh -oh. I want to talk about my tits. He oh. looks to have unfurled himself over a surface and what looks to be <laughs> unfurled. <laughs> Into a pool. So he can be seen drinking things like milkshakes and sodas, despite having sworn these things off. While he occasionally admits that he outright failed to eat like he was supposed to in order to lose weight, he also often says that eating less makes him literally suicidal, and he has no intention of actually diminishing it to any significant degree. <laughs> he pulls that out all your, the time. You, it's because he's getting his dopamine hit purely from his food and not exercise. Yeah. One of the best ways to get a good dopamine hit is to actually exercise. And then going on a treadmill, great. But one of the best ways to, to when you're losing weight is, is weights. Don't have to be heavy to start with. It's weights. Do weights because you, you're moving your body. You're constantly adjusting your body. You're constantly shifting your body. So you go to the gym. You put in a session. You, you, you work within your limit. You don't have to go OTT. And that gives you a natural endorphin release, which buoys you and actually encourages you to keep on going. This guy's just sat there eating fucking Mountain Dew, eating ice cream. I was gonna say that all Mountain sounds Dew. that all sounds hard. Can you just crack open a few cans? It's diet. I put in a bin <laughs> in, the, in my local uh, airport. <laughs> In between the multiple glasses of soda per meal, pizzas, and cookies, it's evident that Boogie doesn't care as much about fixing his diet as he pretends to for inspirational videos on YouTube. And I'm getting bigger and stronger and healthier, and occasionally some guy comes along and calls me fat, but we don't care because he's an asshole. Myself, I'm not a very <laughs> outraged person. It's difficult for me to get upset about stuff that I read on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I no longer feel bad about just blocking people on Twitter or on YouTube or on Facebook or anywhere else. Trolls, trolly, and trollish. That stuff doesn't bother me at all. I love feedback on the internet. I love your tweets. I love your Facebook posts. Tell me how I should be ashamed that I should just live in my house. Tell me I need to get a treadmill and I should get friends. Bring it on. The more you hate, the more I'm loved. Come on. But if you're Yeah, that's offended... just the classic method of deflecting criticism right there. If you say you like it, you think that that dissuades them to stop. Oh yeah, he's been trolls. He's actually engaged in possibly you. the entire rule book for how to not stop criticism but encourage it to the maximum. So, yeah, it's not original, it's not authentic. He didn't come up with it himself. He just took it from someone else. Yeah. But he ran yeah. with that for 18 months or so. It's so weird Still when people does it do now that. For some respect. 
Yeah, it's weird when people do that because I've never seen that actually work where people are able to successfully yeah. navigate criticism like that. So they have to watch it and go, oh, okay, that didn't work, but I could do it. And maybe I have a different like chance, I guess. Just I imagine it worked like, initially when the first few people tried this. We're going back to the caveman days of YouTube. But everyone's wise to it now because so many others have done yeah. it. Chud, I told him about my theory with the wall cow gene before the stream. I think that like these people have the gene and they can't stop it. There's nothing they can do. They're on that trajectory. So it's self sabotage, really, isn't it? Like, yeah. yeah, he's a self destructive person. Most of the shit that people say about you on the internet, I mean, who fucking cares what some retard on Twitter thinks, you know? If only he seriously, if he had that point of view, he might still have a full career. Jeez. It's okay um... that you're offended. Grow the fuck up. I don't like your opinion. Grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. Who gives a shit? Man, I had so much respect for you. Such a shame. If your respect was so easily lost, then my friend, I am afraid you have no clue what respect is. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Francis. I took over the fucking stream. Well, what's up, Bob? Boogie, Boogie, who, Boogie's not here. You I mean, can how can you, how that's can you not, not respect this guy? I mean, yeah. Yeah. He seems like a really cool dude. I, like I, th I think what's funny there is that wasn't actually the Francis. That was, you know, like, you know what I mean? The tone was a lot more, um... All I gathered from these... It was more venomous. It was more venomous. All these clips are is just him being like, can I not put on the mask for this one? Can I just... And Pretty it's much, like, yeah. I'll call myself Francis for the day. We'll just That's do that. Right. I'll call myself Francis, but it's not because it's way more venomous and, and vindictive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, like that. That's proper passive-aggressive. Yeah, this is um, character yeah, assassination. Yeah. Francis would never do this. Yeah, um, that's right. Just Welcome before we go on, guys, club. Um, I'm going to have to bounce <laughs> sadly because I only had a little bit of time this evening for this. No problem. I, I hope you're enlightened. I mean, this was possibly all the boogie I could handle in one <laughs> sitting. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like a lot I need of a gastric. I need a gastric band for my boogie intake. You know, oh, well, no, it doesn't overwhelm oh, me. Just, just for reference, like boogie this, bypass. This only gets worse. Like we've seen all of the chill stuff <laughs> for the most part. I. I'm definitely going to watch the the replay of this. Um, I want to I want to get the full story, but it's been a pleasure as always. So I will let you carry on with your boogie experience. See you later. All right. Good yeah, we'll catch you later. later. Catch you later, bye guys. Bye. Bye, bye. Here, did I see Reddit today? Oh, I seen Reddit today. Ooh, ooh, we don't like boogie anymore. Good. I don't fucking like you. I don't fucking like you, Reddit. Okay. Yeah. See, this is not this is not Francis. No. No. <laughs> no. This is Boogie in a voice. Yeah. yeah. This Boogie's is wearing Boogie Francis, in Francis skin. Francis's clothing. <laughs> yeah. That's this, this, uh, this this attitude is great because redditors are total subhuman freaks who are not worth listening to ever. But you know that he sat there reading every comment and fucking seething about it. Absolutely. Yeah. It doesn't work. They mean right? everything to him. But I need their approval. Reddit. Okay. I don't care. I never care. If you are offended by something I said, I don't give a shit ever again. I don't give a fuck how again, they find like somebody who really doesn't give a shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really put it like somebody who doesn't give a shit. Mmm. Did you are? I don't give a fuck. If you don't like something I said, I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't oh, care. The, he, he, he's looping. He, he just, just he has just to tell himself. us how much he doesn't care. He needs us to yeah. know. You must understand. He's trying to convince okay. himself, not us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Buy a fucking pillow, cry into that shit. I don't care. As nice as I've always wanted to be when it comes to just owning somebody who's so stupid he's doing damage to me or other people. I've kind of learned to enjoy it. If you're stupid enough to think that of me, then I can't help how stupid you are. Like you can't you can't hmm, you can't you can't teach physics. To a dog. What? And if you're someone stupid enough to well, hey, look, dog, right. dog, 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 like elementary I, physics, sure. Dogs do know. understand. Okay, okay, so so calm down. Stuff. All right, now calm down. Yeah, All right. a bit of racism going on. I, a bit more dogs elementary. Dogs do understand physics. They yeah. do. They know what they, they know what physics is. They know that when they jump, they go up, and then they eventually fall back down. Maybe they wouldn't conceptualize it in the way that we do, but doggos definitely they, understand. They track physics. moving objects right. in relation to the physical yeah, exactly. world pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can you... hear you. And then there's that. Yeah. But we're, we're saying that. Yeah. Dog, dogs, they, they, they can make sense of it all. Mm -hmm. They just don't yeah. take it the way that we do. They don't write it down on like paper.
Yeah, but, we use Notepad. And, and to be fair, I don't computer. write it down much either. <laughs> Honestly, that's <laughs> right. Actually, we we've um I've been I've been messaged by Live Art Chain, and uh, he is he's given us a meme. He's given us a a bound of, uh, a bounty of this meme. Okay, I don't know what it is with Discord images. Whenever I try to load them, <laughs> is, is that man in blue? <laughs> Love you though. You <laughs> look at that, wall, that beautiful wall sitting from Oh Boogie One Kenobi. I hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo I love the drawing itself. <laughs> Fucking it. Love you though. Love you though. It really Good captures name. the spirit. Yeah. Would ever verbally assault somebody? I can't teach you physics. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah. Sorry, that clip's wow. kind of important. He said that you'd have to be like insane to think you would ever verbally assault someone. And I think he, when he says that, he just means insult someone. You can't, you can't, you can't teach physics to a dog. To a dog. Ugh, racist. And if you're someone stupid enough to think I would ever verbally assault somebody, I can't teach you physics. You know. Though we have talked in therapy no. about quitting social media You're altogether, which is dogs. once again contradicted by the fact that last month was his second most active month on Twitter ever, with often up to eighty or ninety tweets per Wait, day. Wait, was that Sunny V two? Oh Whoa, ninety tweets, ninety day. tweets a day. Oh That's my god! That, my so when you get to ninety, day. you're like, okay, but what, what are you? Well, like, how, what does your day look like? Ninety tweets per day. That's Jeez. Damn. Chill. Yeah. That's, How do you get that's anything almost done? For an hour. I mean, if they were automated, that'd be one thing, but these are not. These are all him just responding to people being mad at him. I really can't handle people hating me. It triggers all my baggage. I try to fix it, and oh, I just can't. But I can't stop oh, caring no, about it. Triggered but my you baggage. are right about me learning not to care about people in that subreddit. But I can. I really care about them. I really oh my care god. About them. I do care oh about them. Oh my god. <laughs> I do love them, really. I do. Oh, jeez. I'll still watch your YouTube gaming news feeds, as you provide good insight and knowledge. No, May avoid no, the Twitch streams, though. <laughs> Lol. Please stop watching my content. If you could wow. possibly think that of me, I don't want you watching. Please just forget I ever existed. It breaks my heart that you think I am actually that kind of person, or that you could ever think it. Six replies and no likes. <laughs> it's like, fucking liar. It yeah. went viral. Yeah, look. It went viral. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It went viral. It went certifiably caloric. This is the world's tiniest violin. Okay. Oh, here we go. Playing the tiny little fur fucking dirge for how little of a shit I give about what fucking Reddit thinks about me. Keep it to your fucking self. Okay. If if you don't like something I said, I don't this care. This will definitely if, make if people I, stop criticizing yeah, him. It's a really good strat. Yeah. This is a knockout yeah. blow. This is like yeah. This is the nuclear option. Guaranteed win. Fend your fucking sensibilities. I don't care. Get a fucking therapist. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, okay? Reddit can suck my entire dick, and that only takes like 30 seconds. But when they're done, Reddit can kiss my- Does he think the size of one's penis is measured in how long it takes for you to suck it? <laughs> Probably. Like, how I don't, big I don't is have your the penis? answer to that, right? Oh, that's a, 30, that's, a, that's a 30 seconder. He's like, that's a, that's a lot of time, mm -hmm. actually. Entire fucking ass. There are people out there, little assholes, little douchebags, little dickheads, little cunts, little shit faces, little fucking nope. whatever the fuck you, you want to really call feel? them. Um, and and they fucking Not little bad. pricks, little fucking ball sacks, little scrotal faced pieces of shit, whatever you want to apply to them. Okay, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, goodness, I nobody cares. I kind of right? think you do. I think you he sound does. like you care. Yeah, somewhat. You sound like you are the somewhat gene. Concerned. This is the wall cow gene. gene. He cannot help this. There's no stopping it's this. It's his nature, yeah, he can't. It's a physical need. Dawn oh. of the final day. The final day, suicide. <laughs> Section 4 of 20. <laughs> Paragraph 8. <laughs> this is but my last suicide All attempt. of this, all of this, all Committing of the Committing suicide is the only thing that brings me to <laughs> trouble it all really comes down to childhood onset complex post-traumatic stress disorder something that came up in therapy recently that i want to share with you is i don't allow myself to get help and i don't help myself because i don't feel i've earned or deserve that help and
you get you can see the tonal shift when he speaks about like oh this is a video that i'm pre-recording to get sympathy from people so i need to do the nice voice yeah and i need to do the call i need to be calm boogie i need to be nice boogie. Well, just voice. i guarantee his uh his therapist was like yeah you don't want to help yourself because you don't feel like you deserve it and then like the idea was oh okay wait i really need to work on myself boogie was like yes the internet's gonna yes, love that shit. Right. That's you have great. to work on me. That's right. <laughs> also, the therapist was nothing. like, "Boogie, nothing." I, I, my, I watch your Twitch streams. Uh, For all we know, the fucking therapist was just a mirror, and he up. told himself how much he's right about everything. The and... therapist is also his doctor. Yes. <laughs> Which the is brain just never stops. And he has, just... Yeah, he's also his uh, local takeaway pizza delivery man as well. <laughs> so much emotional, mental pain. Uh. I. I I look forward to dying. And if I'm being entirely honest uh, with you, and I see no reason not to be entirely honest with you, though I don't want to worry you guys, I don't uh, care about dying. In fact, to be honest with you, most days it, it's a bit of a comfort to me. You just need to go dark for a while, man, and find out how you want to be viewed on the internet and just have some R&R &R to focus on yourself. To which Boogie yeah. said, you know what, deal. See you in a few days. I might tweet a few times to let you know I am alive, but otherwise <laughs> let's see what a few days off can do. See you uh, soon. See I do genuinely love you guys. Most days when I think about eventually dying, it's relaxing to me because I've been anxious my whole life. Ever since I was a kid, I have trouble sleeping at night. I have trouble... This is almost a precursor to the cancer shit because it's it, like he's obviously lying, but it's <laughs> really hard to prove this, that in his head, he's not actually thinking about killing himself at all. Suicide <laughs> had the walk so cancer could fly. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> And when the cancer went away, suicide has returned. Oh. Somehow, <laughs> suicide has <laughs> returned. Suicide returned. <laughs> the dead speak. <laughs> when, was this, when was this video made? Oh, you talking about the... This one? The, no, the this original one clip? Right now. I don't know. This is yeah, fucking hard to track years ago. Basically, it's the easy way to track it is the teeth. If he's got the dentures. <laughs> the no, I mean, I'm serious. He's yeah, right. Like he's right. No, you're right. Yeah. It's all the little clues. This is obviously this and, is post and, surgery, uh, pre teeth. The grays, yeah. you know, on his, on his yes. beard and his hair. The but there's pre surgery, teeth. post surgery, and then, and then the teeth. Pre teeth, post, post teeth. teeth. Oh, yeah. And then I guess there's pre mansion as well. Before you can also he had, like, track it by the, um, the amount of gray in his beard. You can track him like that as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So it does help. You just got to look for these markers, all right? But this mm -hmm. is, you do need blood markers. Yeah, like that's how you figure it out. Blood markers. Is <laughs> every time Boogie threatens suicide, he gets another gray hair? <laughs> yeah, this is fully gray. Homelander putting them in the fucking jar. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's like the shitty version of angels getting their wings or something. Aww. Yeah. Every time I Even... use suicide as a manipulation, a gray oh, every time, yeah, every time he threatens suicide, a Red Bull gets its wings. There you go. <laughs> we've we've looped it back. There you go. Threatening Just suicide and getting my audience like... worried is the only thing that gives me joy in life. <laughs> yes. It must fucking yeah, do the got... amount he does it. How would a guy that big even do it? Is it even possible? Is it? Uh, Ch Chad, do you remember the earlier this year where they said they uh they snapped the uh the hanger? What? Remember the person who said, like, I tried to kill myself and the rope broke? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's Pulling down the whole door frame yeah. with this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> the ceiling collapses. Yeah. Boogie's too narcissistical I've... to even think Absolutely. About no one believes he'd ever kill himself. Trouble yeah. sleeping at night. I have trouble even just sitting down. Learn from my mistakes and keep your nose clean. Do not engage. Do not apologize, even if you are truly sorry like I was. Oh, do not God. give them power, do not respond, do not talk about it. If it is untrue, there's nothing you could do anyways. Just keep doing what you do. I let my anxiety about it get so bad I almost took my own life. Oh, I made the people God. around me sad because I talked about that too. Save it for your therapist if you can. Stay alive. It will pass. It's something you can't control, and if you have anxiety, I know that's hard. But the opportunity to, to have met you guys and to take photos with you and have you say to my face, I know better. I'm smarter than that. I'm better than that. I'll always be a fan. To you see what he's doing? Like, like this. Oh is yeah, the this stuff is I the, need. this is nice boogie mode. Yeah. Well, just just that like I, need... I was gonna kill myself, but then it was you guys saying this shit, you know. But maybe you should say it some more. Just just, mm. uh, just get it. Manipulate. It's just typical boogie manipulation. Guys, I don't want you guys to worry about me. You know, I'd never do something like that, but. Well, if you stop sending me these messages, I don't know what I'll do. Mm. You know? I'm going to fucking kill myself. But don't worry <laughs> like, about it. Or anything. Like those videos, you know, keep those super chats coming in. and be. I think I'll be okay.
know that I yeah, have I guess you don't have a section on pandering, but that might have deserved its whole section by I, itself. That's a that's just a running theme. That's in every section. Yeah, obviously. I think it, wouldn't speaks. pandering be in the? It would be in the section about fence setting, right? Because he's pandering. Well, that's, oh thing. yeah, pandering that's is like just persistent. Yeah, we because yeah, every in everything he does, he's trying to it, pander. It seriously is like the case that basically every every single like every time he talks. It's like the desire, every, it, all of the, it's, the intention is entirely, how can I say things that will advantage me? Like, how can I say things that will better my situation, that will make people like me more? It's, it's just like, it's all, it's all just to inflate himself, which, <laughs> it's, it's just fascinating to, uh, and That's to the see, last like, thing he needs to do. It. And it's about, it's about the worst topics as well, like suicide, cancer, molestation, rape, like the worst oh, yeah. things you can reach for. Yeah, but you notice to... there's a common theme, and and the common theme is these are things that a, a decent person doesn't question, which is why they yeah. that's chosen, what yeah. he relies on. Yeah, yeah, and that's so why the cancer stuff is so crazy because for the most part, everyone thought Boogie was a liar, but they just went, oh well, I mean, all right, he probably has cancer. So he wouldn't lie about that. In Turkey Tom's videos, he has like all these sections about how he's provably a disgusting fucking liar. When he gets to the cancer announcement, he's like, yeah, this looks to be true. It's like, yeah. Because even, yeah. even all the people who thought he was a disgusting piece of shit liar were like, well, you wouldn't lie about cancer. <laughs> yeah, I, that's I, like, mm. you know. Because, but a lot of people would say that because, well, then there'd be like paperwork and mm. proof. And when uh, when requested, you'd have to provide that. It's not like some, um, oh, like, Chud, you remember the, the, the Queerly B chick? Talk about Star Oh, my God, right? yes. I, I, have undiag <laughs> I have undiagnosed pain and uh, fatigue. And I'm like, <laughs> There we go. There we go. We're, yeah. we're fucking collecting that shit like Pokemon cards. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Fatigue and fibromyalgia are the classic ones that, you know, normally white women claim they've got, and that's why they can't work. Yeah, well, I'm just yeah. in pain all the time. I can't work. Uh, and I'm tired all the time, too. It's not. It's undiagnosed, though. I'm, I'm just always <laughs> tired, and I always... You're like Boogie. 400 pounds, and you're like, what? Come on. We know what's going on here. No, it's because they're DID, okay? They're just disassociating during oh, the day. Like, yeah. Oh, that's shit. another oh, thing. God. There's no section for this, but a lot of people agree. Learning, like, psychological terms has been a cancer on YouTube. Everybody yeah. using... On social media in general. Stop gaslighting me, Mahler. Uh... Those are the debate terms. The um, the dark triad. The dark triad. The dark triad. The, you're you're darvoing me. Uh, love bombing. Oh that's another God. one. Being nice love to someone bombing, at the start yeah. of a relationship yeah. is love bombing now. Fucking See, hell. the early days of the internet was people learning and not understanding um like terms like ad hominem or straw man. That was like oh, the man, earlier yeah. era. Of the Excuse internet. me, that's oh, an yeah. appeal to authority. Please, oh, please yeah, make like, another we're argument. Past, we're past yeah. that one now. <laughs> to that go back to those days. Just like terms. Yeah, I'd way prefer to people just misunderstood what an ad hominem was <laughs> compared to throwing around terms like gaslighting. <laughs> it's like a Gregorian cool. chant, isn't it? Yes. Play that's Thank never you. going to believe these horrible monstrous lies about me it um it saved my life well I we'll keep him coming he's Boogie. basically saying that them not believing what he calls lies about him is what saved him so if his fans leave him he might commit suicide but if his <laughs> fans stay that will save him are you and robin williams related no both of you shared the last name no that was i i have nothing in common with robin williams at all whatsoever he's hilarious i'm a piece of human garbage so pretty much hmm? pretty Come much on. pretty different i think the only thing we have in trouble the only thing we have in common is that eventually i'll probably kill myself and also mental illness many times when he says things like this it flies under the radar and Robin nobody Williams really talks about himself. it what hmm? well, that would be their Maybe first thing in was common that was that not before oh, baby always. I think he's saying, well, Robin Williams killed himself, so the only thing we'll have oh. in common is our oh, Yeah, he's, Boogie's saying he's oh, going to okay. kill himself, so oh, I don't have that in common. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah well, I mean, Robin Williams, he had dementia, and he didn't want to live with that. That's why he killed himself. Yeah, but Boogie has obesity. <laughs> Boogie? That's like the same <laughs> thing. But he loves <laughs> obesity, <laughs> apparently. Dementia, obesity. Jesus. Too much of However, me, or I can't these statements have caught the attention of his critics, who believe that Boogie is simply a manipulator who threatens suicide to get what he wants. More and more, people are starting to believe that Boogie only says these things to elicit pity, and emotionally manipulate his viewers into supporting him. I might kill myself in a month. Oh, I might kill up. myself when I take oh my care God. of my other shit. But I don't want to fucking kill myself tonight. I want to do it on my terms. I want to do it on <laughs> I got my terms. What a piece of shit. <laughs> 
the only thing that gives me happiness. Imagine saying this shit on your Twitch stream to all the fans that are like, you know, invested and engaged with your content, just being like, maybe a month. Yeah, maybe a month. I'll kill myself. It's like, thanks, bro. I think right, when the well, time comes, I'm gonna have no subscribing from that Patreon. Um, pull <laughs> the trigger or like what, what, once once I fully given up hope. <laughs> You know, this. once I fully given up hope, was I fully ready to go? I'll acknowledge it, yeah. You have to show the image. I don't know what it is. Every time I open up a fucking Discord thing, it takes like 10 minutes to load. Oh, and it's a secret bonus Among Us meme, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's been here Among Us all along. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm so ready. <laughs> yeah, we'll be there. Absolutely, we'll be there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is an unfortunate couple of pictures to put next to each other, really, wasn't it? It's perfect, really. <laughs> it's, it's, it is perfect. It is oh, absolutely oh. perfect. Once I'm, once the internet has forgotten about me, and you guys don't aren't you don't oh. need me anymore, and I'm not needed around anymore. I'm not, I don't I don't want to fucking right blow my brains out tonight. I just want to be left alone, man. <laughs> and so please just Dude, leave me. I don't alone. know if I brought please, this up I last time when I in the last fucking stream we all did about this, but he's like Randy Marsh in the episode where he's trying to get cured by the like the statue. He's like Stan, Stan, I'm an alcoholic, Stan. The only way you can get me out of this is if I get a like a blessing from God or something like that. So they had to like make him wait on the line while all the other people had like cancer and dementia <laughs> and shit. And he's like, sorry, I'm an alcoholic. Please let me cut you in line. <laughs> it's, it's, it's nuts how he's so mentally ill that he's on the verge of ending his own life, but he'll simultaneously argue to everyone he knows exactly what he's doing and stop fucking telling him things, what to do or how to do anything. It's like, oh, okie dokie. I tried to convince you, I tried to show you, please just leave me alone. And they were so- All I did was tell everyone I was gonna kill myself. Why are you not leaving me alone? Yeah. Uh, it was crazy, yeah, yeah I don't know. So worried that I was gonna hurt myself that they called, they called welfare, uh, did a welfare check. Wow, a man the... consistently crazy. threatening suicide. Somebody decided to get wealth, crazy. Yeah, that is bizarre. Who would yes, have done social such media? Stuff. I think if you have a certain amount of like, um, you know, those kind of checks, like five or something, they should force you to guzzle down a bunch of cyanide because you wasted their time so much. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, like, I like it. Little, I little like coupon it. card, little coupon and they just... card, and they stamp it every time they come over, and it's a false flag. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, yeah, I could, yeah, yeah. I could totally see them turning up, waiting. being like, "Did you do anything?" And Boogie's like, "No, but I might." <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, all right, buddy. He's like, "Look, he's like, Look dude, no, he wouldn't. Got, he like... wouldn't say it like that. He'd be like." Uh, did you do anything tonight? No, but I honestly, who knows what'll happen, you know? I, look, I, I'm not gonna do anything, but there's a he chance, always wants, like... He always wants to leave the door open to suicide. Yeah. Well, why would you want to close it? Why Listen, would you I'll keep that, that killing it's a, it's myself. A, it's a, diversify your revenue later. sources, right? You know, suicide. He, he would say something like, you know, men in my position, they would have been gone a long time ago. Okay, yeah. About no, they would have been locked in there and put their lives out. <laughs> Talked about it a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, I've been plagued with that the entire time we've known each other, right? Like, that's something I've struggled uh, with ever since I've known you, right? Yep. So I picked to write <laughs> Love on Her Arms as the, the right charity. You're familiar with that one, right? Yeah, I'm surprised because it's a lot cooler than you are. But when I give up, I want to make it very <laughs> fucking clear to you. My plan is to delete my Twitter, uh, to delete my Twitch, mm -hmm. to delete my YouTube. Uh huh. Then delete yourself. Post one video on all of them that oh. says goodbye. Uh -huh. Are you going to post a video on them all if you delete them all? Yeah. Wait, this video True. was recorded last it, week, You, you right? found the, the <laughs> fatal flaw in his suicide plan. <laughs> <laughs> There's a plot hole in your suicide. Now, now we can't commit suicide. Oh, well. He'll have to use that again sometime. Keep it simple, stupid. Says that I screwed up. Says that this is what happens when you serial harass somebody. Here's what happens when Welcome you attack the somebody club. daily and daily. <laughs> I will commit suicide if you serial harass me. Welcome to the sub club. <laughs> 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 one for me, one for my hooker. <laughs> oh, that's coming Barfy out. Man 365 donated 429 super bears. We haven't. <laughs> what's funny about this is we haven't even gone to all the viral like clips of it being awful. These are all the things you knew if you knew, right? If you were further in wow. the boogie lore. 
daily and day in and day out. And then when you guys no, no longer remember me, I can hand. If I haven't found a wife and I haven't had kids or something like that and I haven't had the life that I, uh, uh, you know, wanted for myself and I'm, I'm just miserable and alone, I don't think I don't think I'll have any problem pulling the trigger. But I want to oh, make is that the you're in? fucking hmm? is that the the I don't want to spoil it. Is that like the racists and is that that stream no, the that, same one? No, different stream but same game. Uh, obviously, like ah, this this stre it stretches across a decade. Craft you know, World War, yeah, killing me. When we take a look at personal videos uh, like this one here. For reference, he's talking about one that says I, why I almost took my own life. About last <laughs> summer, which I will talk about here a little bit more at the end of the video. I know what this you did last summer. Threatened suicide. I gotta get this clean, because uh, he basically says, like, this video did well, so I'll do more of these. Where he's talking <laughs> about where he, he's gonna kill himself. Like this one here about last summer, which I will talk about here a little bit more at the end of the video. Like this stuff obviously does very, very well. Oh. I just like, oh my oh. god. It does well. I should well. almost kill myself more often. Oh. It's, it's, he's such a piece of shit. And I have to admit, Why? I really like macing, making the personal video, so those- <laughs> I like, mm. oh my god. I really like baiting suicide. Yeah. I really like making going... videos about threatening suicide. They do really well in the algorithm. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. Away. I would take my own life before I would do to others what has been done to me. And it's a real shame that you think otherwise. Oh, I promise yeah. you, if I ever make the mistake of being abusive to someone like my parents were to me, I will myself. Frank thing or whatever, Frank guy, that scares me a little bit, but maybe he'll kill me, so there's hope. Starting from a tweet oh. saying that he would match donations dollar for dollar for a suicide prevention fund charity but then lowered it to $10,000, which fans complained that was only 2% of Boogie's overall <laughs> Based on this Arkansas tax return that Boogie's Amazon was made, made a little bit for it. So That's currently, wait, the, that was the way, 2% the, of his overall money, now he's, it's, he's what, said he would, no, I know, yeah, but he said he would match dollar for dollar when people started to donate a bunch. He was like, oh, well, cat, let's cap it, Jesus. <laughs> we not, let's not go crazy here. <laughs> Um, just to be clear, I guess, so I live in Arkansas, the same state as Boogie, um, and $400,000 in Arkansas, you live like royalty. Mm -hmm. Um, you could do anything you want as much as you want to do it. That's an insane amount of money. Well, because Arkansas Mostly. has one of the lowest, uh, like... Okay, yeah, so okay, it, it, okay, it, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, uh, well, it's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, Muller, well, do you have the clip in here that explains why he didn't pay off his house? <laughs> it's a no, nice place. No. But oh, I'm just saying, it just has like I think it's the, one of the lowest GDP per capita in the United States. Here so. in Arkansas, we have a little saying, and it goes, "Thank God for Alabama." Okay. <laughs> well, dude, but so. they, he did a thing like, "Why didn't you pay for your house? Why didn't you like you had all this money, like a ton of money living there, right? Why didn't you like pay off your mortgage?" He goes, "Dead people don't need houses." <laughs> no. Oh, my God, they... I bought more arcades in Mountain Dew instead. <laughs> Doesn't uh, Keemstar own his house now? Or, or... Bought... No, just the play button. I buy more of my last. Just the play button. You'll get the house soon enough. <laughs> when he asked, calls every when... Mountain Dew his last Mountain Dew because he thinks he might kill himself later that afternoon. <laughs> so he yeah, just kind of it was to make <laughs> sure that. <laughs> last Back on donating all of his money. He's got a gun he on the table. Save <laughs> oh, my last Mountain Dew. <laughs> It to live off of until he kills himself. And so if somebody says to me, well, Boogie, you're going to die in 10 years if you don't lose this last 50, 100 pounds. I'm like, hey, that sounds great because I'll have a great 10 years. I'll eat what I want and I'll die. And I'm looking forward to dying. He told everyone okay. over the summer, this last summer, 2019. Yeah, this is very cinematic. This, this yeah, like it's almost Quentin like quality. Tarantino film. Going holy, on here. holy shit. It's like I'm watching a film. There have been so many videos that you could just interchangeably link clips together and make like a really entertaining yeah. compilation. What do you mean specifically about Boogie? Or... <laughs> of... Yeah, it's like we're, yeah, this video like we're is doing like that right now. The multiverse. <laughs> it looks like this is how it's been like, like how it was actually made, but it's actually like 50 different videos. He was going to kill himself, so we decided that we would save him. Every single one of us took time out of our days, talked to him on the phone for hours. My time, the time, this, no, no, the time out of my day was don't listen to these retards in the group chat. Go see a Wait, therapist. Wait, do you have the IW thing? Prick. Regardless, we spent hours and hours talking to yeah. him. Yeah. And he would not take any of our advice. And it became very clear that this dude wanted attention. He liked people calling him and talking to him on the phone, trying to help him more than actually fixing the problem. Mm. 
And that's what he was seeking. He oh, yeah. He was seeking absolutely. someone to talk to. 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, oh, you don't have it. You don't have the, uh, the iDubs thing. What was the iDubs thing? Clown, do you know the iDubs story about the content cop? Uh, I've heard about it, yeah. Yeah, Keem, Keem swears by this. I think Kid Behind a Camera, too. So there was a, um, like, you guys know Storyfire, right? Like the oh, really yeah. shitty YouTube alternative. They were having a meeting where Jesse and Boogie were going to meet iDubs to try to convince him to come over and do Storyfire. And, like, Jesse's setting up the pitch. He's going to start explaining it. This could be huge for the platform because they're trying to bring on all these new creators. And Storyfire. Boogie just walks up to him, deadpan, and goes... Are you making a content cop on me? Because I'm planning on killing myself if you release a content cop on me. <laughs> wow. The way I heard it from Nerd City is he was sitting around a table at VidCon or wherever, one of these events, with Boogie, iDubs, and Boogie mentions to iDubs that he will kill himself if iDubs makes the video. Sat around this table with other YouTubers. And iDubs apparently just rolls his eyes. Oh, it's just another thing that Boogie is saying. But yeah, that was the event of the story. I mean, and cool, like iDubs it? was not making that video. I have no idea where that came from. And I think that at the time, um, Boogie was DMing like a fake iDubs account on Twitter, thinking it was real. And that guy dumped all the DMs because he's like, I'm not I making a content cop on you. What are you talking about? I remember having a conversation with iDubs and we're going back to like 2016, 2017, where we were kind of joking around about who we're going to make our videos on. He was going to make a content cop on. I was going to make a video on whoever. And I said, oh, I'm thinking about making one on Boogie, like half as a joke. I hadn't really looked into any of it, but I thought it would be quite funny to make it about Boogie. And I was going to do the whole video like deadpan serious, make no fat jokes at the time, because I, at the time I was known for like making fat jokes about everything and anything. And then I would end the video with just like, oh, yeah, and by the way, he's a fucking pig. And that would be the whole video. Not a single fat joke throughout the whole thing and then just end it on that. And Idubs was like, yeah, you should do that. You should make the whole video. So we definitely discussed it at one point or another. But as far as Idubs wanting to do that video, no, he never gave any inclination that he would do so. Do you remember what year this was? Because I'm, I'm just wondering how much clout the oh, fucking like claim. 2016, 2017. Ages yeah, ago. Him saying he's going to commit suicide content. still had like a sliver of weight back then. Oh, wait. Oh, I see you doing that. <laughs> Eventually, the girl that I met in Upward Bound joined me at college, and we dated, and we thought we'd end up getting married one day, but something went wrong, and we started fighting all the time. How was he drawing off on it? <laughs> something went wrong, I killed myself. <laughs> so, he's got, like, a series of women, and this is the one that I think a lot of people miss out on in terms of story lines. You have, you have to connect the pieces of different claims he's made over the years. Like, I assume some people here already know what he has said about this girl in particular, but uh, it's in this section. Clips of Boogie have been circulating for months on Reddit that seem to challenge his nice guy persona, such oh, as the time Boogie laughed about how his ex died of cancer. And uh, oh. yeah, so fuck her. And now she's dead. And Actually, both of them are The girl is dead, my mom is dead, everyone I know and love Wait, is dead. Wait, the girl died? Whoa. How yeah, she, died at, she died of 39 of like fucking lung cancer. She had breast cancer and they beat the breast cancer, but Jesus. then the treatment for the breast cancer gave her lung cancer. Oh, oh, God. That's, that's a funny story. Yeah. He's just such a cunt. Static he is saying this. It's yeah. fucking awful. Yeah. I feel I'm sorry you had to go through that, bro. That. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. All right. I mean, I didn't go through it. I'm still alive. She's bad. Danielle was my best friend for is 30 years. It's not a thing, though, that Boogie does, I think, where he tries to fit in with the group that yeah. he's with. Yeah. He will say things well, to try so to please that group. This is his well, explanation, yeah. right? That this was the kind of humor she would have liked. It's like, so you used humor with her in a room that doesn't have her and has a bunch of people who don't know you. That makes sense. Yeah. It just, it always comes across as just, you're just bullshitting again. Plus years, she was also my first girlfriend. Losing her broke me. I didn't properly convey that in this moment. She knew my sense mm. of humor though, and know. shared it with the me. Laughing, we the actually laughing kind of gave that away. You no, know, yeah, it came across more so that you played it off to try and impress everyone about, you know, like he's yeah. kind of edgy. I was like, look at me. And then it backfired completely because the, the whole room were like, ugh. Can we just mention the irony that he's making fun of this quote unquote double cancer, about her cancer that on this her... person died from? But there is like a doomsday possibility that Boogie has polythysemia vera and then either rectal, rectal or colon cancer. You might end up with you a double might cancer. Literally yeah. also, yeah. You know that Boogie sat at home absolutely egging on that he does have it. 
Yeah. He, he, he's absolutely he's he's rooting for cancer right now. Oh, do you see the memes? Yeah, of, I said um, he's probably sitting next to. Hmm? Do you see the memes of the Randy Marsh memes where his boogie putting his balls in a microwave, yeah. just hoping for cancer? I oh. said he's probably smoking cigarettes, sitting next to like fucking radioactive waste, putting all this panning <laughs> oil on himself, boiling in the sun, like anything you could possibly do to get cancer in a few days. And then he'll be like, "See, see, I wasn't lying. See, I all along I had it all, along, even though I didn't know." And I just, I just, I had it all along. It's about her cancer on her deathbed to cope. So fuck her. And now she's dead. <laughs> hmm. He would find something he loved even more than YouTube. Food. Boogie would find love. Oh. <laughs> in the form of a woman named Desiree Williams. Fan of Boogie turned to love interest, and after several back and forth messages online, visited Boogie for a week during June 2010. This oh my god, wait. Boogie into- Dude, I just looked away, and I fucking- okay, Don't do that. I heard Dez, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that's his current girlfriend. And I look, no, and I'm like, oh my no. god, his wife. They look Holy quite similar, shit. don't they? They have the same like, name. They he look similar. Yeah. Well, she, her name is he's dating Dez, his younger it? wife. The new one isn't even fetish. called Dez. He just calls it Dez, doesn't he? Oh, oh god, like it's like Viserys. Yeah, so it's it's oh, it's even weirder. It's even weirder. Creating videos at a higher rate. We've been together now for three years. We're in love. And I'm happier now than I've ever been. His wife ended the relationship. She did originally take some time away to consider what she wanted, but it didn't take her long to realize <laughs> oh, that we Boogie so close. We was were not so close. what she wanted. Now Boogie's wife felt that he was healthy enough post-surgery to live without her assistance. And after a few weeks of her taking a break from the relationship, they decided to get a divorce. We coerced his wife into signing a non-disclosure agreement, which he later denied. In my mediation, there's like a, you know, a non-disparage clause, which I asked for that she didn't ask. She's legal. Just to be clear, because that's the best clip I could find of that. He admits there that she had to sign a non-disparagement clause, which uh, is fascinating considering she has said a couple of things about his relationship with him that are pretty negative, but that she's not even allowed to. Legally entitled to 50% of everything we own. Like stocks and bonds and whatever. So she gave me a number. Yeah, I remember being and... in a group chat with him and a bunch of other creators, and this was around the same time as the divorce. And he said, Yeah, he had to give up 50%. And he was so thankful that he didn't have to give up any of his crypto because that oh. was the bulk of his well, hey, finance. At the time, right? At the time, that oh, might man. have been like a really. At the time, know... yes, it was the bulk yeah. of his finances. And then, of course, he lost all of that. Well. Yeah, that's another yet another chapter in the saga of Boogie. Actually, she didn't yes. take his money. She just made sure it wasn't spent on Mountain Dew. Okay, that was the fifty percent of Boogie's money that would not go to Mountain Dew. I bought stock in Mountain Dew Diet. I will see. <laughs> he's gonna single-handedly fund Mountain Dew success. I'm like, but that's not half. And she's like, what? What do you mean it's not she, half? It's more it less. wasn't half of what we were worth. It was less. It was less. Mm. And uh, so I talked to my lawyer. And I'm like, what do I do? Do I just give her that amount? He goes, you should round it up. You should make sure it's, <laughs> you make sure it's half, so she has no recourse moving forward. Mm. Oh. Make sure it's half, so she can't fuck you over in future. <laughs> it's like, oh jeez. I'm such a uh, good guy. I'm, yeah, I'm doing it specifically love. so she doesn't rape me in court, dude, in the future. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. So yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, this is just a compilation of, for some fucking reason, uh, when he's doing a charity stream for like suicide, he called his ex-wife. What proceeds oh, is one of the what? most awkward fucking conversations. <clears throat> what do you want? I mean, oh man, off to an amazing <laughs> start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? This is this in the business is what we call a gamble. Hmm. How about that. It's impressive. Yeah, I didn't think I would. Only another 40 to go. Another 40, Des? You hate me that much <laughs> that you want me to live to be 90 fucking 85? Oh, uh, uh, math was never your strong suit. Going to Disney without you? I've been like five <laughs> times now. It's just so weird. Just, it's, your ghost haunts me there. It's kind of, it's kind of nice though. How are you, how's your summer adventures been? What I would like to be at the point where I can say that my ghost successfully haunts someone else. I don't know who. <laughs> someone I don't like. But that would be really nice to know that like just the specter of the concept. Well, isn't it impressive? Uh, her is ghost is haunting him. She's not even dead. It's just the ghost there. Oh. Does also, she know he called her. Stream, so that's by the way, I think she, she knows. Yeah, she's on I think I think he told her. Yeah.
Okay. Okay. Do you think that like he calls his current girlfriend Des too off camera like a dog? Like he got a new one? <laughs> there have definitely been some Freudian slips. Do people do that with dogs? Happened. They rename new dogs the old dog's name. But Ed oh. too. Like Deji did that. Uh, Tank too. Was his, not even, his not first even dog up and down? Man, that could totally be something that comes out eventually. The uh, calls it Des too. It's like the uh, Des Slim model or something. Like the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like Des, but by Apple. Yeah. What have you done that was cool? Went to Door County, which is like Eureka Springs of the North. Oh, so. man. I haven't been to Eureka Springs in forever. Because people don't know this, that's where we... Man, uh, like, so, not to... When you ask someone what they're doing, and then they give you an answer, usually it's not great to just immediately bring it back to you. Of like, yeah, I haven't been there in ages. Why, why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, you'd think I he might be like, what have you done there? What did you, Film like, why about... did you, it was like, no, it's all him. Yeah, you have to, like, are you, it makes me I think you just, just ask that question a, is, a, as like an, ob, a, an, um, an obligatory thing. Like, oh, you don't actually care. You just know that's like a thing you're supposed to do. That you're Like, oh, my therapist says I have to ask this many things to the person I'm talking to. I don't know why that, I, I, I noticed that. Yeah. Like, that's so, it's just, you ask her a question, she answers, and then you immediately bring it back to yourself. It's just <laughs> favorite topic of conversation. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Oh. You've spoken more about me now. Okay. Yeah. So oh, I it's had... my turn to talk again. Thank God. Yeah, he's I'm like, come on. You, the conversation. you had a full six seconds there. Come on. Oh, so, no, this is what is like you're... giving all this to your audience when you're a locale is insane. Like, you're giving them more and more material to fuck with you with, right? Like, why have this conversation on stream? Well, so yeah, some people like, theorize he has a fetish for this humiliation, you know? Because, man, he's fucking bad. bricked up. Eureka Springs in forever. Because people don't know this, but that's where we got engaged. Yeah, it is. You know our wedding YouTube video is still up and everything. Because <laughs> I don't see a point in deleting it. People have asked me, like, why I don't delete it, but I'm like, that's the be what's the best day of my life. I love that day. Why would I delete that? You know what I'm saying? God. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, jeez, what a day. <laughs> yeah, she's getting yeah. old now. <laughs> yeah. if, so, if, you, if you tell someone that the happiest day of your life was when you were engaged to them, and their response is, yep. Yeah. <laughs> the the, the energy of mm. please leave me alone is like pretty <laughs> intense. Yes. Oh god, Boogie's talking to me again. Oh god, the nightmare continues. I thought I divorced oh, yeah. him. I should finish the engagement story about how you picked a fight with me about oh. how I never watch your videos anymore. <laughs> yeah, so I was working oh. like 60 hour weeks. So I you know. Like, you don't even, you don't even care about so... my videos. You don't even watch them. <laughs> Man, the fake the fake smile to mask that this is stuff that he does not want. It literally is a fake early. smile, Fringy. Just to be, yeah, it, it is, is a literally smile. a fake smile. Like to be absolutely clear, she said it was so fucked up that you said I didn't even watch your videos when I was working sixty hour weeks and creating the videos with you, and he's just laughing. I mean, he's just smiling like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we oh, have memories. a great yeah. Memories, yeah. We get along well. Oh. And, like, why are we arguing about this? I'm dying right every now. Once in a while, I hear a song in the radio and I have the thought, oh, Des would really like the song. And then I'm like, aw. Uh, this woman is uh, hilarious. <laughs> Music is more than. <laughs> The yeah, why do you think I married this woman? Of course, she's, she's hysterical. She's far funnier than I ever was. Why do you think the phrases videos haven't been good since we separated? They have uh, like this crazy. You made my crazy fat person videos you. better. <laughs> you and I, and like what happened? The, did you cuck me, Des? Wow. Oh, oh, wow. Yo, BBC <laughs> Yo, New law. Please yeah, say did yes. You, did you, oh, we're on did stream. You please say yes. Jay behind my back or whatever. <laughs> say we yes. Got divorced just because it was. Tell me his working. dick was big. Right. Is that pretty much it? We just weren't happy. Right. Uh, yeah. Get on. <laughs> right. 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 Just, right. just let it go. Right. Just let her leave. Yo, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what she's it. thinking. But I knew that we were going down a path where we just were not clicking and we were fighting and we were resenting each other for things. And I didn't want that to be the end of our story where we spent the next 20 years of our lives hating each other, you know? Yep, absolutely. But thanks for consenting to, to, to have this phone call. Thanks for talking to me. Hopefully, <laughs> thanks for consenting. <laughs> thanks for consenting. That's, that's, what, that's what picking up the, up the phone is, call. right? Yeah. I'm After consenting to this conversation. <laughs> oh, the wedding, man. Like, hate to bed.
Uh, I, I can see I can see the Reddit headline tomorrow. Boogie, the Reddit headline tomorrow. Boogie embarrasses his ex-wife by calling her unprompted on stream, pays her to lie. I can I can only see it now, but I thought right, you didn't sir. care Thank about Reddit. Thank you for I really appreciate you. Have a great yeah. day. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Bye. Yeah, he's like he's yeah, thinking he's about the on his he's birthday. Already. <laughs> <laughs> that was her attitude. I wonder if he ever spoke to her again because that that conversation feels very like. Don't do this again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The next call was, Boogie, you need to stop calling me. Yeah. Boogie, I'm with another man now. Please stop yeah. calling me. <laughs> Just to clarify, that call was made on his birthday. That's why she's wishing him happy birthday at the end. And she started oh, the man. phone conversation with, what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fuck. <laughs> so Does this video include she's... the BBC allegations? Are we? Is that in here? The BBC allegations... Yeah, basically, the allegation is that cut by a black guy. Um, I haven't well, we seen anything this, on that. We don't know how big his dick is, right? Well, he was black, so, I mean, you know, use your imagination. Well, don't actually, that's a bit weird. <laughs> I mean, look at what I did for my ex-wife. I was on fucking disability when I met my ex-wife. I got to work on YouTube and made her over a million fucking dollars, dude. I flew her I all across the country. I wonder if she's still got her money, because I know somebody who doesn't have theirs. Mm -hmm. I flew her all over the world, made her millions of dollars, and she left me. <laughs> he really makes you think. <laughs> From the East Coast oh, to the West Coast. She people. It's crazy. We went and visited her family for two weeks at a time. Twice a fucking year, she got to meet her favorite author, her favorite musician. She got to meet Brandy fucking Carlisle, John fucking Green. I introduced her to her face. She told me one day she liked John Green's books. Two years later, I let her shake John Green's hand. I let her. I shake let his her. Hand. I, I let, let her. her. I I know wow. what he means. I know what he means. Wow. But like, so Sig don't Sigmund say it like Freud. that. Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud is sitting wow. there and he's like, he's going. Oh mm, boy. Mm, it's interesting. Open his mustache. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. Let okay. her. Feel down here. Yeah. I allowed mm. her out of her cage. <laughs> she doesn't yeah. even appreciate. Fed her. I clothed her. I allowed her to leave. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That fucking hey, VidCon. I mean, I gave that girl the world. Wow. Now, admittedly, I was still a pretty shitty husband. I was. Mm. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Important yeah. part, I guess. Look yeah. at how good of a husband I was. Actually, I was a really shitty husband. Definitely pretty fucking fat and unable to do a lot of stuff. But the one thing I could do, I did. The one thing I could do, which was make money, and I did. Well, you could have lost weight. <laughs> the one thing I yeah. could do was make money. That's the one you thing. You could have. Do you got the maraschino weight? cherry story in here? No, Ooh, I don't think this? so. Oh, yeah. Can you do something? Well, I mean, cherry? isn't it really awkward as well that it's like the the one thing you did? It's like a one thing you could do is just be a really like nice, good person. Yeah, mm, that would probably that would probably person. be worth a lot. Mm, you could adjust um, your personality to you know if you really care about this woman and you love her and you want what's best for her. Maybe you could tweak yourself a little bit. Mm, you know, mm. maybe cut down on the weight for her. You know, um, was me and my wife's relationship perfect? No. But he's like, well, I made money and that makes me happy. Look at me, surrounded by all of my toys, my very expensive ones. This, These uh, very expensive. This things next, in the this next Google clip's Play button. Oh the, boy, we have to let it play okay. in full, right? You guys, you probably don't remember it. Do I did the one thing I could do, which was make money, and I did. Um, was me and my wife's relationship perfect? No. Did we argue from time to time? Yes. I think most couples do. Did I ever stand and scream in her face about fucking you know? Tell her she was. I wish she was fucking dead. Or you know, I don't know. Boogie. Jesus. <laughs> I uh, didn't even whoa. know that wasn't even uh, definitive. It's like what? <laughs> did, 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 did I ever, did. Did I ever <laughs> stand in the doorway <laughs> screaming I, that she should I be I dead? Yes, yes, I did, but uh, you know, it's all jokes, I guess. <laughs> Fucking hell! God, what the fuck? He went through a divorce about a year and a half ago, so he made a video as Francis destroying an effigy of his ex-wife. You are oh. an actual psychopath. You are the reason she left. Okay. And you know that. Yeah, Boogie. And why she left. Why well, oh. is this some like Dr. What? Jekyll, Mr. Hyde what? shit? What, what is going what is on? This? What is so happening? This, this was made like for Story Fire, right? So he has to make something entertaining that relates to it, this is the psychopath room. It's got to be like related to some kind of mental degradation. And his idea, as he states, is I can use like a real thing that I'm thinking about with the wife and I can 
I can explore that with myself and Francis. And just, just listen. <laughs> That's the only reason you found her to begin with, okay? I wish you would talk right now. I wish you would say something right now. Couldn't you talk? Can't you? Man, I'm just gonna say, as far as effigies go, this is really fucking <laughs> It's a tier. pretty shit one, yeah. You didn't even buy a fucking wig. Wig, yeah. yeah. <laughs> didn't even talk? buy a wig. Huh? I built you. I put you together. Stop, stop, you stop oh shaking my her. God. Stop <laughs> violently shaking your ex-wife, Boogie. He taped wooden arms to her. <laughs> <laughs> this is not helping how you would have a discussion with her. Mouth! So you're gonna talk? Are you gonna talk? Are you gonna talk? Talk! Talk! Oh my, talk. Oh my god. You see why I left. Shut the f up! Nobody asked you! Wow. Psychopath. The uh the the people in the, the corner feels particularly appropriate at this uh at this moment, doesn't it? I suppose yeah, he's always appropriate, yeah. but yeah, I get you. We call Particularly. <laughs> he's very no. concerned. Oh yeah, he's not enjoying this video. <laughs> Reddit. He's been waiting for him to f*** it up. Waiting for him to destroy it all. Waiting for him to gain the weight back. Waiting for him to lose his mind. I can't say I blame you for leaving. Kinda wish I'd get the f*** out of here too. I don't mean this room. I mean, I miss, I mean, away from David. Away from that house. Away from YouTube. Away from it all! <laughs> you drew little Mission tears up. coming out underneath her eye? Yeah. yeah. It's the Mr. little Rogers tough. is on a bender right now. Another Thanksgiving ruined by you! It's another Easter ruined by you! Wow. I know you fucking hated oh. me. You hated all of it, didn't you? You fucking hated YouTube. You fucking hated the fame. You fucking hated the fans. You hated the trip. This is this is uh, departed from introspection into just him insulting his ex-wife. Yes, he, she, he hates it because she uh, left him. It's as simple as that. This is a one one-sided argument. This is. Yeah. Well, uh, can you fucking it, imagine it's if she saw this? Particularly one-sided, even given the fact that it, it's one person, but it still feels more one-sided than an actual person locked in a room yeah. would. Be, you know, if she saw this, I could totally see her being like, "I'm gonna get a restraining order just to be safe." Yes, so it's just yeah, can't you know. yeah, can't hurt. It'd or maybe it will provoke him. There's that's the, true. There's He'd make a video. Terrible. That's the the terrible you know conundrum you're stuck in. Will getting a restraining order push him over the edge, or should I just take my chances and do nothing? <laughs> I th I think she could run away. That's true, right, actually. He, what if he no, has a, literally uh, physically from? What him, if he has I a golf cart? <laughs> what if he has a little like scooter? Then then you'll get it. Like the mobility <laughs> scooter he went around VidCon with. <laughs> it can't fit in the door, right? Yeah. You never know. Just go, just go to the bottom of some step, uh, top of some steps, and it'll be fine. Well, well, it's like when like you just have to wait until Boogie's coming at you with a scooter, and then when he's like like right in front of your face, you just go whoa, and then you just like juke side to the side, and then he'll just he'll follow. <laughs> well, yeah, and, and when because remember, I don't think it was ever implemented after the South Park episode of the uh, the thing that automatically writes the uh, mobility scooter. Mm -hmm. You just tip him because people kept talking. Oh, damn, I remember that clip. It was just <laughs> this fat guy in a shopping center, and then a bunch of kids shaking it so that he would topple over, and then when he topple, like, stop, wait. <laughs> it's South Park episode. You gotta. That's a good one. You hated the conferences. You hated the f other YouTubers bogarting my time. Huh. Does that make you feel good? Bogarting Does that make time. you feel superior? Does that make you feel loved? Because it made me f hate you. What? What? Oh my god! And after all that, you took it away. Oh jeez. It, it, I don't know about you guys, but Storyfire looks really awesome. Yeah, it's looking great. A brand ambassador for Storyfire. <laughs> this is the brand ambassador. <laughs> he locks himself in a closet <laughs> and scribbles runes all over it and talks to him. <laughs> this is not the kind of footage they find. They're not the belonging to someone that's a mass shooting or something. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. But like, yeah, this is stapled to the manifest. Well, to be fair, he is a mass shooter, <laughs> in, in, technically. Large mass. Is he? Oh, true. Hey, oh, he true. shot yeah, up into the sky. Yeah. Yeah. He's a shooter. When that bullet <laughs> came down, it, it hit Trump. Oh. I've held on long enough. I gotta say goodbye. 
Wait, has anyone made that where Boogie shoots into the air and then Trump grabs his ear? Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty hey, sure. I've seen people make the joke. <laughs> I've sure. already <laughs> seen it. <there> now. <laughs> <laughs> He's very convincing at crying, as you can tell. He smells ribs. <laughs> yeah. He smells Martin Dew. Wow. I mean, at Room least he's getting some exercise. <laughs> that yeah. is true. Yeah. Getting, he's the, getting up. the work done, man. He's getting a bit of a workout. Yeah. I want to know what part of his house is this? This is like, there's no real roof. Is this in the. I'm, I almost said attic, like he could get in the attic. <laughs> I don't even know but if this like, is, is his this house. The, it might be like um, a... McJogganuggets' house. I think it's McJogganuggets, yeah. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Interesting. <laughs> Hey, like, you, Boogie, sure. you want to do? Jeez. You want to do what with my my closet? With my spare closet? Again, again, you showing many, this to the ex-wife. How many marks? Just be like, okay, all right. That was that was okay. supposed to be me, right? Cool. Towards the Most end of twenty seven, done in a while. I was gonna say that nearly killed him. Teen, Boogie had separated from his wife and was in the midst of a divorce. Soon after, Boogie decided to go on a sugar daddy website wow, called Seeking.com. <laughs> he's, he's lost a lot of weight, he's sorted his hair out. <laughs> he's fucking good. Well done, Christ. man. Fucking well done, dude. Finally, Jeez, yeah. dude, dyed, dyed your hair blonde? Look yeah. at you. All right. Because he was looking Red for really some coochie. Color. He found a young uh, woman found named Lucy. a lovely guy, you know. <laughs> Lucy Fox. If you don't believe that, here's a comment he made on his own subreddit. I met Lucy Fox on Seeking. She's the only real- She's got two X's in Fox, so you know she means some business. Girl I've met from there. Real girl I've met from there. Don't mind admitting to it. Once I well, discovered the caliber guys. of girl you might well, meet there, that I was kind of the done with real girl. it. So, I dated a YouTuber. And oh my God. for his sake, I'm just gonna call him Asshole. Later on, he denied wow. this was the case. <laughs> well, maybe uh, it's like a term of endearment. Yeah. yeah. Case and tried to beat around the facts that he did this, claiming their relationship was organic and totally not a sugar baby situation. We know these mm. to be lies because there are images of his profile on Seeking.com, a website dedicated to sugar babies. This is his the website is he uses Bruce. to try and tempt people to accept him as a client. And oh, okay. can you see what he's doing? main he's profile a... picture is with Ethan Klein and Tila. Yeah, yes. okay. That's what he's totally he's... not using the YouTube fame to get no, it. Yeah. No, no. Oh God, at, do you think he's gonna pull a? You think he's gonna pull a Brad and he's gonna disavow <laughs> taking a picture <laughs> with Ethan? <laughs> Sorry, my dating profile is a picture with a Zionist and a former <laughs> member of the IDF. I'm gonna have to delete this immediately. However. <laughs> If that makes you interested in sleeping with me, I mean, like, <laughs> how, come I, how come I have 37 messages from this rags guy? What's what's going on here? This is weird. <laughs> and their sugar daddies, respectively. Eventually, he did come clean through an alt account of his on his own subreddit about half a year after the divorce had been filed. There are also these screenshots of his profile, in which he says he's a people pleaser who needs to be pleased. It's worth mentioning oh. that Lucy wasn't even old enough to drink <laughs> wow. at the time. Wow. 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 You know, there's nothing that just really fires me up about a guy than someone who is like, I need to be pleased. Like, okay, <laughs> well, uh, uh, hmm. I don't even know what All the right. pretense is fucking for. Everyone gets, they just pay for it on that website anyway. It's it, like as if it's I, like. I could tell you, but I don't know if you want to hear it. Oh. It's the Go story on. when Boogie dated a feeder. Oh, that, yeah, that's oh, not what? in here. <laughs> I mean, if you want to do it a bridge version, you know, it's, uh, you can I mean, enter We're that. here. We're talking about Boogie's uh, dating life. I take so it that's exactly about... what it sounds like, right? Yes. Someone who just enjoys feeding. Well, his, he went on an H3 podcast and he was explaining Thanksgiving when dating a feeder. And that, like, he came out and he's like, wow, you're going to let me eat the, the apple pie for dinner? He's like, oh, she's like, I have something special <laughs> for you for dessert. So he just sat there and ate, like, oh, the no. entire... Yeah, it's it's like the scene from Family Guy where uh, the, like the guy's family uh, is watching him eat the entire Thanksgiving dinner. That he, but instead of... Uh, the kid being like, oh, can I have some of this? And him stabbing her with the fork. Boogie was just eating all the food. So he was like full. He was done. There's nothing else that he could shove into his mouth after it. And she's like, okay, time for dessert. And he's telling um, Ethan, 
I didn't know what was coming. Like, is there another pie in the oven? Like, what's dessert going to be? And she goes, come on into the bedroom. So Boogie gets up and he's like, I don't know if I can eat just a, I don't know if I can eat another thing. And she coated her entire body in fucking whipped cream and shoved cherries in her, you know, her, her oh, thing. Oh, boy. <laughs> And he's like, I ate every single one of those cherries or whatever. Oh. <laughs> oh, <dude>. Yeah, <laughs> that didn't make it into ready. this, but uh, he's uh, he's familiar. <laughs> we knew this from the documentary. He's very well traveled in the world of escorts, <laughs> prostitutes. You know, he knows it all back to front. Something Boogie admitted to on the H3 podcast. How old is she? <laughs> How old is she? <laughs> <laughs> What's the age? <laughs> if you, if you <laughs> the, the age, there's something wrong there, mate. Mm. drink soon. Lucy never refers to Boogie by oh, name in the video, man. though people figured out who she was talking about pretty fast. The reason she doesn't name him is because of this. I was never told to sign an NDA. I was just told to keep his fucking name out of my mouth. So I am. Unlike his Just dick. talking about an asshole. It got to the oh. point that Boogie would verbally abuse her for not being there enough. She would go home in tears as he would scream at her. After Boogie's God constant damn. verbal abuse, she left him. Now keep in mind that these are only allegations, and I'm just summarizing what she said in the video. And Boogie claimed that he doesn't know why she would say any of this, and that he has nothing but love and respect for her. It's interesting that he said that, when you can see these <clears throat> screen caps which clearly show him liking tweets saying- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like fucking up for me. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? I have to reload Hello? it. Hello? Oh. Hello. Oh, we're good. Hopefully the stuff. stream is still okay. Is this thing on? Hey, Hello? yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hello. I guess there's a Please. little floomp on something. Yeah, hang on. Please, never Chud, your voice. voice has been breaking up. Has anyone else been hearing that? Yeah. Whose um, voice? Chud Logic. Uh, it's been a little crackly. Fine okay. for me. Let me fix it. I'll fix it. Oh, you're good now. I don't know. Yeah, it seems to be okay now. It was like 30 minutes ago I noticed it, but then like a second ago just now. I'm just trying to get the wash together to work. It's not uh, loading up the video properly for me. Um. Okay. You guys can hear me, I assume? Yes, I can yeah. hear you. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's good. That is very good. Yeah, I got like, a, not, let me do anything. There's a pivotal moment in Boogie's life. We I was going to say, the tension here. is insane. Well, yesterday was like Y2K, so I'm expecting a few things wrong with the uh, internet today. Oh, man, I remember Y2K. Yeah, but it really happened this time, dude. Planes were grounded. <laughs> Well, people people would say that planes would drop out of the sky, all sorts of stuff. It'd be the apocalypse. I don't know. I was three. I don't remember. Well, I think with Y two K, it was that there were. Oh, you would know, Sean. You're like sixty. Place. Bro, fuck off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thirty eight years young. Okay, I remember late. I remember thirties. I remember thirties. All right. Um, but yeah, there's loads of fixes that came out to actually, you know, fix the problems they were talking about. So people were like, oh, nothing happened. And it's like, yeah, because a bunch of fucking nerds, probably, you know, Indian or something, were working late at night fixing it. Well, that's good. There's another and thing. While we're getting the stream funny. back up, Boogie's like lied about the race of his doctor. He said that his doctor like couldn't speak English well and implied that he was like Indian. And then he said his doctor was white. No, he yeah, said he yeah. wasn't Indian because Muta said... Oh, he's Indian, and he did the impression, and then Boogie confirmed that he wasn't Indian. So he's like a different nationality. But he said he didn't understand. Poorly. Doctors yeah, just sound yeah, yeah. like that. That's yeah. just what doctors sound like. It's like the handwriting. They, the yeah, the handwriting. Yeah, part, yeah, they, yeah. they write in a different language. The part where he said, like, I fully understood polycythemia vera from my doctor, but he, I didn't think I understood cancer. <laughs> that, was a, that word didn't come <laughs> through, but the other one did. Also, I, it's working now, I think. <laughs> Okay. okay. What's the age? <laughs> she will be able to legally drink soon. Lucy never refers to Boogie by name in the video, though people figured out who she was talking about pretty fast. The reason she doesn't name him is because of this. I was never told to sign an NDA. I was just told to keep his fucking name out of my mouth. So, hey, Will Smith. I am. Just talking about an asshole. It got I was lured in by his Rick and Morty shirt, but it was all a facade. He didn't That's understand the humor at all. Rick and Morty merch. <laughs> to the point that Boogie
Got to the point that Boogie would verbally abuse her for not being there enough. She would go home in tears as he would scream at her. After Boogie's constant verbal abuse, she left him. Now keep in mind that these are only allegations, and I'm just summarizing what she said in the video. And Boogie claimed that he doesn't know why she would say any of this, and that he has nothing but love and respect for her. It's interesting that he said that, when you can see these screen caps which clearly show him liking tweets saying she's horrible and a sociopath. I mean, you made someone mad enough to make a freaking video somehow, but I don't understand. I told you, I just didn't give her money. Like, go watch the video and see what she complains about. She asked for money, I didn't give it to her, and that was it. She asked for money after we broke up, I didn't give it to her. Why not just give her the money? Because I don't deal with fucking terrorists, man. I don't deal with terrorists. Fuck that. <laughs> Women are terrorists? How incredib wow. incredibly based, Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> Women Shit. are financial terrorists. You and I aren't dating anymore. You Goodness. don't get any of my help or my money. I broke up with you for a reason. And it doesn't matter that you, you tell me, I'm gonna, I'll make a video about you and ruin your career. Then ruin my fucking career. Do it. I don't, I don't negotiate with terrorists, man. Fucking do it, pussy. You ain't getting shit from me. Do your shit. I am, I'm not here to pay nobody. I ain't here to pay nobody. I just want to say that money is makeup for men. Women who are not that attractive can put on makeup and look way more attractive. Well, men who are ugly like me, and I, you, I don't have to tell you that. You can see that I'm ugly. Men who are ugly like me, if you want to date attractive women out of your league, you need to start saving up. Although in the past, he you could have Ooh. a nice personality. No, that would yeah. probably that would probably help a lot, you know. But I guess you you just buy one. Just yeah, just buy a good personality. I suppose just. Put it in. He noted that exposing Boogie those. Sh that he is Boogie should uh, go on fresh and fit with those kind of takes, honestly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, he, the boogies, I, <laughs> Boogie would happily eat the red pill. He'd, eat, he'd happily eat anything, but... Yeah, <laughs> ...to his audience is an act of malice. He still posted, albeit a not easy to identify at first glance, image of the woman he was seeing. He was also telling That's people dog, through DMs dude. that he yeah. met this woman through a mutual friend. <laughs> right, but also he established things. that earlier this year that both his DMs will be leaked and fact-checked. Through his negligence and his troll's obsession, she was later identified through the tattoos on her fingers and traced back wow. to Seeking.com, the <laughs> sugar daddy website. I love the visuals. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, that's really good, I like it. Yeah. The website Boogie was infamously known for using. That's when they found her and contacted her the implication that the trolls have just given up that like in the past they were investigating girlfriends he had by the tattoos on their fingers but like they didn't realize he lied about cancer for two consecutive years <laughs> like he got so irrelevant they just stopped caring that is the end point surely that's the only place he has left to go No, it's, just, it's, um... <laughs> it's gonna be a fairly self-indulgent video because i want to talk a lot and what? i'm gonna complain a lot and hopefully you guys can bear with me because this is going to be kind of I'll like see, I'll I was see. tortured from a very early age, um, in pretty much every way imagined. My childhood sucked. We grew up very poor. My mom was crazy. My dad was an alcoholic. I've been different my whole life. Um, I grew up <clears> poor. <throat> I grew up overweight. I was sick all the time. And when I got to be a teenager, I liked things that other people in my town didn't like. I was physically unhealthy, mentally unhealthy. I'd just gotten out of a bad relationship. Not that my family didn't have money, just that I didn't ever see any of it. Instead, what I got was a family that left me with a lot of baggage, a lot of poisons. I've been big the entirety of my life. Um, I was in fourth grade, I weighed about 50 pounds more than the other side of my home. I was made fun of, I was mocked. The best of the kids in my high school just left me. Just a fucking constant slurry of... Constantly. Look how hard I've had me. it. Pity me. Alone. Uh, the worst yeah, pity party. The bras in my locker. They, they, I was heavier than the other kids by 25, 50 pounds. It's because I had parents that were neglectful and directly harmful to me, who uh, damaged me in every place. Uh, my mother and my father, or my mother and one of the kids, or my brother and my sister fighting, or even me fighting with my mother, or whatever. This is the kind of stuff that we were used to. This is why, by the way, he's told the stories so many times. They're all different, and they all have, like, different antagonists it's that did different levels of things. You gotta write this shit down. Yep. You know, if you're gonna start telling lies like this and playing the long game, you gotta start writing this shit down. Gotta write himself so. a law book. Yeah. Well, that's the beauty <laughs> of truth. That's the beauty of truth. A book for this, yeah, the lie he's going to tell. Because if, you, if you tell the truth, you never have to lie. A... It's faint. I get slapped in the face a little bit. But nothing I would really consider abuse. Just... And it's true that I was anxious and depressed because of my bad past. To meet you guys and have you tell me how I've, I've changed your life, how I've helped save you, how I've helped move you in the right direction, how I've helped at least help you pass the time and make your life a little easier. That's all I ever wanted when I started YouTube. Making these videos has never been about the money. It's never been about the views. I mean, for a mm -hmm. while there, I was very focused on that. 
and much to my own detriment. But once again, I'm no longer focused on that anymore. My goal is to entertain myself, to make things that I want to make, to talk about things that I want to talk about, and hopefully, just maybe, inspire somebody out there to either be more successful than me, to do better than me, to learn from my stupid mistakes, or in a few rare cases, learn from the handful of things I got right. I want to tell the whole story here, but I think that would take an hour or longer to tell. Um, so I'm just going to cut to some of the highlights i'll use a few examples of some of the worst of my abuse depressing past. that i ever dealt with <laughs> so that is the reason why I, I, I made sure this clip was in here he is describing a very personal story about how his mum abused him significantly and at the beginning he says i'm gonna cut to the highlights yeah like you you like... know that this is specifically being made for the views it's got nothing to do with him expressing himself like he's he's literally going to cut part, parts of the story out because he's like i don't want you to be bored <laughs> Let's cut to the good part. <laughs> God. With um, some of the worst things that were going on in my home. Um, but I want you to know that that just barely skims the surface of the stuff that me, my brother, and my sister went through. Yeah, and don't worry, guys, there's more. Even if you like this, I got more. I got so many stories of me being, being abused. Oh, this boy. is just. Oh, you're going to feel so bad for me. me. I can make a whole YouTube channel about my sequels. abuse as a child. <laughs> you guys are going to give me so much money small portion of it. I, I do think I'm no longer afraid to say the things I want to say or stand up for the things I want to stand up for, like access to healthcare and education, uh, equality amongst people here in the United States, uh, people doing the right He's thing. He's so brave. And being... He wants equality and the right thing. Look how he describes wow. holding the positions of, I want the right thing. Kind to each other. These are be things that I, I do want want right talk thing. about. Because Karen, I support good things. Yes. Do you, do you I about... also support good things. Oh, that's fantastic. Rah. We am friend. Kind to each other. These are things that I have been afraid to talk about because when you talk about. Oh, he's been afraid to talk about and... doing right thing. Being nice, kind, and oh. doing the right thing. It's just, it's a struggle to talk about those sorts of things. He's so brave. Love so and, brave. And, and treating each other nicely. The people who don't like that stuff attack you. And it was really. The people who oh, don't oh, like people being who, nice. oh, people who don't people like who know being agree nice. with nice make me hurt, feel bad. Yeah. Oh. Poopy pants people. That me really hard for a while. People. Really hard for a while to handle that. And it was bad for the career. But honestly, now attack me all you want. It really doesn't matter. Oh, you right. can't do much worse oh, than I show love, up. I love uh, when Boogie says, I will be your martyr. Oh, yeah. I will be oh, your martyr. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a specific clip for that. We got it in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the old oh, time. I, I, yeah, we all, yeah, we all know that clip. clip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I think I know which one you're talking Classic. about. Classic. Yes, Front you do. door. And that's already happened, so that's good. Glad that I was able to help draw attention to this, and so glad it actually happened. You guys know this story? Uh, it's fucking good. No. It's, it's a classic <laughs> boogie story, this one. Uh, th th by the way, oh, before we yeah. continue, 2018. So think how long ago he was doing this exact same shtick, because this is the same thing he'd do today. Way to go, Internet. We did something awesome. Boogie didn't actually do anything, aside from two retweets <laughs> about the cause. The man who was a victim of terminal cancer wow. died soon after, and Boogie Aww. had nothing to say about that. My late friend got to play oh. the new Smash shortly before he died as a result of a pretty... <laughs> you think Boogie would just be like, man, I wish that was me. Yeah, <laughs> wish I died of cancer. If I, could, take, so if so I could change places with her right now, I would, okay? <laughs> <laughs> really, Boogie? Like, uh, 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 I, no. Oh, fuck it. Because, like, so just th this awesome story of Nintendo giving access to a Smash game early because of, like, you know, cancer patient, they're going to die. And then Boogie being like, we did it. And then everyone looks we at him like, it. what do you mean, we did it? Who? What have you even done? He's like, I retweeted. We're, we're just <laughs> shocked that Nintendo would do that. <laughs> so. Well, and, and to have then the post of a, a friend of this person making clear to the world Boogie's involvement. Us. The man who was a victim of terminal cancer died soon after, and Boogie had nothing to say about that. My late friend Jeez. got to play the new Smash shortly before he died as a result of a pretty big media campaign which was promoted by professional Smash players. Boogie, of course, inserted himself into it, oh, and in a comment, oh, he clarified, man. I'd also like to reiterate that him not saying anything after my friend died is not my issue here. My it kind of is indicative, though. He didn't even... It is. Like, it yeah. Would, yeah. My issue is that he inserted himself into this as if he made any kind of impact on my friend getting to play Smash. He acted like he had a personal involvement by saying, look what I did. If Boogie was not known for saying things to get attention, this oh, would not man. bother me in the slightest. Crying my oh, eyes out. That's so, like, isn't oh, it just geez. like Boogie, though? That's like classic. Yeah. 
God damn, though. Like, but why boogie. would you do that? That's a classic boogism. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? My stream, getting angry and getting hurt. Like, because I feel compelled to respond. I was never somebody who left YouTube comments, who interacted with people on Twitter. And then eventually, once I started getting attacked, I started responding to people in comment sections on Twitter. And now I can't stop. And when I see somebody attack one of the ideas- Which uh, feels like an important thing to note. That, like, Boogie was never good at this uh, in no. terms of being manipulative. The difference was that it was really easy when all that he was getting was constant adoration. Um, but the second that it started to get a little bit tricky, that kicked off the yeah. the end. It would be like um, it's like a picky engine that you're always giving the very like, best fuel all the time, and you think it's a great engine, but the moment you're not giving it the perfect fuel, it starts to sputter and crash, and you realize, oh man, this has been a shitty engine the whole time. I just never knew it. You would have a hundred people say he's great. One person says he's not great, and then you would like fucking specifically go up to them and be like, "So, what's going on? I feel for you. I love you, and you don't love me. And I just wanted you to understand that you know that's important to me that your feelings are, that you're taking care of. But it'd be nice if you didn't say these horrible, horrible things to me, these cruel things that could lead me to take my own life. So maybe stop. And then, you know, the, the, someone would just like that was kind of weird that he said that, and then he does it again the and again. To that person. Yeah. Yeah ideas that I hold dear like I it's the it's the thing that I would uh protest if someone saying he changed it's like no he didn't no he he got he, he just did, like what happened was he started to reveal who he really was yeah that's it I don't think he changed because yeah, the fact that the pattern you can see it go back like right even to the very beginning it's just that it got way harder to maintain the facade yeah the environment shifted such that he couldn't keep it up anymore I go on the offensive. I just, I don't mean to do it. I don't want to do it. I just, I can't stop okay. doing I'm the most easily trolled person on the internet. I think we know that by now. I like voicing my opinions, oh, even late. when they're unpopular, even when they get me that's in trouble. Not, not <laughs> true. That's so funny that he says <laughs> that. It's, not even, <laughs> it's unpopular opinion and people should be nice to each other and people should be able to go to the hospital. <laughs> like, oh yeah, no, these profound, like earth shattering. <laughs> but how do you square it away with your fiscally conservative stance though, Boogie, huh? Your socially <laughs> liberal fiscally conservative. Oh, wow. That's daring today, aren't we? Like... <laughs> I Ugh. like talking about the things I want to talk about. I know it upsets a lot of people, sometimes very, very stupid people. And I also they're like just the part so unreasonable. The very, very <laughs> stupid people on Twitter. I, that's what Twitter is. It's now a toxic playground. And, and now, that's how people no. always was, bro. <laughs> yeah. I want to play fucking internet, on. dude. It was way worse before as well. Like in you know 20, 2010 and shit, right? Oh shit, before yeah. Then. Before they got it was just that everyone knew what they were getting into, and mm -hmm. everyone was thick skinned and ever it, it yeah. was yeah it was it was worse but everyone knew it everyone was prepared for the environment so it felt oh yeah it was based. way better it you was slurs on xbox live amazing you could you could send yeah. dude xbox Earth let you send voice messages to people yes you could just oh, send yeah, you could yeah. just like bing, you could just send voice messages to people it was great Man. Oh fuck me! Oh, some Wild of the messages I they were gifts, oh, Rex. When you killed they someone, they were gifts. I should have cherished them. When you like, if you if you I ever decided I'm gonna fucking aside. I'm gonna camp oh. and I kill uh, like a person, you note their name and you do it to them three times in a row, no matter what strategy they do, and then the message pops up, you're like, oh, oh, oh here we go, yeah, 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 yeah. here we go, <laughs> here we go, it was, it was you the old fucking way. piece oh, of fucking, what are you gonna love you fucking, <laughs> oh, feed me now baby, now we're in the era <laughs> of uh, Red Dead Redemption, the old west is gone, more and more uh, civilization, yeah. Yeah, did you well, miss gender? person in the video game <laughs> yeah all, all of these um games now i've got these like fair play like, well, i don't know a code of conduct you got to follow you yeah, can't yeah, be yeah. mean to someone you get banned for being mean now well, dude remember the, um, remember the emblem uh like customization in black ops oh yeah like battlefield 3 had and, uh, it black ops they're not bringing it. it back and people are like why are they bringing it back it's like you know why they're not bringing it back you know <laughs> because, <why>. because <laughs> some people made some sports, fucking like, uh... beautiful works of art and they just <laughs> Oh man, I'm so glad that I was box. around for games before they got totally cucked. Uh, oh yeah. Man, gaming used to be fun. I hate to admit, as nice as I've wanted to be my whole life, as nice as I've always wanted to be, <laughs> when it comes to just owning Look, I can't just be nice. It's not something, it's not an action I could just take. He right. just, like, cause it sounds like almost kind of dull as a criticism, but he he captures narcissism perfectly. He is such a fucking textbook example. I'm just so yep. good. I'm so good. 
Oh, and people hate that I'm so good. That's Isn't it. that bad? It's gotta be it. <laughs> Somebody who's so and then you tell him that. You tell him, you'll be like, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Awful. I'm a narcissist. I need to work on it. And I, I will. But I'm trying every day and I'm working on it. And I'm so sorry that you feel that way. All right. Yeah, this reminds me of when I tried to kill myself in 2019. <laughs> and boy, I'm just I'm just so glad that after the abuse I suffered as a child, I yeah. I, I, I finally found the stupid. Uh, He's doing damage to me maybe. or other people. I've kind of learned to enjoy it. Sad but true. He decided to post a donation he made to a mental health charity, even going as far as showing the exact amount, an action which also drew criticism. So I do- Yeah, he'll- if he ever does anything nice, he needs to make sure the whole world knows, even if there's no context. Like, look at what I did, everyone! I just do it, I just do it in I private, think that... I just do it in silence. Yeah, it's- it's the yeah. praying on street corners stuff. It's, uh... You know, there's, there's a lot of truth in that story. It's the same thing we were watching the other night with the cancer stuff. It's like, guys, I've donated $10,000 to charity, and that's a good thing. And what people who donate to charity do is they help kids who are dying with cancer. So that's what I did. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's a, it's a good thing you did. This that. what I mean. really and you'll not thing. even yeah, exaggerate the way he says it. He's so clumsy with fucking English. <laughs> I am good for having done this, really. It's I am true. the good person who does the good thing. And then in his brain, you'd be like, wait, Boogie, you better be smart about this, otherwise they'll notice you're priding yourself too hard. You've got you to gotta throw in some self-deprecation. He's like, but I am awful, and I'm coming, I'm coming through that. I really am. <laughs> Like, and uh -huh. in his head, he's like, yes, nailed it. it nailed, yeah, they'll never Problem. know. Yeah. Well, when he was panicking the other day, he was trying Pain. to, like, feign, like, humanity by being like, all right, well, I'm getting exposed right now. Let me tell them a story that maybe, like, I am the bad guy in that. So I can try to, like, get people thinking about something else. So his brain was like, okay, um, let's say that I'm abusive. Let me tell the audience that I'm abusive. Okay, that's what we're going to work with. And then he's like, so when I had a girlfriend, um... She was hitting me, and I needed to protect myself, so I pinned her to the bed. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I did that. And, and he can't even make himself her. out to be the villain. Yeah, yeah. He, has to, he has to write the story in his mind where he's sympathetic, even though he's a <laughs> quote-unquote abuser. She, she was trying to bid an orphanage, I swear. I had to stop it. <laughs> I had to kill her, but when she, when she was committing the Holocaust, it was the only way. <laughs> Listen, what's, e what's even worse than the Holocaust is when she took off my Mountain Dew and she started pouring it down the Whoa. sink. Uh, it reminded me of that time at the airport. What a bitch. Yeah. Leave her. We Boogie can comment. You should get I her into that... a small room and start smashing her against the wall. <laughs> Therapy. Yeah, maybe if, maybe if I write runes all over the interior of the closet, it'll make me seem reasonable. It'll protect you from reality. All the I think time. The, the, uh, the issue here is that Boogie is, I guess you'd call him a, what is that, a morality tactician? He practices tactical morality. He's just really bad at it. He's an optics guy. Sure. It's all about yeah, the optics. Someone, someone who is a really good moral tactician would seem like a really good person when they're actually a piece of shit, but he's just really bad at it. It's the we one just thing know he's a piece of shit. We've talked about it a couple times, but it's just, it's the one thing that bothers me about anyone's assessment of his whole thing, which was that he was a good manipulator. He was very good at it. It's something he honed over the years. Like, no, he was never, ever, ever good. He was never good at it. It's he just, just never the, needed to be good at it. Exactly. Yeah, the pressure was now, really low. All he had to do exactly. was be like, I'm nice. And yeah, be he, chill. he's the He's the kind of animal, like the survival of the the, 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 the the survival of the fittest, basically. Boogie is the creature that can only thrive in a very, very, very specific set, you know, of, of criteria for an environment. Well, and the like moment a, you know, it starts like to a, shift, he's like a frog. Easy, right? well, as was mentioned well, about like the, the, um, the, the rape, sexual abuse, or uh, suicide, and mental illness, all these things he's drained over the years for all they're worth, because... As I think as was mentioning, these are subjects that you get a lot of sort of benefit of the doubt from because humans don't mm. typically lie about them. It's, it's, it's not, it, you don't, if you're a normal person, you feel bad lying about it. So then you assume when someone else is talking about it, you're like, or, oh, you or must questioning be. questioning it yeah. or even questioning it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's people, well, it's, there is a, there's a character in Atlas Shrugged, Francisco de Anconia, who said his big thing was the most foul person that can exist, the most evil man is the person who will weaponize someone else's guilt and good nature. Yeah. Um, there's no worse human being than that kind of a person who takes advantage of someone else's goodness. 
I read what you guys have to say. I farm for compliments on Twitter and elsewhere. A lot of people are being very critical about the job that I'm doing here on YouTube, which is welcome, by the way. I read your comments. I read your tweets. In fact, I spent the last eight hours when I should have been sleeping, reading your comments and trying to determine what I was going to say in this video today. Uh, but that so that means this video is going to be really fucking good. Oh, yeah. All in right. Insight. How do we establish that? Pure insight. Yeah. Oh, man, if I spent eight hours just sitting thinking about what I was going to say in a video. Ooh, it was pretty geez. casual, right? I, be like, he, I spent uh, eight hours yeah, reading comments on my videos. Like, jeez. I wonder if he considers uh, that work. Well, I'm oh, reading yeah. comments yes. and I do YouTube, so that's work. Yeah, that's work. Good shit. That said, some of you seem to be overly critical to an extent, and I don't really understand what it is I'm supposed to do to please you on a daily oh. basis <laughs> on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook on web forums, no matter where my videos get posted and shared, must get itchy under there, there are people. Like under that, that big, you know what I mean? Must get itchy, like beneath the, the, the blob. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it probably does. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, yeah I know what like you mean. Maybe he's used to it. fat sitting on your neck the whole time, that's gotta be... Swaying gotta be back really and forth with the stubble. Well, it's yeah. gotta be like, it's gotta sweat under there, you know? I mean, yeah. God, yeah. Yes. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm I've never had saying, neck like, sweat before. I guess like when I go outside in the hmm. summer well, heat like, and I like run and exercise, I'll get but, but yeah. Like but not like when I'm just sitting. Cold, and then, the the natural like, state isn't that it just sweats. I'm, I'm just saying like it's got to be really uncomfortable. Which is he's he's really caught in a, a terrible conundrum here because Dude, you, you need oh, you the beard to hide it aesthetically, but mm. that that compounds the issue. That gives it more insulation, which will encourage it yeah. to sweat more. So you I really have to... How much is Boogie willing to suffer for aesthetics? I'm just thinking, like, surely it would be so uncomfortable that you would feel compelled to do something about it. Because, like, well, that's gotta be... We settled into it. It's like the thing uh, I said I before so, about humans yeah. being versatile and being able to accept, you know, things and to adapt. We're really good at acclimating to our present yeah, situation. He's, yeah, he's acclimated to that just mm. being, well, I guess my neck just sweats on itself, and that's life. <laughs> it so sweats he, on itself. <laughs> but luckily, if I drink this Mountain Dew, I won't have to think about it for a little bit. So yeah. there you go. Nice way to I put it. I would keep like like a folded up like a napkin in there. Like you'd fold up a napkin and you just kind of put it in there to kind of soak it up a yeah, bit. Yeah, switch it out every. That's probably what I do. So I'm just imagining. It yeah, like, like a, a tampon. You, you put know, some like tampons underneath system. the. Uh, <laughs> stick I'm just there. imagining an inventory system that's just lifting up folds to retrieve. Oh, it's my... like Alone in the Dark. But boogie version where he just like moves oh, the folds that, around, he looks down. Is that, is that how you switch between the items in your inventory? <laughs> well, I lift up the fold here and I got my healing items. I lift up the one over here like and Batman's I got my spare utility mountain dews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my, I got my utility <laughs> folds and I can keep all sorts of wonderful things here. I got a spare Hershey's bar and. <laughs> There are people who are constantly ripping into me. I, I basically I can't check Reddit on a single day or Twitter on a single day without seeing somebody say, then "Oh, don't. I used to watch then him, don't. but I don't watch him anymore." It, it, dude, it killed him to not have one hundred percent of people approving it of of his videos. Bro, it's the gene. I'm telling you, yes. it's the wall cow gene. Stop looking. Literally, you can just stop looking. No, he can't. Sure. He, he, he cannot stop looking. This was genuinely like a, a YouTuber university thing that would need to be taught to any up-and-comer that wasn't taught to the initial set. Uh, you cannot be a popular YouTube and not have people despising you. Like that—that that oh, is it's, just it's the reality. Part of the game. Um, you want maybe. you want fame. Well, this is you get. It's it's like the fuck Jafar when he gets turned into a genie. He's like, you want this? Well, you're gonna get everything that comes along with it. Yeah, but it's like just the you can you can turn off your computer, you can turn Things it off and go yes. watch TV, or you know you can put your phone down. You don't have to be on social media yeah, all day. You just don't have to check. You can just go. It like in this case, it literally would be better if you just like buried your head in the sand and carried on with life. Just 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 go. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't fucking matter what they say. Carry on. Who gives a shit? Go. Because he's manipulative and he's a whiner and he's he a baby. And it's because and they talk about the mental yeah, and physical issues that I'm facing every day. Yeah, see, that's that's what it is. He's talking about his issues and everyone hates him for it. That's so sad. I mean, to a certain extent, why do you need to make it everybody's business that you have problems? Everybody's got problems. I just see it as redundant fucking information. Everyone's like, got problems. Yeah. <laughs> you've talked about it like 10 million times. Some people exactly. just don't like that and other people consider it to be manipulative and shitty. I've received a lot of negative attention and I 
do not like negative attention. I like positive. I thought you don't put care. put on a fucking I thought, shirt. No, I thought he didn't care. What's going on? He said he didn't care. Remember? Hey, that was, that was a whole different boogie. That was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. That well, was yesterday like that. boogie. Today boogie it's, does. Well, it's like that Arthur C. Clarke short story yesterday's boogie. It's really, <laughs> it's really good. It's very introspective. There's so much to say. Attention. But, but what about the time that Total Biscuit died of cancer? And it here we fucking go. Fucking, yeah, everyone, fucking oh, Total was Biscuit. He, he was only 33. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We were robbed. We were oh, fucking Absolutely, we were robbed. fucking robbed. And then we were fucking I remember robbed. this happening. Everyone was like, what the fuck is wrong with you, Boogie? In Boogie's community post that was meant to remember him, he mentions how Total Biscuit threw him under the bus in the name of consumer rights. John once also threw me under the bus in the name of consumer rights. A PR company was promoting what almost came down to paid reviews, and John broke the story. I was working with that PR company at the time, and while my contract was different- It's very inconsistent. He doesn't even capitalize John's name. He does at the beginning, but that might be automatic, and then- I just can't like, fucking believe he included this. This is like, why it, would you it, include this when you're talking about a, a man who's just died? because he really he threw, didn't like him. He, he threw really threw didn't me like under him, the bus. He wanted the, he wanted the mean, cloud what? of, like, saying goodbye, but he- Paragraph also wanted four, to... tremendous mentor and friend, but <laughs> look at how he- Fuck. When are you don't, ever going to get to talk about Total Biscuit again so you can tell the internet how much he wronged you? Oh, you're never going to? I'll well, just put it there. The fact that this was, this was his telling of the events, and you're on John's side just from reading Boogie's context, which is, they basically had paid reviews, and John was like, don't do that, and then I did it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Whoa, that sounds familiar. Coffeezilla. If you talk about yourself in a eulogy or in remembrance of somebody, then generally the context is they made me a better person or I wouldn't be who I am today without them or I owe them so much. That is like the proper, typical, normal person way to do it. <laughs> but Boogie so was bad like, at just how was everything. Your... This is the guy who was like, yeah, uh, how was your summer? Oh, I haven't been to Disneyland in a while. I've been going to Disneyland for years. I love Disneyland. He just wants to talk about himself. He has no interest in actually doing the... Uh... You know, I do, I do remember when TB died, um, there, was, uh, there was some very vocal, hideous people in yes. the gaming industry yeah. that, that started posting uh, like celebratory tweets and stuff like that. Oh, I do. With his, with his uh, fence sitting, he wanted to say something positive, but he also wanted to, to appeal to that crew as well. There was, uh, there's several things across the internet's history that have made me lose complete faith in humanity, and I remember that one. I, the amount of posts I saw that were celebrating his death, I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. You still see some weird messages about him pop up every now and again. It's because of like, Gamergate and stuff. Yeah. It's yeah. like, these people are deranged. They're fucking deranged, and that's their world. His whole thing yeah, was, I, I, we I... should be honest and have integrity. <laughs> it's like, wow, what a fucking monster. And, uh, I remember yeah. doing, yeah, I did a video at the time uh, just saying how TB was one of my big influences in starting YouTube, which is true. And... Uh, I just, I just remember going through some of the comments and just people just like, yeah, what about Gamergate though? What about his stats of Gamergate? You're just like, what? No, yeah, it's insane. Like, what is the, wrong the, with the you? The people, the individuals, like in the lives they led, don't matter beyond this fucking cause that whatever the, like, it, 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 I still can't get over the fact that this is here when it didn't even need to be. Nobody cares about a game that you are paid to review positively now, Boogie. Like, why would you even bring this up? All you, all you had to say was something positive about Job. He couldn't fucking do it. Yeah, <laughs> like, you just know there. when he found out the total biscuit died, the first thing he thought about was like that fucking review. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but how can he had to come for me? me? Well, he's probably stupid enough to think that like this was the main reason for his downfall or something, or like he, a lot of blame gets put on. Like John, if you only hadn't done that, I'd be in a better standing with my fans. So thanks. Or just somehow to try and garner some sort of again sympathy. From, oh, he he did a poopy to you, Boogie. Are you okay? You know this sort of thing. He, like... just, he sucks up. He just he's like a he's like an, uh, a manipulative vacuum cleaner. He just sucks it up, sucks all the energy out of people. I talked to how John dare about Total it. Biscuit he's... die from cancer before me? I know. He's literally <laughs> jealous. <laughs> He's, he's stealing yeah, he's, the moves. He stole my game, idea. That was the only thing that gave me joy in life. Now that he's dead, he will never have the chance to correct the misinformation he spread about my video game reviews. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, the fact that <laughs> he's robbed all of us of that that robbed outcome. the fucking line yeah. there, dude. I talked to John about it, and he said I shouldn't be working with shady companies if I didn't want to be connected to shady things. Like, yeah, that was pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> contract was different than the other contracts, I got lumped in. I talked to John about it, and he said I shouldn't be working with shady companies if I didn't want to be connected to shady things. He was more than glad to sacrifice anything in the name of consumer advocacy, including me. Including the, me? The way it's fucking oh worded. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. He sacrificed Wait, it's me. That, it's it's in that here that's at the well. end. It's like, that there's a little to include oh. this. It's like he even he even held his friends accountable for things. That's the kind of stand up guy he was. It's like a way that he could have said that better. I guess. Oh yeah. No, yeah. That's the thing. You can't fucking resist. You can you can sense the tone of that post, which is, yeah. TB, you know, he took it too far a few times, and he and he and he hurt me. <laughs> like, wow. Fuck off. Just, Stuck in bed yeah, for as long as I can remember. I hate it. I just want to do more. I just want to do more. I want to be more. I want to go more. I want to. Be alive. The stuff you guys take for granted. Reddit and other negative feedback loops you, combined thing, with you my. You can. You can do all of these things. Yeah. If you yes, fucking, you fucking get can. Up your and, fat ass and do it. And him once again be like, "You all take it for granted." Like, yeah. uh, excuse you, mate. Like, <laughs> fucking speak for yourself. Way more applicable to him. Mental illness has made me suicidal as well. But oh. I have been bullied my whole life, and it has, in fact, made me strong enough to endure it. Not sure I could be in Etika's shoes and survive it, though. He oh has it rough. Oh, you guys remember this? Oh, He's injected yeah. himself into oh, Etika. He's like, what oh. the fuck? Many people were upset because they felt that Boogie took a tragic situation that devastated so many people and tried to make it about himself. And to add insult to injury, he felt the need to brag about how strong he was too, making things even worse. I used to love Boogie. I used to trust him. But now that I know that he's a liar and a manipulator, I no longer know who to turn to. In one video, he would tell his audience that he's never been happy once in his life. It's fine. I'm used to being miserable, right? I've been miserable for 45 years. I don't suspect it's going to change anytime soon. Then in Stand another, would tell fans face. how yep. he is yeah. now truly happy for the first time ever. Was he lying back then and telling the truth now? So he's never or happy was... when he was married to uh, to Desi. Yeah, you his know, engagement nah, was nah. the happiest he's ever been. No, he's right? happy happiest with Desi too. <laughs> Okay. That's what he's that's what he reached true joy. So you're telling the truth. Desi Boogaloo and lying now. <laughs> what I'm saying here is yes, of course I like getting lots of views on topics about trending topics, but I also really like sleeping at night. And the only way I can sleep at night Me is if too? I'm a good person and do the right wow. thing and you I just, it's, oh fucking hell. <laughs> You know, thinking about that only works for good people, Boogie. That's yeah. your fatal flaw. Yeah. The only way I can I sleep at people. night is if I lie about being diagnosed with cancer and trick my audience. Oh. <laughs> Use this Holy. channel responsibly. So that's how I'm going to do it moving forward. You may not always agree with it. You may not always think we're on the same page. And if we don't, that's okay. We can agree to disagree. I Boogie resets holding. his channel for the 2,954th yeah. time. Uh, my sense of humor, my goofiness, my weirdness, my offensive humor, because just some people were looking for that, looking to be offended by that, coming to that stream with the sole desire of finding something that they might be offended by, but also then sharing it with as many people as they could so that they would be offended by me as well. Storytime rambling videos, which were once uplifting, inspirational, and designed to help his viewers, began to feel like they were being made with the goal of receiving sympathy pity from the audience. Sharing who and what I am has been counterproductive. Mm -hmm. Are there other kinds of well, pity I, that I, 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 So the, the thing why. about it is though, because like, obviously all these videos have their own opinions about it, but. I would argue that it was never not that. He always did that from the get-go. It's yeah. just that I think when you have less history to draw on, it does come across as more genuine. It would. Quite a bit in the last year or so. Mostly when it comes to the mental uh, issues, the anxiety, the depression, stuff like that. dealing with arthritis, I'm dealing with my inability to walk, I'm dealing with being housebound almost, I'm dealing with having a lot of f***ing issues. I'm struggling with a lot of stuff, I've been dealing with a lot of stuff up in here. Oh, I have an anxiety disorder. And I also have chronic depression. Oh, so my legs, my oh, back are, are oh, just killing me, oh, and my head is killing oh, me. I mean, just oh, save us some time. Oh. Tell us which parts of your body or brain aren't fucked up. Yeah, which, which ones yeah. work? He's like, my nose. Yeah, his <laughs> mouth. On me, and I went home to help. Really take care muscular of arm. I was there about a week before she died, um, and I gave oh. her a good death. Listen, what? I gave her a good death. He's talking about his mom. Because she was dying, he went I... to see her. And uh, this set of clips, this one's. I, I mainly want to warn Fringy, he has trouble with cringe sometimes. Oh, Get ready. Yes, I do. 
Get ready. This this is I some of the cringiest shit. He's, suck it up, Buttercup. So th this is specifically designed to draw hyper sympathy out of people. He's gone to where his mother is laid to rest, and he's sitting on a fucking comfy chair that they brought there, I guess, and he's talking mm. directly to her. Now, could you believe literally any fucking person on planet Earth would think what he's doing here is genuine? Just, I really want you to appreciate well, how isn't... awful the acting is. I tried to go to the house, but you weren't there. And I don't know if you're here, but I want to tell you something. Do you remember that YouTube video That's I filmed of you? Oh, he's got a cameraman. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> There's another person in there. <laughs> yes. Yep. yep. He's playing up his accent. <laughs> oh, dude, the, the, the this just progressively gets worse. Dude. Get ready. Um. Also, this is apparently the mother that apparently either raped, molested him, or both yes. as well. So. Depending oh, yeah, on the day, right. yeah. the story yeah. changes. Yeah. Yeah. So he should be glad she's dead. Well, surely, yeah. He, he I said, mean, yeah, the know. wicked bitch is dead. Also, yeah. give me a sec, watch together. Up. Right at this point, I was uh, super excited for you to see how it pays off, but it's, um, hmm. I think it's Chrome. Fun. It's like uh, having the live stream I'm glad that they section open it, it like just i don't know i don't think it would be called a memory bleed but it just freezes the, the browser eventually until i essentially like close off the tab so, do you need uh, to uh are you gonna task manager chrome away and then just reopen it again well so just I, make just, sure all the background all i have is gone. the watch together tab and then the youtube video we're watching that's it so I it'll just, still no i don't say i like across them off and then redo it this is what i've been doing each time and it works maybe okay, just a uh, gotcha. different browser then uh um, yeah, Grab Firefox or something. I'll try that offline because, like, for now, this is yeah, working. Sure, sure. Okay. okay. Thousands of people seen it, tens of thousands. And I know you're embarrassed, but they love you because you gave birth to me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they love you. <laughs> you gave birth to me. Oh, oh Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, Fucking Napoleon over here. It's like the worst thing I think I've ever heard. <laughs> they love you, Mom, because you. I want to be like, clear. I cannot. People have been talking about Boogie because of his hyper horrible acts in the last few weeks. This is all stuff from ages ago. I guess uh, we haven't even caught up in any way. This is all just law, all right. You got to you got to see all this to understand the context. And yeah, he uh, he thinks somewhat highly of himself. You could say. Dang. I know this won't make too much sense to you, but 4.5 million people have watched my videos. Yeah, mom, people said. No, well, he got that wrong. <laughs> oh, no, 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 please, no. Strap in. People said I've saved their lives. I love you. I, don't I always you, have, mama. but I always know. I want you to know, I understand. It was hard. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He looks like a lady. He looks like the bearded lady at the the circus. It's so Dude, he's bad. He's about to bleed his lightsaber. Um, <laughs> one of the key shits from him is just the no tears ever. It's it's no. Every time he does his, he had them surgically thing. removed. <laughs> oh jeez, I... mama, mama, we did it, mama. <laughs> we did it, mama. This is uh. <laughs> Man, I can't Stick imagine up. doing this to a departed loved one. I know, this right? I know. Anything Selling her out. Views. Anything for views. Oh, and I know you've done your best. My house is not as clean as I want it to be. I just... Whew, that everything is kind of awful. Oh, it Nothing affects me emotionally very much at all. I'm kind of dead inside. But here's the truth, and I, I see no reason to say anything other than truth. Um, as you guys know, I went through a divorce, and I went through gastric bypass surgery, and my my depression and my anxiety has been worse. Hey, than don't worry, Boogie, you beat the gastric bypass surgery. Yeah, <laughs> it had no effect. <laughs> he got cal calora therapy, and he cured the gastric bypass. <laughs> Exhausted pretty easily because I'm really fat, but uh, mentally I am just drained. When do you think the last time my mind. dog went for a walk? Yeah. Uh, well, the we can just go. What was the last time he posted a video? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like I'm always a little dog. He's not like a Labrador or a Huskyus or like a farm, like a sheep dog. Oh, wait, remember, still... he's got a roommate. He probably takes the dogs for walks. Oh, okay. All right. That's okay. Anxiety and my nightmares wake me up, and then I'll transfer to my living room and sit in my recliner. His views, perhaps unsurprisingly, began to not be what they were. 
because people knew what a boogie video would be. It would be 10 minutes of complaining. People have busy lives, and Boogie didn't really care if it was hurting his channel or not. All that mattered to him was if it helped someone. So even if it's damaging to my YouTube channel, even if it's damaging to my brand, if it helps just one person, you gotta do it anymore. Nobody wants to hear about my problems. They don't want to hear about my mental health, my physical health, because you guys are dealing with your own issues. You're dealing with your own problems. So why do you want to hear about mine, right? All of this, all of this, question, all of the outwardly trouble. It all really comes down to childhood onset complex post-traumatic stress disorder. Something that came oh. up in therapy recently that I want to share with you is I don't allow myself to get help and I don't help myself because I don't feel I've earned or deserve that help. Yay! If you're someone oh, who geez. wants to support me, I want you to make a pledge today. Let me know in the comments section below if you pledge to do this. I want you to hit subscribe. I want you to hit notifications. And when you see one of my videos and you see the sound of those lovely arcans and cicadas in the back, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, um, it's summertime, baby. They're trying to protect oh, yeah. us. They're trying to overpower him. They are. <laughs> oh, it's Recommended? like, oh, I'm when home. you see them on your notifications, when you see them in your sub box, you will click on them. You will drop a like, you will leave a comment and you'll watch the video in its entirety. And if you really want to go above and beyond, share it with someone you think. Oh God, look at the, the fat, the, the sweat around where his, his neck has leaned over. <laughs> <laughs> where, it, where, it, where it goes over and it creates an area of high temperature well that's why he couldn't cry in the other video because there's just no moisture left <laughs> the moisture all gone is no moisture. <laughs> oh people say the f stream all right i'm, I'm um, refreshing to say let me see uh looks i think all you got to do is refresh it and then it should be good Okay. It was like five, ten seconds of buffering by the looks of it. But yeah, looks like it's back up. Good. I think I might like it. My mother never raped me. My mother did molest me. He claims his dad <laughs> did rape him. Here we In go. this tweet, he also claims to have My been raped bit. as a kid. Was I taped as a kid? I was taped. Was was I, I, was, I was taped as a kid. I was what? taped yeah. and it made me Michael, who I am. <laughs> oh, like Michael Jackson? Wait, he's is finally taking a position. Good? Is race no. good? No. <laughs> well, let's what a hardliner. Well Don't done, too dude. Harsh about rape That's now. Come on now. Fucking opinion. Ever. I'm not, I'm not. Okay, rape's not good, but I'm not saying that it's all bad. <laughs> Literally, yeah, that's what he oh, says wait. in this tweet. No, he does go back to being a. Wait, I'm just saying. He's a fucking. No, no, Brody, no, 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 no. Raped as a kid, and notwithstanding, claims that some good came of it. He had. <laughs> indeed been raped and that he'd forgiven his rapist that his sister was molested by their dad followed by the claim that his sister was gang raped in foster care however in a clip of his stream that's another question that i have if i ever get into a call with boogie what? are his brother and sister okay with him revealing the fact that they were raped if that's even true have they said what? okay boogie go to your live audience and tell everyone that we were abused along with you Especially, have they done that? Do they know the context they... as well, that all of what he says is scrutinized as lies? Yeah. Do they understand, like, in the stuff about the mom and the dad and whether or not it's true, have they commented at all on any of this? Or are they, have they been saying, stop slandering our parents? Or I know that his brother came on the Low Cow Live and kind of agreed with Boogie and, like, he admitted it, that he was molested as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the sister. But I wouldn't be surprised to learn that the sister does not want this information out there at all. No, Who would? Not. It's very personal, yeah. Says that his parents, plural, had raped him. In another of his Reddit essays, he follows the claims that he'd been raped with stories about how his mother stabbed him. His sister was almost beaten to death, his dad punching him. I was molested by an older sibling, female at a young age. I remember very little of it, but enough to know that this wasn't just further stuff related to my Munchausen syndrome that my mother was famous for. Certainly, inappropriate was contact was made between me and my older sister several times when I was three to four. Beyond that, my mother insisted something happened with another family member. I have no personal recollection of that, so I've always presumed that my mother was lying. But as I get older and more evidence rises to the top, the more I believe there is what truth evidence? in it. What's even more complicated is that my relationship with my mother was certainly inappropriate, and those details I will take to my grave. His sister, who is on Twitter... Well, I feel like when you talk about... You can't... Oh, you like, go. you can't halfway it. You can't say, oh, I was molested or raped or whatever as a kid, but all the details and the evidence and stuff, Rags, I'll take that to my grave. It's literally what he did with the cancer. It's what he's always done. It is. 
He, he doesn't I'll let you. I like, have he, the cancer, but if you ask me any questions, those I'm taking to the grave. He's leveraged so much benefit in his life from these topics, and so when people start to be like, okay, we need some proof, he's like, how fucking dare you? I will never, ever give you such personal details in my life. And it's like, it's, what? It's all you do. Or deny that this took yeah, place. Yeah, something earlier well, as well, if like, you know, it's like such a sensitive thing, people don't want to talk about it or speak on it, right? So he relies on that, especially with the rape and the molestation stuff. But you kind of like have to inquire a bit. Mm -hmm. you know? Boogie double down. So that's well, interesting, you... those two screenshots that just came up on screen there, that's the sister saying, fuck no, she denies it. And now Boogie is here saying in this screenshot that I have never seen before, that she's denying it because obviously she wouldn't deny, she wouldn't agree to it. She doesn't well, that's, want to doubt that. But you put say. that out there, Boogie. You put that information out there. Yeah, against you force her them into this situation. Yeah. Well, I, I which mean, is a really insanely two, shitty thing to do. The two primary people getting accused are dead, so Boogie can say whatever the fuck he wants, I guess. And then the the third yeah. one has said it didn't happen, and he's like, "Yeah, but that's what a rapist would say." <laughs> oh. On saying that she raped him. Every time he opened his mouth in defense of himself, he only made things worse. And that's how perception of him changed. Besides again failing his New Year's resolution, he imparts the information that he is, quote, a chronic peacekeeper. Confrontation. Chronic peacekeeper. And triggers chronic some of my issues, and I seek to avoid it at all costs. Three months after the mega thread was posted, Boogie would upload a new video titled Taking a Break, I Give Up, You Guys Win. In this which he stated the music. He did... <laughs> I know, right? Like he's gonna break, fucking gun was... people down at the airport right there. <laughs> so I've been anxious. No, he's, he's come to dump some mounted Jew in a bin. It is that video. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I used to watch And that's bad before. too. A shooting at the airport. Here, look, the Little Rock Airport has one terminal. It's a hallway, right? It's he, if he's coming to get people. People, you're it's bad luck. Four. For me, you were like the Mr. Rogers of YouTube. Soft, understanding, and compassionate. Lately, it had just been apologies and complaining. I missed the old content, not because of Francis or gaming or whatever, but because of that person. Obviously, I have no idea of knowing who swatted me and never said I did. Just said I got swatted twice last month. Once when I was a Wouldn't it be funny if Mountain Dew contacted him and said, you need to stop telling people that you represent our company? <laughs> <laughs> We don't want to be, we don't want our brands to be in association. We, we do not associate ourselves with Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight. We've consulted with our lawyers, and they have it. They have told us confidently that we cannot legally stop you from purchasing Mountain Dew. However, we want you to. We would like you to change. Your and they're Twitter like, and we want you to know we tried. <laughs> we we yes, were aggressive. Yes, we want to make a public statement that an attempt was made away at the game awards and another over christmas break this is true two times nick Cox was came it out you that told me he lied about being swatted yes he lied about and then swat. pulled it well, off as a troll at the end he, when he was found out. he was acting you like you some... guys don't need yeah. to worry this is all in this section because this got <laughs> this, this, this got this got mega coverage from uh, the videos because this this is a game this is what I'm saying, man. You can make the whole list. It's like swatting. Of course he would lie about that. He's lied about fucking everything. Partner and an ambulance. Mm. Everything's told on the somebody table. in the DMs because Boogie's always playing the victim. Oh, they're bullying me. I'm being harassed. Blah, blah, blah. Recently, he told somebody in the DMs that he got swatted twice in December. Oh, thank God, a good okay? camera. So the Reddit decided, you know what? Let's play a little detective here. This can be verified through blotters which are essentially police records because- I was so drunk that time, yeah, I don't it's... remember Keemstar saying that. <laughs> it's, you were in there it's... in person, right? I, I know, yeah. Because <laughs> all this stuff call. is public record. All the police- Yeah, he's a fucking is, moron, Rags. It. It, like, uh, he lies to lie about lies and lies. This is the story of that. This is one of the bigger ones. I'm pretty sure this did serious damage to his reputation, this one. Oh. Haberdasher decided to look into Boogie's local police station's publicly available logs to see if they'd ever been to his house. Fayetteville Police Department's public dispatch logs showed that no officers were sent to Boogie's place of residence in the entire month of December. They call the local- It's a cover-up! They don't want you to know the truth about Boogie. Yeah. <laughs> They're in it too. The feds are in on it. Nice. Police. All right. And they figure out if he got swatted or not. He was never swatted at all. So they call him out on Twitter and he's like, yeah, I, I was swatted, but I got an agreement with my local police and uh, th they're not going to... Uh, Put that in oh, the I in the notes. This. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Uh, yeah. I remember that's the point. Yeah, when he lied and he said that. Oh yeah, the the, the police mm -hmm. are breaking the law to keep his logs off the internet. And in order yep. to prove it to you, I'm gonna tell you that they are agreeing to not tell anyone, as I'm telling you that they. 
He's dude. He's he, pretending he like he's got the one... fucking police in his pocket. <laughs> he's yeah, like, no, they no, know stuff. Hey, the stories he's were like, uh, if you tell the police that you're a content creator, they're less likely to kick the door down when they swat you, and they're like, oh, okay, that's probably the same thing with like records. They they probably don't put public figure records online either, and he's just retarded. He was swatted in 2019, except not in December as he claims. So now we affirm Boogie is a liar with the pure intent to lie. More importantly, Boogie was swatted in July during his time at VidCon and not while he was at his home in Fayetteville. Yet exists this tweet where he says he took a picture of the officer and the officer- I, I, I guess it's proof the next time it happens, none in January so far, but expect that to change with the choice to discuss it here. I'll ask the officer if I can record it. You can always record the police also. Yeah, yeah that's a I constitutional a right. Yeah. Yep. yep. The public servants. I took a they, picture they, of the cop. Not allowed to refuse, yeah. uh, I took a picture of the cop in July, and he asked me not to do that. So it seems unlikely. I took a picture of the cop in July, and he asked me not to. It depends. It might be like the context, or if they were engaged in some. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't believe it. I, I'm, pre I'm pretty no, sure in America, it is 100 percent a constitutional right. You can film the police. Yes, absolutely, you can. Yes. There's well, the no, only time no qualification. Yeah, the only time you can't is like if you are currently being arrested by them for doing yeah. something. Like, let me take a picture. Like, no, no, you, we're arresting you right now. You can't film, but we have to do. Oh yeah, they got job. cuffs on you or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah basically. And yeah. plus, they've got we're body cams, as far as I know, here, and so it's all being recorded anyway. And that this was an impossibility. Now, fact checking that original tweet reveals two lies. It's already true they was swatted in July, just wasn't present. So why even lie about unnecessary details? Yeah, like he's saying, like, oh, I, I was going to take a picture. He wasn't there. So, seems unlikely. He claimed that he had made an arrangement with the Fayetteville Police Department to purge the dispatch records after a welfare check in July of 2019. The Fayetteville Police had dispatch logs of a welfare check in November 2019, nearly four months after Boogie had claimed that they stopped keeping records of welfare checks on him. They went back to the police and they're like, look, this is what Boogie's saying on Twitter publicly that you guys are not going to put it in the notes. And the police station said, no, that's false. Boogie's lying. Uh, every single call we put as public note. Why are you not using your little glass there? Is that you on the left? Why are you not using it? Why? How come you're not That was me glass? just drinking constantly on the street. <laughs> you're, 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 you're not even taking the time to put it in the glass. Why have a middle man? is sitting man. right next to me just droning the fuck on. <laughs> you know, oh I needed God, a drink. I needed to keep again. drinking at all points. <laughs> Dude, Keemstar loves talking about Boogie. The whole Don't inception of the podcast. Here, look at us. That's look true. We're two of us. <laughs> we're the us. same. We're two of spirit. <laughs> I don't oh, think so. five seconds go by where I do not take a drink of something when Keemstar is talking. <laughs> <laughs> At any point. <laughs> this is fucking nuts. But he can see yeah, yeah. every call. He is now saying that those public records are incorrect. He was questioning a mistake. <laughs> the, the police made a mistake. About this more and more and mm. couldn't help himself from pressing on with lies. That was line number four. Now here is line number five. In here, he was saying that now he supposedly cut a deal with the cops as they do not See, and they don't want the people doing the harassment to get their reward was my understanding from the cops I've spoken with. Part of discouraging it, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's not the a lie. worst lie, but it's still obviously a lie. <laughs> not put welfare that's checks in the blotters since July to avoid harassment. Well, now, how does one verify this? You reach out to the Fayetteville Police Department, which is how this image was produced, stating that, quote, No records are ever purged from our system, and there has never been, nor will be, an, quote unquote, understanding with police or dispatch to make calls from public record. When he was informed of this. Yeah, but they didn't have to log into Fallout to email them, so that's kind of weird. Mm. All right. He was informed of this, Boogie responded by saying that the police had made a mistake and that he didn't know why there would be a record. It should be noted that the state where Boogie lives, Arkansas, has state law that requires that records be kept of all dispatches, so even if he tried to get such an arrangement with the police, he wouldn't be able to. It's against the law. So Boogie is now exposed for lying about being swatted. Then he changed his story, and now he's trying to say that he was putting out that false information to mess with the trolls. He accepts he is a liar and is cringe. <laughs> As per the leaked screenshots, it is true he was feeding that person lies, but also claims that it was the Salmon Tolkien subreddit that swatted him. Yet he pre- You have to understand, once he got caught, he was just like, I did it on purpose, though. This was, it doesn't really count as a lie. 
It was to trickle those mean people who made the subreddit post about me. This is said he did not know who this did it. This will show him. This is line number seven. I have a friend in PR, and she recommended giving the misinformation, and I figure I have nothing to lose at this point, so why not have fun with it? But wow, did they take the bait. I'm sorry if this disappoints you, but after years of being harassed by these people, I just wanted to take some control back. I just can't believe how awful it made them look. Doxing me, then spending hours going through police records to discredit me. Horrible obsession gone awry. I feel really dirty and awful. I don't like lying, and I don't like manipulating, though. But ah. I figure if they're... Nah. <laughs> Ah. No, Boogie just wishes he was better at it. Well, yeah. just, as you can see, as the timeline goes on, he's just getting caught more and more and more and more. He's like, fuck. Should Are I change my behavior? No. Nah. Be that, I may as well take that and use it against them. Nothing in the world more dangerous than someone who has nothing left to lose, though. I recommend watching out. It's textbook misdirection. But now, and going forward, onlookers will take into consideration that Boogie is a liar and a manipulator, publicly accusing your LEO department of illegally falsifying records to get revenge on Reddit isn't the seventh dimension backgammon you think it is. I have a friend who works for the FBI, and I asked him how to deal with the online harassment that I get from a certain subreddit. I have subreddit. a friend that works for the FBI. I am already pressing X to down. Mm -hmm. He told already. me to kill myself. <laughs> from Kiwi he Farms, said from me places the only like... Joy, know. The yeah. FBI wanted and to know he if told I was me the only in way crack. to fight that stuff back is to expose those people for what they really are. This time they crossed the line though, that's just pure fact. Some were displeased that Boogie's still interacting with trolls, where Boogie said he was done feeding those idiots. Yet, in a response to a different commenter, he says he will lie and do it again if it will help monsters like this pay for their harassment. Boogie's Twitter profile name I will lie for the good of humanity. <laughs> yeah. He's so pure. He's so virtuous. Yeah, I just. I, know. Ugh, I wish I was a tenth of his size. A tenth of the man he is. <laughs> was changed to pure was changed to period. Meanwhile, his profile and banner pictures were removed. Boogie posted to his TikTok to say that his Twitter had been hacked by that hate subreddit. Why did they leave the channel? If I'm going to go through the trouble of hacking someone's account, I'm just going to put a blue banner and change their name to dot and change their description to a dot. That's what that that's that's, all. that's what I would do. Yep. That's mm. all I would do. I wouldn't actually like do anything funny. I wouldn't make fun memes out of it. Well, so cuz he lost <laughs> so much credibility at this point. That happened. He was like, "Oh my god, I was hacked by that those awful awful people." And then people immediately like, "You nah. did it. You, you just, yeah. just shut up." Channel link, stream promotion, and literally everything else. How isn't your Gmail compromised? Dude, just stop. If I was faking this, I would have absolutely deleted those things. If I was faking, I would have left a breadcrumb trail to Kiwi Farms or elsewhere. But they want to frame me as a liar, and you took the bait. Boogie claimed oh. that he got his account back and made a tweet oh. claiming that the hacker used the streaming app Mob Crush to hack into his Twitter account. He also posted the IP address of all the recent logins in order to prove that he had been hacked from the app. Mob Crush oh. then made an official statement on Twitter. <laughs> Mob Crush <was> like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I I will say he's just oh he's striking out constantly on these lies. It's like fuck. They keep getting the receipts. Twitter stating that it was impossible for a hacker to gain access to a user's Twitter account in the manner Boogie was describing, and that the IP Boogie had posted was from their own AWS servers, showing that Boogie had indeed lied about being hacked. Today it's Turkey Tom's time. He made a video that'll certainly get two or three million views over the uh, Memorial Day weekend. I remember when I got to be to have yeah, two or three literally views that, over yeah. Memorial Day <laughs> yeah. weekend. He, there's a, I don't have the clip because I didn't find it, but there is a clip of him saying, I used to get millions of views per video, but now everyone gets millions of views making videos about me. It's like, yeah, that's what happens hey, when man. you're a piece yeah, of shit. That is what happens. Well, he, he hates drama content because of the stuff that's happened to him. I mean, I literally, he, he spoke to me in like, Four years ago, he's like, Keemstar is partially responsible for my suicide note that I put out last year. It's like, uh huh. The, uh, the one that you went through with. Everyone <laughs> else is to blame, damn it. Yeah. But well, isn't it crazy that he works note, with him now? But... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, it, you remember, he does like, depending on the hour or the minute, I should say, he'll be like, I'm done with these people. They're not my friends. Could you imagine spending seconds more with these fuckers? Two, Keemstar's always been there for me, he's always had my back. And I will always be thankful for that. It, it, he just switches. Depends on what he's doing at the time. My favorite part of the recent stuff was the comparison of... I can't remember specifically what... It was like, um, who are you going to show the record to? And it, and he was like, uh, I'll give it to fucking Destiny before I give it to Mudaha. And then earlier, if you compare it with another oh, comment, no. they were asking for... Uh, 
uh, Mudaha's opinion. He's like, I would fucking ask for... He, like, reversed them. He's like, I would go for Mudaha's opinion well before Destiny. Like, just switch back and forth. It's me. It's me. He goes, uh, I, I would give it to Destiny because I respect Destiny, but not you. And then he's talking to Destiny. He's like, I respect Mudahar. I don't respect you, <laughs> <Yeah>. Destiny. <laughs> and if you look at any older content, it's him not respecting Mudahar. Yeah. And I figured I tweeted about it a little bit, but it's probably easier to just make a video response about it, right? Number one, this is like the fifth video Tom has made about me in his career. It's also like the third video that's come across my timeline from him in the last week. Because you keep about... being a shitty person. Oh, you're giving... that's right. Yeah. This is what I mean. Keeping track of all his crazy events. Like, I'm missing loads of shit in this video. And it's already huge. About me. I'm obsessed much. And then there's a lot of misinformation and, and rumors that are that's in this video that has been spread about me that he continues to spread here the most dangerous of which in my opinion is the implication though he said he would never say i lied about it but he heavily implies as people like him do that i lied about the abuse not only is it hurtful to me or i believe he victim, did i believe he did at this point so if you're gonna lie about we, cancer you're gonna lie about that yeah can we make an educated sort of statement that He's more than certainly embellished and lied at least partially with with uh, yes. his, his telling of the events. It's like that's got to be yeah. a guarantee yeah, I, at this yeah. point. I don't have to well, say that Boogie's lying, but I can say I do not believe him. <laughs> well, I think the thing is, and I think this is probably true of the cancer thing as well, is that it's not a complete and utter lie. Like nothing happened. Like he does have some condition. No, the right? best lies are based on some truth. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, like a kernel yes. of truth, and he just. I did go to the doctor's office, and yeah. that's where the truth <laughs> my ended. My mother did come into my bedroom at night one time. You know, something like that. Yeah, just draw from even even it doesn't even have to be verifiable, right? But this fucking pity party, though, of being like, how could you? How could you come? How could you discredit my abuse? Those who followed my story, watched my videos throughout the years. But it makes it more difficult for victims to come forward oh, when they are up, victims of abuse because if they didn't believe people like you make it more me. difficult because you yeah, lie exactly. about it and then it makes everyone you else should feel believe like, oh, me. Fuck. It's funny because he's basically oh. you should believe me because it actually happens to other people. Believe <laughs> <laughs> Boogie, and it was so readily apparent in my case, and I have my brother and my sister to back it up. If I'm not going to be believed, they might not be believed either, so they don't come forward. And I think that is... I mean, that's another lie right there, because his sister did not back it up. She yeah, I was about to it. say. Yeah. Extremely irresponsible. Also, people Tom just don't do. believe liars. Crazy, well, huh? He, I mean, his track record's insane. He's, he's almost like the most lies told on the internet at this point. But Tom does what Tom does. Yeah. You don't expect anything. I hate... That there's misinformation. I hate that they're being misrepresented in some places. What you'll notice but, is that Boogie doesn't bring up specifics. He'll talk wait, about wait, the. Hold on, hold on. Is, is Boogie a fucking hostage in Beirut <laughs> right now? It takes a lot of effort to put on a shirt. Yeah. yeah uh, chaps, I, I have to jump out now, I'm afraid. Ah, uh, I got gotcha. you. Uh, it's been a but pleasure. I will, uh, I will definitely be back for part two. Oh, and yeah, I mean... As a part like, two, I thought we were going to... Are we get, not getting into the cancer stuff today? Well, so I literally didn't have enough time to upload both halves, so... Oh, fair uh, enough. Yeah, I don't know, fair enough. But, uh, part two, hey, that, Boogie did, Lou. that means it's everyone gets a, some rest, you know? I wouldn't yeah. want everyone to <laughs> I, think we, I think we need to recover some brain cells as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so thank you, guys. Thank you, chat. And I will uh, I'll see you all soon. I'll see you around. You bet. We will see you later. Later. Bye -bye mentioning which videos he's talking about specifically and he'll say that he's being misrepresented without substantiating that claim in any other way than saying that he made jokes that were taken out of context it's cruel to hold somebody to task to like broadcast their mistakes and try to destroy their lives it's not it's cruel to broadcast their mistakes cruel love would be to leave me alone particular if you loved me you'd leave me alone you just this let argument. me lie Love is when you just stop harass stop criticizing me, stop harassing me, go away! You know what they say, love is the opposite of justice. Did not bode well, especially for someone like Boogie, who will be overly critical about others and ascribe them to spreading misinformation. Boogie has been a fraud for a very long time. I'm gonna start I remember when he came on baited. He was talking I, about I accused Hitler. him of certain things and like asked him certain questions. He was like, Yeah, yeah, man. 100%. You're right. It was like the most pandering bullshit. But you can't say anything after that. You, you because if you're admitting to everything I'm accusing you of, and you're like, yeah, man. Yeah, you're, you're right. Wasn't that exactly Clowns what we were like, watching the other night, Mauler? Hmm?
Well, in the beginning, wasn't that the one we were watching the other night, Mauler, where they're like saying, oh, you did this. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I did do that. Oh, you lied about that. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, did, um, I did lie about that. You know, the latest stream, the beginning, 20 minutes or whatever, the Modi is in there. You could probably get him to admit to literally anything because he's in like the ultimate wounded animal mode. Oh, I couldn't remember if that was two or three. No, yeah, when he comes in in three, for the first hour of it, it's just like you could just convince, yeah. He, but, he, um, he does have a limit. Any argument. And once you cross that limit, he turns and he like snaps into the deny everything mode. And actually, you're that, the one And when the Destiny's monster. there, because he has like an angle to take with him. He's mm -hmm. like, all right, well, this guy recently uh, pissed everybody off for his takes about Trump and the uh, and the firefighter, so I can then... Oh, yeah, dude, he, was, he was just trying to dig up anything to distract. And I thought it was funny that Keemstar knew that, and he just let him do it. He was like, yeah, go on, have some fun for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that yourself. was in stream two, because Tommy was keeping him in check. He's like, oh, mm. I, I would like to have a word in there for Destiny. Because oh, when Destiny gets on, he, I, there's a lot of people who are mad at him, and I'm going to hold them to account and tom's like yeah did he lie about cancer too yeah like, anything to distract from lying about cancer <laughs> do this yeah the disparity like of how he acted on baited as to lol cow live which was a few days ago is so disparate mm. on the first one he's like i oh, just admits to everything you call him out on something you accuse him of something he just admits it straight out but on the lol cow live he was denying everything up to a certain point just constantly the disparity was so massive, like two different people almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you, you know, know I, I do, do this. It, you were I'm talking to Francis. Person. He literally said that. He's like, I'm fake. If Boogie is a manipulator and he's just talking about this stuff because he wants to get shekels and cash money. And, you know, that's always going to be a challenge. And I hate it. But here's the good news. I know it's not true. And if you're watching this, you made it this far in the video. You know it's not true. They don't want the help I can provide. If they don't want the wisdom, if they don't want the wisdom. <laughs> the wisdom of Boogie, as is written in the Book of Solomon. Ugh. The knowledge of the mistakes I have made and learn how to not make those mistakes and do better than me, they don't have to have it. I'm starting the next chapter of my life, and in the next chapter of my life, I'm not going to be a YouTuber. And that's okay. It I, sucks. That will, that well, will never happen. He will never, yeah. ever, ever go get a regular This was, five, I ever. think... This is his only... Thing he made this clip at the peak of his wealth with the everything going really well with Bitcoin. He was, he Dude, was... It, 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 it's, so, it's so funny that you're like, Yeah, no, I, I figured out how to do investing. You know, I probably I would be surprised if he ever read any of the you know standard yeah. investing books. Like, I would be so surprised because oh, when he saw... lost all his money, he's like, It's it's Jesse's fault. McJuggernuggets told me to put in money and well, all yeah, that shit, and I lost it saying, all. He kept saying, like, oh well, I you know, I took bad advice and I took it, but I got bad advice. I got bad yeah. advice. Well, Keem like, used to give everyone crypto advice. Clown, did he ever try it with you? I I got Andy Milanakis's NFTs after talking to Keem Star one day. He may uh, have. He... I just not to my memory he did that, but he, he, uh, he, he would constantly post his XRP. He'd like, look at my XRP, dude. I, now it's worth this much. Now it's worth that oh, much. Stuff like that, sure, if it can be interpreted that way. But I wasn't invested in crypto at all, so no. I guarantee well, Boogie went keen. Tell me what to get. <laughs> I'm just reminded advice. of the. Uh... What's that, sir? I was going to say, taking advice from someone called Juggernuggets is like investing in Bingus token. <laughs> like you deserve to lose all of your fucking money, dude. Uh, it's just there's a line in Wall Street, quick buck artists come and go with every bull market, but the steady players make it through the bear markets. How much is it worth to talk about how amazing you are at investing when everybody is making money? It's worth yeah. a lot more if you've been doing it consistently for decades. You've managed to make money when the market was going down, but it's like, oh yeah, no, because didn't he, because it was that video, it was that tweet, right? It was one of the kind of big ones that was not very good for Boogie of the, uh, you know, video number one. How I got rich with crypto, and then the second one, I need your help. Him sitting out his backyard, <laughs> <laughs> begging for money. <laughs> oh, that story's in here. Um, also, Jay longo has got to jump out. Appreciate you for hanging yeah. out this long. Uh, yeah. You know, you, you haven't, you didn't have to watch the hyper cringe. You only got the the mostly cringe. So you should be able to make. Yeah, it. I wanted to stick around for the cancer. Thing. This is the <laughs> Diet Mountain Dew of cringe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> diet. Yeah. Diet the, Dew. Yeah, the the mom thing really broke me, honestly. <laughs> it's gross as it. hell, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you guys are great. Thanks for having me. Of course. Yeah, you Bye. bet. Thanks for being around. See you later. Later. Dropping like flies. Boogie's killing them all.
It hurts a little bit, but it's okay because that's life. On February 1st, he reveals to all of Twitter that he has a supernatural ability called empathy. He is. <laughs> Spice. <laughs> <laughs> the superpower of having uh, empathy. <laughs> just like the protagonist of Life is Strange 3. Oh my god. <gasps> Type or aware of others' feelings to the point that being in large groups of people is difficult for him because of his power. <laughs> his power. <laughs> it like makes Deanna him... Troy. <laughs> he, he said being around large groups of people makes it difficult as you zero in on hurt. It's like, shut up. First off, let me say, why did they make being a human being so fucking hard? Wow. And then if you're morbidly obese and you're doing that, I know how hard that is. I'm in the physical pain I'm in and just the misery that I'm in. I, it's so hard to get this shit done. And then if you're dealing with depression and you get this stuff done, you're fucking superhuman. He says that Ethan, like others, was only using Boogie for views in the past. I don't know if it's the depression, I don't know if it's the anxiety, but most of the time when Ethan's making jokes, he's making jokes at somebody else's expense, and he instigates more drama than he's involved in, which <laughs> is work saying for some... Star. Please, hmm. somebody enlighten me. He's saying all this about Ethan Klein. How does he work with Keemstar for a living? Well, money. it's because Keemstar's still willing to work with him. If, he, if Ethan were, <laughs> he'd be fucking paid all kinds of compliments. There was like a line in the sand, though, because like um, H3 and him were OK. And then he came out and he said all this stuff and that like well, torched the bridge. Yeah. Like, some lines you put in stone, some lines you put in sand. We'll just <laughs> leave that there. Something because the man is constantly getting sued and constantly in other types of drama, right? I admired Ethan, was a fan, looked up to him, told him that. What is friendship so badly that it went back to do his show fucking times to try to start that friendship? Then one day, he shit talks me on his show in front of the world. I am bitter as shit. Fuck <laughs> him. The worst thing I've ever done to Ethan is be fatter than him and still be more successful. He's just bitter and then doubles down on responding to negativity and Dude, get with saying he cares. I'm hearing him say this stuff right now. And then I'm comparing that in my head to like, he got exposed for faking cancer and then went back two more times to do another stream. Yep. Like his standard for just like associating with people has dropped dramatically. There's I mean, no standards. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't think so. It's about his attractors. It's so hard not to respond to this stuff. Because I'm worried about this person. I'm genuinely worried about this person. He's I'm so worried good. about He's their so virtuous. own mental health. This is what I mean. He, he's only responding because he cares. That's all it is. But also, are they the kind of person that would do some crazy shit? Probably. Do I have a humiliation fetish? And the answer is no. It is not a fetish. It it's is, a however, a way of life for me. Oh! <laughs> My God! Wow! Joking. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I don't give a shit anymore. I don't. I like no offense to Ethan, but who gives a shit if Ethan likes you anymore? Wait, do you, are you implying that I hit my ex-wife? Oh, uh, it's not an implication. That's great. Well, it's obviously <laughs> not something I ever did. But if you think I'm the kind of person that would never hit a woman, can I get a round of applause? To the show. If you think I'm the kind of person who would never hit a woman, clap. What? Man, <laughs> I'd hit the fuck out of a bitch. The Don't you ever clap for me if I ask that question to you. What are you... It's so weird and casual. It's just like, clap for me if you think I wouldn't abuse a woman. Can we get a one in the chat if you think that Mauler would never <laughs> domestically abuse someone? <laughs> can, we, can we get a BS in the chat for bitch slap? <laughs> Yes, I know this is an overshare. Yes, I know it's going to make people mad again. Yes, I know it's going to cause the news cycle to happen over again. But hey, I could use the rage clicks. I could use the views. If looking at his history of claims, Boogie is a morbidly obese, abuse creator that suffers from social anxiety, diabetes, bipolar disorder, childhood onset PTSD, autism, depression, disassociation, food addiction, Twitter addiction, and skin cancer on top of his blood-related cancer. Like, for all Jeez. we know, he, yeah, he really fucking renaissance is man. man. Ill These two things, right. mental health and the internet. Right, exactly. Like, and those two like, things oh. don't mix, dude. I can tell you firsthand. Right. If I was not a fucking titan of strength, I could not have mixed those two, right? right. <laughs> if I wasn't a titan of strength. Yeah, Boogie just described himself as a titan of strength. Oh, I would have said an intellectual titan, but I guess he went a different route. He's got it all. Anima sana and corpore sano, as they say. 
popular video was a fairly early one in his YouTube journey. It was him falling into a pool which has over 38 million views. Once Boogie's channel started to decline, Boogie tried to recreate that video and capture some of those old views, but it didn't work. <laughs> it kind of work. shows Shocker. how the internet has evolved and changed with people's expectations for content. Uh, it used to be that a fat guy falling in a pool was, that was really, really was funny. something else, yeah. And now we're at the stage where it's like, that's just, I don't, why did you even record this? I just think it's sad that he can't even copy himself. Like, he's yeah. fallen so far. Doesn't even know how to be like his old And then he's son. like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> <laughs> just don't get it. <laughs> oh, oh, the Tesla! God. That's right! This was a whole thing! Yes, it was. Yeah. That's right! <laughs> it all started oh when Boogie God. decided to get a Tesla. He said that he could easily afford it because of his sponsors. However, one day later, he claimed... What are his sponsors on his channel? Do you know? Well, I think I'm more fascinated because when he said I can easily afford it, what he, he doesn't mean, well, I could buy it outright. He means, well, no, I can, I can get a loan that, and I can afford the massive repayments. Is probably yeah, what I can meant, lock myself that. into this fucking horrific decision with the, the, the kind of money I make. I'm just, I'm just wealthy enough to make terrible financial decisions well, that a poor person could never grand, dream right? of. The, the car costs like $100,000 or something like that, didn't it? I forget. I guess it depends on which model you get, but I mean, look, what's the cheapest Tesla you could have got at the time? Like fifty. I don't think it was the cheapest. Or... I don't think it, it, it was probably because because I think it's oh, like Boogie's too good base, for that. He would never get the like, cheapest. Because obviously no. you got the base level price, but then when you add on more and more of the uh, the features, the bells and whistles, yeah, yeah, the to get up really. Yeah, such a packages, and such stuff. a boogie event too, because none of this needed to be public in any way, shape, or form. But man, did it cost him! This was like a actual significant. Thing that yes. happened, and when you have the basic facts, you're just like, "Why does this matter?" And then you look into it, and you find <laughs> and out. Then why. you're like, "Oh, that's why." That he could barely. Sorry, this, it. Is, this is a bit of a tangent, but I know Nicholas is dying to ask, but he won't. Are you guys considering doing this for Tipster? We don't. I, I'm not a Tipster historian. I don't. We're really not. Know a, we don't. Him. Yeah, we haven't done Tip Tent before, like you have. Okay, this no worries. Not, just checking. Is, Nicholas. Is I would. The only didn't know thing who I know was, but you knew enough to say Tip Tent, so I'm actually Here's, intrigued now. <laughs> Here's the thing. Every I I watch Chad Logic's stuff, and so I only know about Tipster pretty much through Chad Logic. Um, <laughs> the best. That's filter. all that I know about him. Uh, he's my Chad is my filter through of which I view reality. He's my window into <laughs> the lives of other people. <laughs> but but there's um, <laughs> but it's like I I don't know much, but I know a little bit. But we I don't think we've ever talked about him. I think, like most people, we've never talked or thought about him in any way. So, I mean, hey, if someone made a video like this for Tipster, I'd watch it. I'd be down that's for it. Opposite, I would love the opposite for Nicholas. Nicholas is obsessed with Tipster. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm a Tipstorian. If, yes. If you're a Tipstorian, and if if you have to share the Tipstery with us, then who knows? <laughs> who knows what will happen? I make no promises nor claims, but who who knows what will happen? I don't know. He seems like the type who's he's. He seems like a boogie adjacent character. He's been around you know? just as long, not nearly as successful, but like, yeah, he's been a. He had a not nearly blog. as successful as Boogie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the final damning Ow. indictment of his life. He's, he's like Boogie, but not as successful. <laughs> he's like Boogie without all of the the subs that he gained at the peak of his popularity. So where Boogie would be now. People noticed that. the huge contradiction and used it as evidence that Boogie was lying. It was not the purchase of the vehicle itself that perturbed fans, but Boogie's Twitter rant that accompanied thousand. it. Starting with his complaints about his drop in revenue to his fear of his large purchase that he initially claimed that he could barely <laughs> afford. YouTube ad pays very little. How did little. you realize I... that you could barely afford it after you paid for it? The, how how this does that one... work? This one, he puts out, like, four different contradictory perspectives all at once, it, and it's so fucking baffling to track what the hell Boogie is trying to say. Sponsors pay a lot. I can easily afford this vehicle thanks to my sponsors on the channel. However, literally one day later, he then said that he couldn't afford it. So, sitting here realizing I bought a car I can barely afford, you would think my anxiety would be going nuts. It isn't. I still haven't got it fully financed yet. I'm having to finance it, obviously. Did you ever oh see the God, meme I with that guy that was on the screen? The Internet of the, the... J guy? With the red hat? No. no. Yeah, he, he had the viral clip where it's like, this is truly more sus than a character from Among Us. He was sexually assaulting minors or something <laughs> like that. <laughs>
I haven't it's, seen that. It sounds wonderful. That's one, of, that's one of the best internetisms I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny is I believe it completely. That sounds like something someone would say, for sure. And he had like the Nintendo music on in the background that he just had. Yeah. <laughs> I love Nintendo Remember, music bros. for rape of allocation. <laughs> <laughs> Sexually assaulting minors is no victory royale. Mm. Dude, they start talking about it, and you hear like the, the fucking Pokemon battle music, like dun dun dun. <laughs> the penis Just was super myself. effective. Up a hundred thousand oh, dollars in bed. My car payment's seventeen hundred dollars a month or something. Like oh, that. oh, that's more money God, than I make. That's so much money. Seventeen. That's nearly five. Month. Dude, you'd be it's losing money if you didn't buy week. that. Let's nearly see. 500 bucks a week on a car? 1700 times 12. That is just for the car payments. That's $20,400 a year. Dude, hindsight what? hits like a truck here. Because he's like, well, I knew, I realized I couldn't well. afford it, so I, I got rid of it, right? It's like, like a cyber truck. Yeah, but we, find out, we find out in hindsight that when he gave this, like, he, got, he gave the truck back or whatever and, and got his money back, he fucking spent it all on hookers. <laughs> <laughs> So instead of a car, he got nothing, and he spent the same amount of money anyway. <laughs> Make on uh, Twitch. That's like half of my YouTube rev rad revenue this month. Well, he then made a tweet about how expensive the car was, giving him another opportunity to make himself look like an idiot. I tweeted out that I was not going to be able to afford this car. Well, I originally said I could easily afford the car. Then I got home and started crunching numbers and realized it's actually going to be more of a strain than I had originally. Just imagine making such massive financial decisions this casually. You just toss him out just random sitting there tweets? in the fucking place? He was in the dealership like, I could easily afford this car. Like, well, he's <laughs> yes, talking I will buy this car and then goes home. Like, I like, fucking oh, can't. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Jesus. And, and yeah, why do you need to share all of this on the internet? Why would you do this? Because they need to know it's content. He needed more of those one new viral tweets. If I spend myself into squalor, more people will pity me. Strain than I had originally thought, and express that. People are calling this manipulative and mean or something. I don't know, it's weird. However, he did of originally tell people he had You're bought himself people. a car. Then, he asked fans to donate money so he could afford it. I thought you had already bought- Yep, exactly, that's <laughs> like- of course I mean, it's, it's manipulative. It's like a micro saga within the saga, but it's a crazy one, the Tesla. And you're just like, why would yeah. buying a car be so controversial? And you're like, and he'll say that. You'll be like, yeah, why was it? He'll be like, why? Well, well, because of everything you said. <laughs> like, obviously. Yeah. You had already bought a Tesla. To which Boogie responded, nope. Hope that goes to show you how bad this game of telephone the internet plays really is. Except Boogie literally said the words, I legit just bought a yeah. Tesla. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He also said that he bought a car. That he <laughs> He's fucking so yeah, but, but to be oh, fair, but when no, he says, no, I no, bought no, a no, Tesla, no. what does that Look, mean? Yeah, he didn't say that. He bought a Tesla. He didn't say that. He said, I legit bought a Tesla. Yeah, but, but what does it mean? <laughs> it's, no, it's a colloquialism, all right? And yeah. if you haven't heard that term, you need to Google it. It's like, hi there, how you doing? Yeah, oh, just bought a Tesla. Man. How about you? Well, me too. I'm not used to this level of scrutiny. <laughs> <laughs> also, that I just realized... Because a lot of people are curious, why would you have done all this? Like, it just, just, you have to track the tweets. And you go, oh my god, I bought a car I could barely afford. You'd think I'd be going nuts. I'm not. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling inspired. Confidence feels good. And then you got, somehow, 2.6k likes on that. So, like, you know, again, farming, right? Like, yeah. Kind of. By the way, in terms of, like, dollar spent to likes gained, this is really shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Barely afford. People got it in their heads that I was somehow wanting my fans to pay for it, and that just gave me like a negative connotation. So I said, "I'll go hop." But that, but that, the fans buy everything for you. That's your job. That you, your fans pay you. Well, I mean, and and as time went on, that became such a reality that he, he really did have to. Uh, I mean, well, the clip's coming up actually. In my car, actually, this is my roommate's car. So I'm like, "I'll hop it." Uh, I don't even own a car right now. I forgot. He may not have bought the car in the end, but the whole- Oh, fuck me, white seats. Can you imagine having a car where it's well, it got white seats? God, enjoy that for a week. Yeah, I would oh. not want to have white seats. No, no way. No way. It's going to be green no for way. Mountain Dew. <laughs> Sorry, oh, diet Dew. No. Oh, no. I thought you were going to say his Mountain Dew infused farts are going to turn. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Why? There's no way. White, fuck off with white seats. If someone tries to sell you white seats, shoot them.
whole with situation love. was pretty confusing. With love. And it only helped add more fuel Just to the notion that shot. Boogie wasn't always 100% genuine with his audience. Instead of saying, I bought a Tesla, I should have said, Tess drove a Tesla today and put- And he never learned from this lesson. Nope. <laughs> well, this is the thing. It was never anything to learn. He loves fucking lying. Dude, take, take wait, the chunk. this is literally the same shit, yes, dude. Yes, yes, it's instead just of saying the same. I got cancer. Instead of saying I've been diagnosed with cancer, I should have said my doctor says I might have cancer, and then gave me medication to treat something yep. they think might potentially be cancer. That it's the same fucking thing, dude. He did the same with the, the doctor, and I bought a Tesla. I'm did the same with the abuse. You need to look up the term colloquialism, and then you will understand how one sentence actually equals a totally different sentence. <laughs> it's a tiny phrase. Yeah, wait, and then he's like, people are coming around saying lies about me. Like I said, I bought a Tesla when I only ever test drove it. I never <laughs> said that. Yeah. People are saying it's I like... faked my cancer right now when I never. Oh my god, dude, my brain is breaking. Yeah, when you could see all of the uh, the patterns of well ahead, and I don't know, man. It just at this point, it just feels like it's right that he lied about the cancer. Because what else would he do? Day and put twenty five hundred dollars down so they can build one to my specs, and I plan to finance it after the. Yes, custom boogie deserves nothing less than a custom Tesla. Yes. Well, so oh, to be clear, by right, I just mean in character, not. But he's only like right. one year away from being able to afford to just buy this car outright and not really dent his finances. Now he's two years from never being able to afford it again, but he was one year away from just being able to buy this car with the crypto. I never did. And period if i plan to continue the purchase but had no clue the internet would shit itself boogie 2988 begs and manipulates his viewers for uh, money to buy a one hundred thousand dollar tesla oh are you trying to manipulate people into giving you money the answer is yes give me some money if you guys want to help me pay for my tesla please go ahead and dig deep i sure would like a free fucking tesla reach down in your pockets and give me a hundred thousand dollars tonight curfew i'm looking at you motherfucker <laughs> just kidding curfew. as a result he then asked viewers for donations so he could pay off the car why wouldn't i want yeah you to pay there's for this little tesla? technique that people like this do they hide behind that bravado i call it like the age of the giga chad right where you act like you're fucking giga chatting it but you're yeah. such a pathetic wretch underneath it you know certainly in this case <laughs> Pay for my Tesla, reach deep and give me the money. It's incredible how openly money oriented this guy is. This guy talks like a minister from some cheesy, scammy late night ministry where you're supposed to send a $50 check for good luck. Imagine this guy would win the lottery, he'd be broke within 12 months, which would eventually turn out to be somewhat accurate. Oh no, yes. well, well, well. <laughs> the <We're> shooting, not... <laughs> dude. I, what this fucking... time it was a the writing, bro. We had, <laughs> we had suicide before the shooting. Just to be clear, in terms of... <laughs> Dude, the, the script Tesla writer YouTube the YouTube drama, bro. Tesla Holy shit. Postcard that was sent to him that supported Frank Hassel and hopes Boogie dies. We know this because Boogie thought it was a good idea to post it on Twitter. But in the end, this person's tactic worked. So in response, I said, And it worked. Dude, why are you giving them so much attention? Boogie responded back with, well, somebody went through all the trouble to mail a postcard, right? So why not give them the, the attention they're so desperately needing in their lives, the t attention their parents or women don't give them? Yes. What? Wow, Boogie, that sounds like a terrible idea. What? <laughs> they went through the trouble to make it credible, so I should play into it. 14 years ago, I had one viral video, and I took the momentum from that viral video, and I turned it into millions of subscribers on YouTube and hundreds of millions of views and all of the ad revenue and perks that came with it. I went from being on disability and living in poverty to having this nice house with arcade machines and other great stuff. And you, you know, you're right. Not as many people watch my videos as used to, but enough people still watch it to where I'm able to pay my bills and save some money every month. And I'm doing pretty well. You walked well, all yeah, the way from that door. Talking. <laughs> yeah, he's talking, man. Are that's you guys like, starting to subscribe cardio. to my uh, theory of critical drama theory that this is a gene? I, I think that that's totally fair that that would be a unifying gene. Because if you think about any... What, what's a lol cow that doesn't like obsessively respond to the situation? It's, it's that's the only way to become a lol cow. That's, yeah, that's, that's in kinda, the name. Yeah. And God, he's like one of the worst for it. I definitely fell off. But forget about me for a minute. How's your internet presence going? Oh, God. Hmm? Pretty good. Did you get your viral video yet? So Did a you... big problem that Boogie has is that some people don't really care that much for, like, being famous. A lot of people, yeah. It's don't. like, 
the, the the insult only works if they have the same standard that you have, which is that you really, really, really want attention. Like, you can't insult somebody for something that is, like, a value that is not that important to them. Like, the idea of, oh, well, look, I, like, I'm famous. How about you? It's like, that's not gonna, a lot of people would be like, well, I don't want that, so yeah, who cares? Yeah, literally, that sounds awful to me. I would never, I, if I could snap my, if I, I, if I had a genie and wishes, I wouldn't wish for that. Well, how's your two YouTube career? Hmm? That probably happens with a lot of, like, actors How are you and... doing? Things of that nature. They do a movie or two, and they're like, you know what? That's not my, my, not my thing. And they just and leave, and they go do something else. Now all of his income was being chained to Keemstar's podcast, where he yep. makes $2,000 a month. Well, let's be Holy honest. Like, whatever remained of him as a draw has been absolutely, like, fucking plowed into the podcast. To the point where he's you like... You say uh, that, but again, it's the best the podcast has ever done. That's what now, I'm maybe saying, in a though. Month, that, won't be the case. It, that, that all that work is into the podcast, and he's now been fired from but we don't know how fucking permanent that is um probably not probably not because he's gonna let, let's be honest people are more interested in the destruction of boogie than they are in the casual discussions of tommy c and wings it's uh yeah, yeah he has my own podcast was like that the first 10 episodes are like the best shit i've ever seen because it was keemstar's redemption story basically he's after he got exposed uh, by leafy and gray baited the baited yeah, podcast. yeah yeah the backstabbing recovery <laughs> yeah like... as soon as that big culmination of the story with leafy happens the podcast dropped off immediately and i think they broke up within three episodes they need something to unify him all right i feel like uh wings gets away with murder though because when he bit. gets a bit of pressure on him, he crumbles. But obviously, Boogie is more pathetic and wretched, so he gets a lot of the Yeah, shit. no, I think Wings has just been smarter about it. And it's not like Definitely. he's some kind of genius. It's just that Boogie is absolutely retarded and always ends up taking the uh, the worst route. You ride that wave of virality for 14 years and earn enough money to save your life and make your life better? If not, man, don't worry about me. Get to work. I believe you can do it. It's, it is funny can... that he says this. <laughs> It's definitely the case he hasn't paid off his house when he should have been able to with the amount of money that he made. Oh, for sure, yeah. And I love like, this. It's, um... it's funny for him to talk about like how wealth he is when it's like, well, you didn't build, you spent your money. Like building wealth means like building equity, not That's spending money on things. Like one of the first things people do when they say that they win the lottery, right? It's one of the famous things people do. Is like, yeah, we paid off the house. My parents paid off their house. Like you, you paid off. Now it's yours. It's done. Well, the you, thing is, you say it. that, Rags, but the more famous thing is that a lot of people who get, who win the lottery, actually do end up going bankrupt. Uh, yeah. Well, they go a just lot right of them, back to where they were. they'll buy a mansion. I don't know how to handle the money. It. Yes. Yeah. Well, that British chap guy, yeah. Michael Carroll. Great story. There's many such cases. But did you catch, by the way, he caught himself being an asshole in this, so at the end he switches it back to being nice yeah, and Yeah, he tried to, yeah. Mm -hmm. He like, tries to do the love you at the end. I can Wave believe in you. Virality yeah. for 14 years and earn enough money to save your life and make your life better. If not, man, don't worry about me. Get to work. I believe you can do it. If I can, yeah, anyone yeah. Can. look at that. So yeah. pathetic. Oh, look. Yeah. It is. I believe it's so in you. Gross. Good luck. It got so like, bad oh, that oh, the, even the, the real me was showing for a second. Oh, better. Ooh, ooh, God, it <laughs> it's a fucking oh, classic. It's a cla oh my god. It says it's a fucking <laughs> Renaissance painting. Yes. Dear God. And fired a shot at another YouTuber, resulting in multiple memes. If you do plan harm, just leave my friends and my dog out of it. You are welcome to kill me. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> message is that? Because <laughs> he knows it's gonna get leaked, so he wants to. He Boogie knows it's gonna get leaked, so he wants. This to This is the thing. This he's not smart enough to know that everyone sees it. Is like, what the fuck? And he's like, isn't that sad? Don't you have sympathy? And he's like, no. What, what do you do? No. You, you're welcome to kill me. Just leave my dog alone. <laughs> like what? We should make a video together where I give you a pink belly until your stomach has friction burns. Come on, oh, oh, come on, I'm on your town, you town, but I won't drive the extra like three that. miles. I won't drive the extra three miles because I'm such a fucking. Show the fuck up, I will fucking end you. Come on, I'm going you. to show up, and you're not going to win, and it's going to be the worst day of your life. Uh, yeah, okay. Boogie told Frank that if he stepped on his property, he would end him. I will take out trash if i have to okay step foot on my property you die we're locked and loaded hey frank step, frank listen listen frank i need you to listen baby okay and i'm gonna hang up and you can say whatever you want you're to crying and i'm not crying frank post. i'm threatening your life frank and i'm, I'm not threatening your life you frank i'm letting you know that if you pussy. step foot on my property frank because you have threatened me, Frank, because you said you would gog ba uh, ball gag me, because you said you would 
ball me gag because me. you said you would come <laughs> to my house. Said that there was a he nearly said goal bag me. <laughs> you almost gall bagged me. You will. You must be destroyed, and I will end you. Reckoning because you said that there was going to be damage done to me because you end you the moment you touch one of my blades of grass. Frank then showed up to Boogie's house, which resulted in him stepping out with his roommate's gun. Eventually, Frank turned up at Boogie's house. Come on, you What's the deal? Where's the gun at, you fat Open fire! Open fire! You won't even open the door? Pull the trigger. Okay. Is this what I have to do? <laughs> this is my home man you are not welcome here your reputation is such that when you step out of the darkness of your home <laughs> and you point a gun at someone they laugh at we you just, they cackle like hyenas it's that's just your not reputation we'd seen before <laughs> boogie this with is a gun. An, the infinitely sighted boogie now i'm not making a, a circle joke i'm just being like there's so much of him that we're discovering every time one of these controversies happen. Who knew that he had it in him to actually hold a real gun in his hand yeah. and point it at somebody? Here, you have threatened my life. I'm asking you to leave. In about 30 seconds, I'm gonna fire a warning shot. <laughs> fire it now! Okay. Fire the warning shot now. <laughs> Is this what we have to do? <laughs> Is this what we have to do? <laughs> I'm asking you to leave, Sam. Sam? Cameron, I don't know your fucking name. <laughs> Boogie shot a gun in a school zone, which landed him in county jail, which he was bailed out of at the tune of five- to the red. Boogie shot a gun in a school zone. <laughs> He's like, Boogie, no! Don't do that! Uh, I remember, like, dude, when this story broke, I was like, no. That's this not- wild. That's just bullshit. That's not, that's not gonna have happened. But no, it happened. $5,000. No one will be charged with a felony in this case as no one was injured and Frank fled back to the other side of the country. But it seems a misdemeanor will be pursued as Boogie did fire off a gun in a residential area next to a school and church. Boogie trended massively after the confrontation went viral. There were articles, creators covering the situation, streams discussing the events, and possibly hundreds of memes made. Also, the day of, Boogie posted the doorbell footage of the confrontation after giving some context to the events that led to that. The video was titled, Confronting a Stalker, Do Not Come to a YouTuber's House. For those of you wondering why I haven't been on social media, it is because I was in fact charged when a stalker came to my house. Um, because of that, I ended up cutting a vacation short, I ended up coming home and turning myself into the detainment center. Um, they processed me in about four hours, I posted bail and was released to await trial, which will probably be quite some time. We've entered a plea of not guilty and are just going to do everything we can to make sure that um, justice is served properly. And uh... what are, So he, he got a legit lawyer and the lawyer is like, do not plead guilty to this thing? Or was that... Oh, I can't remember all the details a... um, in terms of the strategy, but I know that he made several videos saying he was absolutely not guilty and he did nothing wrong and nothing's going to happen. That's wild when, like, that's interesting. That's a bold lie. And, uh... uh hmm. Boogie could have not answered the door to Frank. He could have not brought the gun outside. There were lots of things he could have done or not done that would have prevented him from being arrested. Yeah. <laughs> Most people just recommend, why did he call the police? That's such an odd thing that he didn't do. Yeah, that's, I mean, you stay inside, you don't go out, you call the police... And that's that. And then, I mean, <laughs> he did the worst things. <laughs> Pedophile is one of the things that I frequently get called. I see a fan saying, oh, I used to be such Not a big me. fan. But then I found out that he was a wife beater or that he was a pedophile or that he's a homophobe or that he's a... I, I am a fatally flawed broken. I am a fatally flawed broken person. You know, I'm not that different from my mom. I'm not that different from my dad. I've never molested anybody. You know, I didn't beat my kids. I chose not to have kids, so I wouldn't do those things. I, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Fuck me. Such I didn't have fucking... kids because I didn't want to beat them. Such a bad quote. Okay. But does that make does that mean I'm any better than my mother? Does it mean I'm any better than my father? Probably not. There's also this tweet in which Boogie talks about how his dad molested his sister. And just 10 days later, he says that his dad deserved better than what he got. Then Boogie said this to someone who criticized him for saying that. And you tell me that man didn't deserve better than that. I fucking dare you.
I fucking dare you and I will knock you the fuck out. I will. I will knock you the fuck out. I will fucking floor you. You tell me that man did It's like, I don't know what it is. His strategy with fake crying is always to do the sniffy sounds. Because he's just not producing tears, so... Just just put on the voice, do the sniffs, and hopefully it'll be convincing. Because my assumption yeah. with Only this... Only women can do fake crying, let's be real. I, so, I assume with this he was trying to go viral. He was trying to be like, they'll clip me for this, and it'll be me talking about See, my dad. he loves his... Yeah, he loves his dad. He loves... He's really a good person, you know, deep down, under everything. There's a good guy in there. You yeah. deserve better than that. Then I'll knock you the fuck out. I'll knock you on your fucking ass. I swear to God, I will. <laughs> Anybody deserves better than that. His early YouTube days were a lot more similar to his Twitch persona. Oh, your Halloween outfits. I mean, I am not gonna lie to you. Uh, I like if you want to wear a skirt that's like a quarter inch from your ass crack. I I'm not gonna argue with you. That's a good decision. You're making good decisions. Uh, two two suggestions though. Uh, the first, could you stop being you know 15? <laughs> because. You're making me feel like a pal. And um, secondly, uh, <laughs> could you do it in this uh -huh. general area? Just kind of, just kind of wear that. On. Clearly, this was before he decided to go with his new persona. He's obviously trying to do a joke there, but it's just not coming out right. Not at all. I mean, even back uh, then, for when this was. No, and like I said, but if he as well, said it's... that today, like it's over. Oh yeah. I'm just set right down here. You totally imagine Mr. Rogers saying this. In, in the face area. <laughs> Please. Personally, I hope this is where Kim learned. This neighborhood's in a school zone. <laughs> oh, the other problem, the other problem they've got as well, though, is like you know, there's other factors here. I don't think he's a full-blown PDF file, but there is some weird shit to look at there. Like his girlfriend's awfully young, well, yeah. right? Looks very young, and so on. Do you know what I mean? This, this is just a collection. No, he's of... a pedophile. He's a pedophile, I reckon. A pedophile is someone Whoa. that's sexually attracted to children, right? I'm willing to say that, like, publicly. Jesus. But he, he's also, like, a coward. He doesn't want, like, the stigma attached to it. The thing is, I But I think, unironically, I have zero proof to back this up, other than his fucking very underage-looking girlfriend. But Boogie has looked at child porn before. He's, he's on record <laughs> several... Jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, he's been on record several times saying, like, a 20-year-old, because he says it about Keem, and then he also got... um. Oh. There's a podcast where he talks about how how could you how could you discuss anything with a twelve a twenty year old like they don't know anything they like children, but I didn't I couldn't find that clip. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting to compare his quotes. The lesson I did: while it is legal to date women that age, it isn't a great use of your time and has a chance to be miserable for both of you in the end. Do not recommend. And yet now Boogie, at the start of his cycle, was teasing about revealing his girlfriend. Jokes were being made about her being 20 years old, and Boogie was doing what he did best and responding to all the comments criticizing him, also stating that they met when she wrote me to talk about some trauma she had gone through. We bonded as we helped heal ourselves, eventually realized how compatible we are, and after about a year, we realized we shouldn't deny that. You told us she was an 18-year-old virgin, me, Keem, and a kid behind the camera. In almost every single one of these are comments that just at the age gap, celebrating Boogie hanging out with his daughter or granddaughter. What? Excited? No. You said you wanted to do young people stuff. Daddy, this is, this is what I, was I don't about. know what you mean. You don't want to play? I want to play. This is embarrassing. Let's play. Hold on, I got an idea. Oh my god. Yeah, no, that's the creepiest oh, yeah, the fucking shit then, ever. And he's so aware actually, of it as well. Like, that's, yeah, that's pretty incredible. That's I mean, she yeah, looks really young up. as well. I understand that she's not. Yeah. Yeah, she is like twenty, strap but she looks that. really young. And then, then mentally, thing. like she's incredibly yeah. young as well. Oh yeah. Well, she's and remember, busy. Boogie is turning fifty this year. Yeah. Ready? There's, there's like an extended. There's, I mean, there's like an extended clip of the Mike Clum documentary of an interview with her, and she sounds like she's like she's like J JF Gary Eppie's partner, right? Oh, yeah. That level of mental retardation, almost it feels like, right? I see what she can do. She looks like can Eliza Thornberry. Do that on your own? From the fucking wild <laughs> Thornberry, like spitting image. That's probably how Boogie is able to communicate with her and her alone. He's a fucking sea beast, <laughs> and she's got the magical ability to speak to grotesque animals. Nah, he wants to fuck that monkey. Need some help, baby. Eric, it's good to see you, man. You met my girlfriend now. What do you think? It was good to I'm see her you. Father. I'm her father. I'm disappointed. First of all, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since I landed. I was looking okay. forward to eating at the local queue. What are you disappointed about? 
Well, I didn't know we had the freaking daycare brigade hanging out with us today. She She's couldn't serious? even get into local what are you, two. What are you talking about? She couldn't even get in. She's not 21. It's actually true. They would not let her into uh, the barbecue joint because she wasn't. See here, I'm thinking like when I first heard about this, I realized like I, I think that her youth is just coincidental because he'll take anyone he can get, I think. So the, well, the fact that she 20, came to him with trauma it was already enough for people to be like, "Whoa, what?" Like the first thing he tells us about this relationship is it's trauma bonding, which again, more psychological terms, but you right, know what I mean. Is, yeah, this is fuck ten ways till Tuesday. No matter how you look at it, this this chick needs help, and obviously Boogie yeah. needs help, but he's he's unhelpable. She was the, so the other problem as well is like, this term gets used so much. But she was unironically like a fan of his. Watched his content, yeah. so yeah. I do think well, there's so, a power dynamic at play too, right? But so was the last Des. The last Des was also a fan of his yep. content. Didn't uh, isn't there a factoid of he opened up his YouTube channel, like posted the first video? She was three. So, <laughs> it's just like fucking. Uh, uh, she's clearly not mentally all there. No, she's dating Boogie. Like... Can't even go out in public, apparently. No, uh, I was talking to Tom about this because he recorded and filmed with her, uh, Turkey Tom. And um, basically, she would leave the room and smoke weed so she could even socialize in the setting. Yeah. Mm. Barbecue joint because she wasn't 21. Do they have kids' meals at this place that we're going to Hey, have? hey, hey, I get enough of that from the internet. I used to be really upset at, at the other people. Yeah, but it's different in person, Boogie. I appreciate it. Love me, uh, your Sonny V2s and your Ethan's from H3, Critical, Mudahar, all of these guys. And it really used to rub me the wrong way, but I think I've learned to find the positive criticism for the things that they have to say. And I think I'm finally taking that to heart. And I hope that it's showing in this video. I hope that it's been showing in my other videos. I hope that it's been showing in my live streams. And I hope very soon we can get it to show in my body. The mask. Okay. What's this? Right here. Saying? right now in this moment of time i'm happier than i've ever been you've given me everything that sad little boy ever wanted the first question i get here is boogie is that the real you um and the answer is no it's absolutely a character that we have generated and we've created commenters also criticized his public nice guy persona for being disingenuous i play a very different character than i play on twitch which is youtube has always been the best version of me this is the version of me i'm trying to be boogie 2988 really wasn't him who on social media just portrays themselves who on social media shows all of the nasty gnarly miserable parts of their lives nobody yeah, but it's not quite the same the as difference... forging an entirely false character. Yeah, and there's a difference between trying to keep your negative attributes, you know, kind of hidden, because a lot of that you do not just for, not for your benefit, but for others. You know, you don't want every part of yourself to be out there. You need to, you know, there are negative traits to have, and you should recognize those. There's a difference between that and then actually lying, you know? In the same way that I'm not, it's not like you're, you're not betraying your character just because you're behaving differently in different circumstances and different scenarios. You're not lying to people because you don't behave the same way at a birthday party that you do at a funeral, right? Yeah. Who does that? I think I share more than most. He's always super reasonable and well-spoken and tries to understand both people's side to a story and tries to sympathize with people. Then on the other hand, he goes on 4chan and calls people beta cup. You gotta stop doing this, dude. I've said it before, a billion other people have said it, but you don't listen and this is what's killing your channel. Boogie is a liar. Boogie is a manipulator. Just self-centered content talking about me, 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 me. Ex-wife's Twitter. She admits there was never any abuse. She admits there was never an NDA. Yet you continue to preach it like it's real really quick. The only reason why in my video I said that he got an NDA. Dude, this guy's hated so long. I mm -hmm. get to watch Sunny V2 grow up. <laughs> right <laughs> like gamer from mars got ripped his camera quality got better turkey thomas voice got deeper that's how long people have hated boogie
Oh. Okay. It's a lifestyle. It's because he yeah. said it. In my mediation, there's like, a, you know, a non-disparage clause, which I asked for. Boogie was also embroiled in several other controversies, such as promoting the counseling service BetterHelp, despite the fact that the counselors were unqualified. He also interviewed- Dude, BetterHelp has had so many fucking controversies. I don't know how people don't know it's well, radioactive. People are, just... And yet YouTubers are still promoting it. Yep. I know, it. that shit's radioactive. There's nothing they could do. They're untrustworthy. I, I did, like, we, we've talked about this on um, EFAP before, because when we cover videos, we will- We'll watch the ad reads, we'll watch the, you know, sponsorships and stuff, because it's kind of, in a way, kind of insight into the, the creator themselves, oftentimes. But I'm just not qualified to be promoting psychological in therapy well, just, advice to the, people. The fucking way they'll just jump right in and be like, hey, you, you, you got depression? Go to these guys. Like, oh, okay. Did you oh, look into oh, it at all? Right. <laughs> Oh, because they paid money But even money taking that tell. aside, okay. like, it was proven they faked the testimonials. I mean, that should be enough right there. Well, didn't we they had... just get, like, sued this year or something? There yeah. was some yeah. huge, yeah. like, yeah. I think they said they were, telling they said they were, something? like, accredited by something, but they weren't actually. I think that was I think that was it, it, yeah. ...interviewed a suspected abuser kid behind a camera, but avoided the pertinent topic. Boogie advertised for all kinds of adult content. He also used his online space to give his thoughts on things, as he would later do in his vlogs. One recurring theme was nothing other than his fleshlights, and I quote, I think personally my fleshlight is a bit better than being with a woman in some ways. No offense, I figured I'd list the reasons. <laughs> One, it's tighter. Two, it sucks without complaining. Three, it swallows at least as deep as it can go. Four, when you're done, you can lock it in a dark place and it can't complain. Five, no need to reciprocate but ultimately I just flat out think it feels different and in some ways better than the real he calls it Des 3 oh god That's the third oh. <laughs> he gets the he gets he goes back to that closet with the runes and he pulls out the little puppet and he like tapes it to the bottom oh, of the he holds up that wait, he takes the the wood version of his wife from story fire and add, like adds a fucking fleshlight attached <laughs> oh, to that's it. the thing I just referenced <laughs> oh fuck sorry no, it's all right. It's fun. It's fun to get everyone's weird description. He, he calls it the Rudin's room. It was full oh, of I, runes. I don't know what the fuck you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> it was a weird rune room. Real thing. Honestly, there's nothing like it. It's like the first time you pop Mary Lou's cherry at 18 or sinking it into your girl's butt for the first time. Not too tight, but oh so right. I had a guy try to rob me once. He tried to break into my apartment. And you know what I did? I drove him home. <laughs> That this never happened. This never happened. I this did not happen. This you is Reddit a thing clap. that occurred. And everyone clapped. This, is, this just drunk? isn't a thing that occurred. Like Dude, he fucking fired a warning shot with Frank Castle for trolling him and drove a burglar home. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? He was trying to break into my apartment. He said he wanted to use the phone. I let him use the phone. He called his wife. He explained to his wife that he was drunk and that she needed a ride. This is the kind of person I am. I would never, I would never call somebody names. I would never attack somebody. I, I, these are the things I won't do for my worst enemy. Right, are your is parents still, are your parents still alive? By chance to... Here we go. Ready? Yeah, they are. And are your parents still together? No. Okay, all right. So I maybe I should take point then. What? Uh, well, if your parents aren't together, then you probably come from a broken home. You're probably going to get real angry when you start losing, so... You know. I won last game, but... That was my first game on. Alright, well maybe you just learned how to channel that anger. Alright, I wish you luck, man, then. Good luck. My parents died. That sucks. Yeah, I'm pretty much Batman, so... I'm a black person. I'm... First off, of course Boogie <laughs> plays Gibraltar, but carrying... Sparkle, I'm glad oh to hear you still black. And thanks for two months of support, man. That's a lot of money, I guess, for a person of color, or is it not? I don't know. <laughs> that, was the, that was the quickest regret I think I've ever <laughs> seen a human being have. Look at that face. Face comment. He said his iconic catchphrase. <laughs> like before, before the sentence was done, yeah. he knew it. But like the natural <laughs> reflex was to just finish the sentence, so we instantly had to go into. Oh my it's, it's possibly one of the perfect sort of backfiring comments that's ever been made. <laughs> he's trying to <laughs> gain some like benefit here, and then he's like, "Oh Jesus, what have I done?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. But I have a gun that's also a USB drive. He's like, "Let me, ah, yes, smooth pivot." <laughs> there you go. That'll distract him. <laughs> Yeah, what do you guys like? Guns? Okay, I can show you my guns. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, your people like guns, right? <laughs>
So, with some lesser known ones being brought to light. <laughs> this, uh, I, I had never seen any of this before. This is apparently from his blog, where uh, he got the what's with the ads. And he said, One thing I like more than public adoration, and that's cash. You should give me some or buy me something from an ad on the site because I, uh, equals money too. I like money. And then, uh, Truth is, I've given more than a couple hundred bucks to strippers that weren't that attractive just to grind my crotch through my pants. Hey, here's a tip. Don't wear underwear and get a slim pair of jogging pants. It's, um, this was before he even generated the Mr. Rogers YouTube channel, you know? Yeah. That's crazy. And then the other highlight is, uh, uh, my reply has been the same to all three. Stay in Africa, get AIDS, and die, you cocksuckers. You know, it's just, uh, you just don't expect it, that's all. Like this. Does she know how many orgies I've been to? Or arranged? Does she know how many girls Zero. I've watched fuck? Or fuck myself? Does she know that I'm a monster? Does she know that I have internet sites that are so disorienting that it would make Satan blush? Does she know that right, I've filmed I more Colossal's sex right. than she's... <laughs> how do you know that Satan is blushing? Um, um, I don't know if I'm right, I have no proof to back it up whatsoever, but I just got this feeling in the back of my mind, like... He's just got that look. He's the type. He's the type. To actually say the word, but I don't even like abbreviating it. Niggas, and I oh. know that I can still Yo. be a niggas. Um, and be one. Do you guys want to see what I can do? What? Why do I have oh, two beds? Okay. One for me and one for my hooker. One for me and one for my hooker. One for me and one for my hooker. Welcome to the sub club. One for me and one for my hooker. If you can prove to me you showed me no names of some The hooker gets a different bed than you? What are you paying for? What does he think hookers are? Maybe he thinks they're different than what... That's his therapist that he people. keeps referring to. <laughs> oh, okay. And the doctor. <laughs> the doctor. Yeah, because she dresses like a doctor when she comes oh, over to oh, fuck him. Holocemia Vera, that was her name. She oh, has her my state's God. name. That's the, there's so much confusion over this, but that explains it all. Summer, I will literally think Sam to the power. Good... She wasn't a doctor. She was a slutty nurse. One for it's me. One for my different. doctor. One for me. Oh one for my doctor. <laughs> one for my. If you can prove to me you showed me no names this summer, I will literally think Sam to the pound. Just a I will literally take him to the pound and find him a new home. I swear. Please don't do that. Not... What? Yeah, please don't do that. What? We love animals too much. I will find... No, I'm saying I will find him a new home. I will find him no, a new home. No, keep your dog. Now, keep your I dog. will kill my dog. He's gotta like him run. It was such a weird moment for me. Like, you know, if you prove me wrong on this, I will send my dog to the pound. It's like, what? Why? Why are you, you're holding your dogs hostage so that we don't expose you. Uh, I, where are they pee from? <laughs> like this. Oh. Every yeah. frame. So please give daddy your money or else I'll never be able to suck Mickey Mouse off. I want to suck Mickey Mouse's big dick. Actual boogie here. Please stop you beta cuck. Why are you so desperate for attention that you need me to get it? Pop and hit the gym instead of doing this miserable with your life. So how do I know this is Steven and not a troll? Well, looking at the archive, I found that he posted his trip code on Twitter as proof that it was actually him. This is what Peter looks like. This is what weird looks like. He's not even hitting it with the hammer part. Yeah, I make edgy it's jokes, man. I don't mean the jokes. If I say something about, you know, eating eating a, a cat. I don't actually eat cats, man. That's the joke. The joke is that I don't eat cats. That's the funny, you know, whatever. Someone says you can't put your finger into a clitoris. Somebody here doesn't have a scalpel handy. You splay that fucker just right, you can oh. wrap it all around your fingers. You just gotta, you gotta shave real thin. I mostly think that because I'm really fuck? lonely. Yeah. That's like psychotic. Oh. Well, he explained it, right? He said, if I say I eat a cat, the joke is that I don't. So there you go. Um. But there's, there's some things that you just can't do that with. Like, talking about PDF shit is one of them. Well, you, you gotta have like talent PDF. to be able to do it with that shit, and he does not. There's, there's, yeah, there's there's just not that there are just some things that culture hasn't developed like jokes around. Really, it doesn't work. Don't be. Don't. I mean, I think it's possible that you can pull off that joke. Boogie can't. No, I that's what I'm that's saying. The, you need to maybe. Yeah. You, I mean, there's some he, comedians he wants out to there who be, be able pioneer, to make it work somewhat, but he but, shouldn't. Yeah. Well, he thinks he's immune to, like, the repercussions of a lot of the shit that he says because he always references comedians that he's inspired by or whatever. But, I mean, the, the thing is, it all blends in it's because this crowd. here is him, like, expressing what he feels but through a, quote-unquote, 
you know, fake hood through the character. And if I could find a dude who would suck, I'd let him, but I never will, because I'm going to die alone. Even there's no dude on the planet desperate enough to suck this. But if, if I could find him, I would love him. If I could find a dude or a woman or a trans person, or I don't care, whatever you are, if you want to me, I'll fuck you. I'm just glad to have it. Turned out I was, in fact, a soy boy. I was a low <laughs> T. <laughs> Interesting. The truth I comes harassed out. people in IRC. I made fun of people. I posted pictures of tub girls to forums. We would just get up to the worst kind of stuff. Back when 4chan yeah. was brand new, yeah. like I would post pictures of tub girl on Christian message boards to troll people. And that was until, I guess, until like your mid twenties, about late twenties. Oh, geez, really? All right, it was in my thirties, really. Oh, in your thirties? Yeah, oh. I was in my thirties. It took so. you longer to grow up. You make me so sad, Boogie. I want to end it all and saw you as an inspiration. My end is on you. I hope you choose to stay and fight just like I am. If you don't, I'll be disappointed, but I will understand. But we oh only get one. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? If you do, you know, I'll get it. I, I'll I get, get it. it. You know, I get it. You know, well, we had two I options to write that or be like, if you kill yourself, I'll kill myself right <laughs> yeah. fucking now. OK, then my oh, blood will be on your dead hands. All right. <laughs> oh, and the other guy's like, oh, a suicide pact. OK. Like Boogie's making suicide pacts with people on Twitter. It's like, oh, God, no, Boogie, stop. One life. You have to live it to its fullest, even if it is utterly pointless in the end. It's someone oh like God. you. Don't live like <laughs> oh, no, it's, even it's if it's utterly right. pointless. Are you <laughs> the, uh... kidding? <laughs> trying to get people to kill themselves. And then you follow that up in the edit mall with the the fucking the classic, the, <laughs> the famous. Death. God Me, damn, or Dark this Side one. Phil or Wings of Redemption looks down on you, you must be one of the worst pieces of shit alive. And these are the people who take things out of context. They take something uh -oh. someone tweeted, something someone said, tries to make it look worse than it really is for the purposes of just destroying somebody's life. If you are this person, I ask you a favor. Please keep doing it to me. Don't do it to other people. Let me be a martyr here. Martyr. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm going to stay on the Martyr me. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm so noble. I'll be oh, your lightning oh, rod for hate. Oh, uh, bad. I'm going to stay alive run, as long run. as I can. I'm going to waste as much of your time as you can. I'm going to say as much shit and do as much shit as I can to keep your attention so you don't do it to somebody else. See, it was all oh, planned. Oh, what a hero. All of it was a plan. Oh, oh, Even wow, down to the cancer. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. man. He sacrificed himself. <laughs> Forgive them, but they do not know what they do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for you to torture me and only me. I'm going to make a living letting you torture me. I'm going to bring I'm back I'm going to be the next... You're going to make a living, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he doesn't know I his future he... here. You know, it's fine. What, what, does he, what does he actually think he's achieving here? I don't know. This is—I could say this is an unhinged rant. You know how it goes. The worst quote is yet to come. Yeah. So. <laughs> Dark side, Phil. I'm gonna be the next Wings of Redemption. I'm gonna spend every day. Mad, he eclipsed him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He's taken he over. Can, dude. The Vegas odd makers are so fucking pissed that Boogie turned out to be a bigger lol cow than Wings on his own show. Well, one of the top comments on the uh, latest lol cow stream was something like "DSP outlives another." <laughs> he's, he's still trucking along. You fucking busy, so you don't do it to somebody else. But I want you to know, I think you are the lowest of the low. I, I think you. We, go. we got to get a cleaner than that. I think because uh... this is this is the best one. I know people have heard it before, but that doesn't matter. I'm gonna spend every day online to keep you fucking busy, so you don't do it to somebody else. But I want you to know, I think you are the lowest of the low. I think you are the worst of the worst. I think that there are fucking rapists and Nazis out there who, even though they are rapists and fucking Nazis, they are more redeemable than you because at least they're doing something they fucking believe in. <laughs> I believe in rape. <laughs> It's hard to beat as being one of his best quotes of all time. <laughs> oh, at least the Nazis and rapists are doing something they believe in. <laughs> true, Fucking, Boogie. What made your brain Very do true. that? There's something about just the, the, the honesty and the earnestness of a Nazi that I think we can all admire. We can all look up to.
It'll be like a Bible he to just, rape. They he did what he loved, and he loved to rape. Listen, man, it was easy to be a Nazi in the 1930s, 1940s, but to be a Nazi today, now that takes some real courage. Hey, so you're not linking up with the previous statement where he's like, listen, all right, the Holocaust was bad, but there were some good things that happened in it. That's listen, why he's saying this. Let's be honest. Those Nazis believed in something. None of this is as bad. It was bad. the Holocaust, unfortunately, and they did it. So. None of this is as bad as someone who takes a tweet and says it's worse than it actually is. Like, come on. It's, that's the worst. They may be pieces of garbage. They may be pieces of shit. They may harm other people, but at least they believe what they fucking stand for. <laughs> Stand for rape. You stand for nothing. A rapist could be redeemed, I think. But could someone who dedicates their lives to being a piece of shit? A rapist. <laughs> <laughs> being a you piece of shit on the internet that. is irredeemable. But if you rape someone, <laughs> well, you know, a it's still a be redeemed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking of this, but the first thing that pops into my head is the director for Jurassic World Dominion saying that I'm making the Joker of dinosaurs. <laughs> and I just, that's what I think of Boogie. Little did he know, he did make the Joker of di dinosaurs, so to speak. He is... Also, let's be clear, Dinosaur is the Joker of dinosaurs, just to be clear. Mm. <laughs> this could be redeemable. My parents raped me. And I believe they were redeemed. <laughs> what? But did they believe in the rape as they did it? Or was it just like, Dude, eh, the fuck? You well. never would have seen this shit coming. To be like, rapists can be redeemed. Look at my parents. They raped me. Like, what? Did somebody get the what? AI version of uh, Mr. Rogers to say that? Look at my parents. <laughs> they raped nah, me. You can't do that to Mr. Rogers. No, oh, yeah, don't. I talked to my puppets in the backyard. So, there you go. Zesty finally got to throw some support on my favorite people on the internet. Thank you, Zesty Shadow. <laughs> You're not a rapist, are you, Zesty? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so anyway, back to the, the, the money. I do think these people are worse than Nazis. I do think these people are worse than rapists. I do think these are the worst people that exist in the world. Holy you don't shit. like me because of that opinion, that's fine. All right, standing yeah, up for it. He's got a spine with this it, yeah. one, guys. Let's see how long it lasts. For, yeah, I can this tell is you something this. he really stands Fuck for. Fuck yeah. those people. I would rather meet a fucking Nazi. I would rather meet a rapist than somebody out there who just enjoys destroying lives because it's their fucking hobby. My opinion? A rapist doesn't sticking destroy lives. You, at the end, a he Nazi says, my opinion, destroy. stick into it, as though he already knows that he's going to fucking falter. Wow, holy shit. Okay, now that I listen to this back, I hear why everyone is upset. In my mind, I was referring to the worst of the worst, but in these words, I am really a piece of shit. And re really, I was referring to the mildest of the mild, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a blunder tech. Looks yeah. like that opinion my didn't last so long, huh? Uh, well, God, at least he holy stuck fuck. by it for a little bit. Yeah. Fuck. I am a goddamned idiot. I am speechless. I hate myself. After all of this, Boogie took back his comments and was scarce with his presence on social media were in a video posted in September, claimed that the reasoning behind his actions was his mental space. In years prior, a video like <laughs> this one might have received Charbo. much support, but instead was scattered with comments, exhausted with his excuses, for repeat me, behavior, for and self-proclaimed artificial YouTube personality. Here we go, Crypto. Well, he recently announcing that he's basically broke shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, as if you follow all of his incredibly poor choices made over the last four and a bit years, you'll understand that bankruptcy was almost unavoidable. He tweeted out, Remember when Bitcoin was 800 bucks? I had 10k in savings at that time and didn't invest because I didn't believe it would increase in value. That would have sold for over $200,000 today. I hate myself. He then lamented that he'll never be a millionaire now, which is probably only true if he's talking about liquidity because because if we're to consider his house part of his net worth, he's most definitely a millionaire already. Many were quick to point out that his hesitancy to invest was a good thing, as you shouldn't invest more than you're willing to lose. To Boogie, however, all he saw was that other people got something that he didn't, and he was unwilling to hear a second opinion. Boogie, are you a millionaire? Well, it depends on how you calculate millionaire. If you include my YouTube channel as it is, yes. By January, it was worth over 1200 bucks, and three months later, that doubled. This growth continued until November, with the currency peaking at nearly 4500 Boogie was undoubtedly 
rolling it at this point. But like in many other instances, this second chance quickly began being abused. Boogie started bragging shortly after the first thousand. He wasted no time rubbing it in the faces of the Redditors, saying, Whenever the market does well, I think back to an old Reddit post earlier this year during the crash that said, Thank God Boogie's losing all his money. How spiteful this person must have been that he hoped millions of people would go broke so I could lose my meager savings. Dude. The motherfucker yeah, but at essentially least they were saying something they believed in. wins the lottery and the first thought he has is, yeah, that guy on Reddit who said he didn't want me to have money. <laughs> Talk about being poisoned. Jeez. If I, oh, Reddit will be the last thing on my mind if I win the and lottery. To then pick that person out and make fun of them on a tweet as the fit, like, it's like, how he, any self-awareness, just a little bit, tiny bit. Even if he wins the lottery, he's still thinking about that Redditor. Yep. You bet Which means the Redditor money. totally lost on red and just happened to get lucky what keeps you from trying that again he claims that if he was going to die anyway he may as well gamble away his savings so at the supervision of jesse from mcjugger nuggets he put all of his life savings into crypto this would all be man what a terrible decision yep. well what's what crazy the... for you is it was a terrible decision that worked and then he yeah, should have gotten and out thought, and then he thought it was a good yeah. decision yep. yeah like he got really lucky but but the problem is that he he thought it, he probably he just looked at it and like yeah but what if it goes up more like, yeah, Diamond Hands that's perspective. I guarantee it's, McJugger uh, Nuggets didn't uh, say you should put all of your life savings in crypto. Uh, but I mean, well, yeah, he, he did, did, but then he looked, he, he turned over and he went, <laughs> it's just uh, <laughs> nerd, it, snirked a little bit. Uh, you know? Like, exit strategy, you know? Well, and he'd way, be like, wait, what do you mean? <laughs> I think, didn't McJugger Nuggets lose a shit ton of money himself uh, with crypto? Oh, he might have, yeah. I think they, uh, at, least he was doing, at least he was doing something he believed in. Yeah. <laughs> This would all be revealed in a video he uploaded on January 18th. I, lo I love this, that he felt like he could actually go make a video talking about how he got made rich. Like, is it, like you're not a, you're not like a finance guy. <laughs> Why would you, I don't know. You just got lucky. You it's, got it's lucky bragging. taking terrible advice. It's bragging. It's, it's exactly that. It's bragging. Um, it's, it's like going to like, the casino, betting it all on red and going, guys, I fucking bet it all on red and I won. It's like, yeah, it's pure. Yeah, nobody gives a shit. Yeah. There's nothing for you to say If you to all us, use... Yeah. If you guys all commit to the bet red strategy, what happened to me <laughs> might happen to you. It's just, I, I mean, of course, you know, we like it. He should have already been financially totally secure. If you have like a successful YouTube career for like a decade and you haven't even paid off your house, like yeah. you're, you're doing something really like, I, I don't even know how that could even happen other than just absolutely insane spending on stupid things titled I'm finally rich how crypto made me rich this video is brought to you by me and my artist friend Ninja Chris who designed this awesome logo that you can get on a hoodie a t-shirt a mask a mug or a phone case you survived 2021 the best way to show that is by getting this t-shirt even if we barely survive January it's not about the money it's not about the attention it's not about the views and these days it's especially not about the money and let me explain why. I invested pretty much everything I had into cryptocurrency. Never feel pressured to get one of those memberships down below. Never feel pressured to subscribe on Twitch. Never feel oh, pressured no. to make a donation. Oh, I don't understand, no. like, does he not, does he not get this, like, never feel pressured to and then repeats every format for every way you can support him monetarily. He's like, you and meaning? I certainly wouldn't want you to donate to my Patreon or go to PayPal or become yeah. a YouTube channel or interact with one of my sponsors. Never feel pressured to buy a T-shirt. I think mean, sponsors probably don't appreciate. But please buy a T-shirt because right. half of those proceeds go to my friend who made the art for it, Ninja Chris. By mid 2020, Boogie claims that his four million sub channel was generating little to no income. I'm making a few bucks, not enough to call it a living. My Patreon only brings in 130 bucks a month because I never promote it. I make maybe a few hundred a month from donations as I never stream. AdSense is mostly non-existent now. Sponsors are rare. Thankfully, there was one last refuge for Boogie. The Ethereum from all those years back that he never sold. Swell guess, but he's very rich now. He deserves it. He's one of the only YouTubers that didn't let the money and fame get to his head. <laughs> he's still just as humble and, oh dear. <laughs> I know. and cool as when he started. I admire that. Amazing video, Boogie. You're one of the realest, most transparent oh YouTubers out God. there. And please know that your fans appreciate it. I clicked on this video randomly and I stayed to watch. And to be honest, I'm really happy this guy makes a lot of money. Don't know him, never seen his videos, but I'm just glad that he makes money. He's He's very humble and I respect that a lot. If he was humble, if why would he even make a video about how he's rich? Why wouldn't he just keep it to himself? Well, because he's the most humble person in the world. Like, the fact that you know about it is already 
you know? Well, so I think those comments just relate to his commentary on his finances before. Because we, we, the, the point of this is that you'll see those comments, and then you're going to see what the comments look like after this event. <laughs> All Crypto right. keeps doing this. I'll actually be a millionaire for the first time in my life. I did the calculations, and if I was able to cash out right around one million, I could retire. Never worry about money again. Man, Travel the world, I'll... get certain. To the, fa the fact that he was at a point where he could have just cashed it all out, put it into left. Like, yeah, just, didn't have to be or just gone. In, like a, in, in something that tracks the S&P 500 mm -hmm. and to get like massive dividend. He could have. Yeah, once won. you get a certain I'm amount of money, money, you're set. That money, money makes will just money make eventually, more money. Yeah. 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 The fact that he could have done that, he was like, nah, I gotta wait and see how much higher this goes. The oh. scan. What was Take that thing, my... Fringy, that you said? You said you read something about how. If it's good enough to brag about, it's good enough to yeah, cash out Yeah, that was a video on. that I watched where a guy said, um, if it's good enough to screenshot it, uh, 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 yeah, if it's like it's good enough to screenshot, it's good enough to sell. The idea being that if you're so thrilled with how in the green you are that you'd be willing to share it on Twitter or Reddit, you probably ought to consider whether or not it's time to, you know, like that, it's just, what is, what's the exit strategy? Like, what's the plan? Yeah, what yeah. is your plan with your money? Like, what are you going to do with it, you know? Well, you could even take out an amount of money that would cover your initial investment and more, and more so, and then leave a bit in if you want to play with that, right? There's loads of things you can do to protect yourself. It's just putting all of your assets into an incredibly volatile... Yeah. Into something incredibly volatile instead of, you know, the good old standard diversification and stuff like that. It's just crazy that... It what a mental. stupid decision he made. <laughs> like, yes, what a yes, indeed. Decision. My friends, also hookers and cocaine, I guess. In true boogie fashion, he continued bragging while feigning humility. In one tweet, he and claimed it's just to feel crazy because guilty all for these, making so much money. All of these tweets are uh, like at, in the beginning of 2021, right at the peak, like right after yeah, the yeah. insane bull run that happened after our COVID. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, oh man because he couldn't share it. But it's obvious he just wanted to flaunt his newfound wealth as he fixated on the mythical seven figures. Hey, so I was out of the game for a really long time and then I bought back in during last night's crash and I've already made some money. In fact, hold on, let me check my bag right now. Let me check my bag right now. Uh, since last night- You can tell he feels so like, I know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. I'm a crypto guy. Yeah, he's like, I figured out the game of life. Let me I check found, my bag. I figured it out. Look at my strap. It's currently setting at 30. 3521, so I've made some money. So I, I'm hoping it goes back up to its 4K peak and I'll pull back out again. Thank God I invested oh and got lucky. Not a millionaire yet. Maybe one See, day. See, that's a thing. After my crypto if, passes. If you had a real investment strategy, you wouldn't say, thank God I got lucky. You'd say, man, all the research I did to figure out if this company had an underlying and, and, and value that was high when I bought it, man. I'm yeah, glad. Paid off. If you know you're lucky, then fucking quit while you're ahead. Holy yeah, shit. Like, holy, if you're lucky, it it's like just read read a couple of books about like finance. It just like I just you know it, the questions that you would ask like would you buy it now at the price that it's at and whether or not that should influence your decision to sell like all of these basic questions. Instead, he's bragging on Twitter about how he's made so much money on crypto. It really is like you know twice the pride, double the fall. You know, god damn. Is one million, I'll get the Model X and make it a back to the future car. When my crypto investments finally make me a millionaire, I'm going to have hot nurses give me my Mountain Dew intravenously. I'm just trying to make a quick 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 to, you know, off of crypto money to, to fucking pay for this Disney trip. And by late February, Boogie tripled his life savings. This was well more than enough for him to live comfortably. And given he admitted it was the gamble of a suicidal man, one would expect him to withdraw. But oddly, he seemed convinced it was safer in Ethereum. Is this not just a classic story? It's, it's like, you can yeah. see where this is all headed, because obviously it's, it's, it's foreshadowed already by loads of other things, but... Yeah, of course Bluetooth he's gonna lose it all. Sun. He's gonna lose it all. Sun. It's like a film, isn't it? Yeah, yeah we're, this is, we're, we're, we're heading towards the second act low point, and there will not yeah. be a resolution. <laughs> no. I, I actually, um, I met someone like this in real life. I knew someone like this in real life. They invested in, I'm not even kidding, BitConnect. They were in BitConnect. I've, I've never even heard of that one. <laughs> oh, it's I like a classic BitConnect. 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 You know what I mean? The yeah, the no, I haven't, no. Um, anyway, it was like a sort of, it was, it was tethered or linked in some way to, uh, Bitcoin. So it looked legit, but it was like a Ponzi scheme. So yeah, it crashed one day, loads of people lost a bunch of money. And, uh, yeah, this guy had to sheepishly go around and all the people in the office and was like, oh, sorry, because they all lost fucking money on it. Insane. 
eventually, if I sell those cards, I have to pay income on the cards I sell if there's a paper trail. If I sell them to a friend for 20 bucks, none's the wiser. Juggernaut Are you be saying this? It just, just that's the clip where he just casually admits to tax fraud. Just FYI. Yeah, I was about to say, like, I, I don't know if you should be saying this aloud <laughs> in front of people. I mean, it was funny because apparently he didn't really rely on that for very long. He went straight to crypto and then lost everything and is now um, close to destitute. It's Mick Jugger Nuggets, the guy who got famous for Psycho Dad Shreds video games and has had some recent bangers such as Angry Bald Kid Destroys TV. That's the person you trusted your life savings with? Within 12 months, he managed to lose half a million it's dollars. Very smart. This That's a really smart thing. Half a million dollars. You think dollars. they'd have to... Oh, how, there's, I just, I, I'm trying to imagine myself in that position. You want to take this half a million dollars or do you want to risk it for more? And I'm like, give me, just give it to me. Give it to me right now. Just give me the half a million. Well, we I'll know what it. you would do on who wants to be a millionaire. Hell yeah. I'm taking that money in because I would never fucking forgive myself. Mm, if I got that true. last question wrong, I would never forgive myself. And every day with that 500 grand, I'd say, you know what? I, I, I will never feel bad about not taking I'm thinking the about that, um, that Norm MacDonald one where he's doing it for charity and he would have gotten a million, but he kind of got spooked out of, uh, out of answering the last one. Still walked away with 500k for charity, but damn. He's, wise, he's a wise man. Well, yeah, it was just a case of like, man, how shit would it be if you lost like that money for charity, you know? Even if I knew, like, if, if I was in that position where they said, what were you going to guess, uh, you know, if you were going to, it's like, oh, I would have guessed B. And they said, oh, that would have been correct. I still would have been like, well, at the time I did the smart thing and I'm not going to fault myself yeah, that's, for that. That's exactly and, the thing, yeah. right? It's the kind of, that's like a healthier attitude. Whereas Boogie, if it kept going up, he'd be like, fuck, I should have left it in there, you know? I would have yeah. made more money instead of looking at the positive side of, Dude, of I'm the sure decision once he, he made. Once he lost the biggest portion, he probably thought, it's okay, I can get it back. I can get it back. I just need to put this in the right place. Yeah. Mm hmm. This itself would be bad enough, but just a few months later, even that would be lost. That same June, the crypto market experienced a massive downturn. This resulted in it shedding nearly 60% of its total market cap, a loss of over $2 trillion. This universal decline caused Boogie to incur a loss of over six figures. How's the crypto crash hitting you? Not great. <laughs> I will take your subscriptions today. <laughs> uh, uh, I will definitely take your donations and subscriptions today. Crypto market crashes. Because right now, just, just to, so I'm not confused or anything, and I know the timeline, Boogie hasn't, so, you know, quote unquote, cashed out into real money yet. He just realizes his potential well, value of all the coins is yeah. going way down. Well, Remember that we, we looked at, because in the documentary it said he lost $750,000 on crypto. So I think what any normal person would assume from that is, oh, you're like 750000 down from where you initially started. But like, but he what, meant it like he my about potential. It, like, well, no, it was at two hundred and fifty. then it got really high up, and then it went back to where it started. But like, nobody would be looking that, that's, a, that's like a paper gain and a paper loss. There's a difference between that and, like, it was just... I think it was still, like, really... To the point that I'm not even sure exactly what the amounts were, but, like, it sounded like what was in the documentary, it was like, well, it's true from a certain point of view, that kind of thing, but, like, not what people expected or understood it to mean. It's not fun! I am sweating it. I'm sweating bullets, boys. You remember this time a year ago I made a video saying I'll never have to work again and I'm fine and everything else? Should have pulled out of the market then! I <laughs> did not! <laughs> yeah, well, that I mean, I think it's going to go back up at one point, but, uh, you know, for it is right now. And then that would be a question you'd ask Boogie is like, so when you, like, invest in an asset, you know, how long do you expect, how long do you expect that you would want to, like, keep that in the market for, you know? Like, do you want to hold on to it short term, medium term, long term? And he'd be like, what are you talking about? Like, he, it just sounds like he genuinely had, like, no yeah, plan no at plan all. Whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's thrown around a huge chunk of money without knowing anything about it. There were certain clips where he was really bitter about McJuggernuggets for getting him in this situation. And you can tell it's like, he, he felt that he was more responsible because Boogie just didn't even understand what he was doing. It was like, this was mm -hmm. you because I didn't know. I was just walking around with money and now I don't have any. So this is you. Oh. 
how skinny. I made a couple of bad trades with the advice of a friend, and uh, yeah, I definitely do not have that is. kind of security anymore. I, I'm not comfortable telling you how much I lost, but I definitely lost very much into the six figures. I need your help. I need your help video. I need help. This one you're talking about? <laughs> and just over a year later, Boogie oh, posted boy. a new video oh. titled, I need your help. Why did you even make this in the first place? Just it's literally like saying, I am addicted to gambling, and it, it worked, it, and it turned out about how you'd expect, give me money. This was like, unbelievable. That's all it comes across as. And yet, it's been completely crushed by later events. Like, this this one's nothing now, but at the time, it was huge. Like, seriously? You're asking people to make up for your gambling losses? Well, I mean, but you can even see it in the way that he keeps saying, like, I took that bad advice. It's like, yes, but the, the important part is, you took that, you took it. Why did you, you not double check that advice? Why did you not get a second opinion? Well, especially if he like, that's it. it's just not like why it, the whole thing is is crazy. Like that he made that choice, and then when it succeeded, he was talking about oh this amazing thing that he'd done, and then as soon as it was gone, I was like, well, I took some bad advice, and I need your help, guys. Start making the content and see how it goes instead of like the guilt trip. Been watching the channel lately. You know, the last three videos I've uploaded were frames and of videos, and that's by design. The fact that he filmed it outside so that it wasn't there with his arcade machine and all of the collectibles and that will be mentioned. The big play button. <laughs> and that's by design. Interesting. They're attention grabbers, they're polarizing, the algorithm likes it. So I'm trying to dig my way out of the hole that I currently find myself in. I took some financial advice from a friend and I'm not pointing fingers necessarily. Yeah. Why'd why you, you, yeah, why yeah. you mention it? Yeah, why'd you mention it? Not pointing fingers. Interesting. But the Interesting. <laughs> you fucked me over, but I, I, I maybe, you know. Took the advice, but I put my money in the crypto market in the wrong section, and I pretty much lost most of it. Do, do you like the t-shirts I have? But... This one's not in the Merch Lane shop yet, but there's several, and I'm making new designs all the time. And if you like a t- I'm making new designs. He's not designed any of these, right? He gets, he gets someone else to do it. Well, I guess he, he look, all right, Google colloquialism. Okay. When he says he's making them, someone else is making he's them. He's part of the process in some way That's right. that eventually will yeah. lead to the creation of this merchandise. T-shirt, buy a t-shirt. I make like a $9 profit off of a $25 purchase. If you don't want to buy something from me directly, you can shop with one of my sponsors. That's By the way, you should be shilling those shirts all the time. Because on thing on shirts, you get a big cut of shirts. Um, in terms of how much they cost, how much you get, you get a. We just big said, right? Chunk, he said so. he gets nine bucks on a twenty-five dollar shirt. Yeah, yeah. So he needs to be. He I think he does. Really well, so pushing those shirts. I assume you know Rags, but he's recently like completely run down making any YouTube videos. One because uh, they just they just don't pay out much at all. Two, the sponsorships have completely dried up. Nobody's going to sponsor his channel now. Not a shock at all. Three. Uh, after what's happened with Lolcow Live, he believes that if you were to even release a video, it would just be spammed with "you lied about cancer," which he's absolutely correct about. Um, well, yeah, it's like, like if I killed someone, then people would bring that up. A yeah, lot. probably. Yeah, uh, it, yeah. It, His channel's like a husk. It is very, very slowly just uh, hollowed out completely. But I wouldn't, as everyone else has said, I wouldn't expect he's stopping. He'll be back. He's always back. He'll, He'll be back something. eventually. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, this this low cow live shit is so gay and fake in terms of like him getting fired. It's well, Keemstar fucking, you know. He like explicitly um, said he wouldn't fate. fire him, and then when he saw like the chance, I think to sort of make a big deal out of it and make it an episode, yeah. he was like, "Yeah, I'll just do that." Nice they, they'll bring him back first as a guest to you know, make him suffer in some way, shape, or form, and then he'll do another vote saying, should I rehire him? And then the fans will vote yes, because they enjoy well, watching him suffer. Will, uh, will ask him Keemstar to go was thinking of punishments for Boogie to do to come back on the show, and I suggested he needs a face tattoo of just liar on his forehead <laughs> and big capital letters. <laughs> I think that would work out quite well. Keem said, oh, here's a punishment for him. Uh, he can't drink Mountain Dew anymore. Okay. That sucks. That fucking yeah, sucks. sucks so the liar much. tattoo just, is you know, way better. I think he should have to drink Mountain Dew. He should have to quit Double Dew and, <laughs> and drink sugar. Double yes, Dew. that's what I'm rooting for. <laughs> eat, the, eat the tub of ice cream, Boogie. Do it live. <laughs> it's always an option. He needs to be feeding. Well, if you yeah. like a product I'm selling, get involved with a sponsor, shop through them, use my code. If you're in a position where you only have like a buck or five bucks, you can super chat that. <laughs> <laughs> He's, like, He's asking for money. 
Fuck you. You're so impoverished that you only have a dollar or five bucks. <laughs> you have a dollar to your Which name. Lot, you can Chris. super chat yeah. that to me. <laughs> that, that is pretty funny as well. Yeah, the idea that if you're in a place where you only have a couple of bucks free, you should consider giving it to Boogie instead of dealing with your much Christ. more apparent problem. After he wasted oh. all of his money gambling. That's insane. Yeah. When you mm -hmm. like a video, um, you, you can pledge five dollars a month, ten dollars a month on the channel membership program. And if you do that, if we can get up to like 100 members, I want to start making special clips and videos that'll stay member only for the people who want to see that stuff. Well, my way of saying thank you to you guys. Oh, yeah, I really want to yeah, be in the exclusive right? premium. boogie club. Oh, boy. Premium right. content. You can yeah, give that me premium five dollars so I can spin it on red. I find love at the casino because the casino loves me, you know? If you it's, it's, my dude, it's so shameful. And the thing is, well, he's doing it wrong. Like, you make the content and then people come and support you if you like it. He's doing it the wrong way around, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, people are already fucking disinterested in the channel completely. So it, now being like, right, now I need more support than ever. You've already, he's asked for this several dude. times. It's the Duber Media policy. All right, pay me up front, and I might make the video you requested. If, if well, Boogie said that uh, if you like a video at the end of all of that or something, I think I think he thinks people still like his videos. If you like the video where I this was his problem. myself fatter he... and beg for money, then please donate me and subscribe. They, <laughs> a few comments have been showcased, but everyone agrees. Like, Boogie never made anything worthwhile. The Francis videos were the closest thing to some kind of, like, creative expression or funny. But, um, as he even said, the best of the writing was thanks to his ex-wife. And, um, I mean, the, the viral factor was just because he was a really fat guy destroying stuff. That, that's... You know, at one point, he's just acting yeah. like a fat retard on the internet. Yeah, which is it. algorithm gold deal. back in when they were doing well, right? Like twenty back in eighteen sixty four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah he hit that two niches: really cool. laughing at fat people breaking stuff, and then hearing about people's life problems, so you feel better about yourself. Live streams, and you want to donate, throw bits at me, subscribe there. That's obviously also an option. I, I've never really pressed my Patreon or press channel memberships. But you I kind of have to now. He's, he's definitely done. Too that. late now. You're a fucker. Yeah. So, what do you get for your money? Here's what I'm going to try to do. I, I can't Crypto. promise any weight loss stuff because I you know guys a guy. Know. <laughs> I can't promise weight loss because fuck that. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I ain't doing that shit. Yeah, that ship has sailed. That's old boogie. That wouldn't that be a somewhat. I mean, there's no point because he would never do it anyway. But if you said like he has to reach a certain weight goal and that's the only way he can access the job of the podcast to be paid is he has to pass the weight gate, so to speak. That would be interesting, but it should go the other there's... way though. He should have to gain X amount of weight. To <laughs> he has make to his weigh seven hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> the percentage of the know. camera uh, that he fills I'm, up I'm... is his pay on the show. <laughs> No, we need to get you back to the way you were when you were successful, Boogie. Put it back <laughs> on. You know Stop trying to fail. Yeah, the old, the glory days. <laughs> For you, but the three top comments read, Just remember, the reason this video was filmed in his garden is because if it was filmed in his office, we'd all be able to see his thousands of dollars worth of arcade machines, magic cards, and gaming memorabilia. This is the most interesting case study, watching someone who hasn't worked in over a decade finally have to go back to work. He'll Guys, this man is richer work. than most of us watching him even after this mistake he made. He squandered his money and wants an easy way out. Do not feed into it. The world is cruel and if you want to put your faith into something, give your money to trusted places that will actually help individuals who need it. Don't give into pressure from financially irresponsible e-celebrities. That is a fantastic top comment to have on that video. I agree, Just... 100%. Like, there are way better things that you could be doing with your money. There yeah. are people who are, are actually hungry, who need help. Donate your time, donate your cash. There are a lot of places that will put it to very good use. 100%. Or you could go to the casinos and then swing all True, your money. You might get lucky, but red. Gamble, <laughs> gamble your own money instead of giving it to him to gamble away, you know? I remember yeah, him saying, don't worry. You lose worry. out the, on the fun part of gambling, which is... Which is gambling like hmm. why would you why would you give it to him to gamble yeah like that's like, nice. like going you're just a, a loser got, you're going to succeed as a guy at the table you're giving him money and they win and they walk away and you get nothing and you're like oh shit yeah you know what i like to go to vegas and go up to the first person i see at the table and i say here you lose this and then i just leave <laughs>
like about me. I'm financially secure to the point that if I stop making videos tomorrow, I can live comfortably for the rest of my life. He released a follow-up video thanking supporters while reading nice and mean comments. The thumbnail, meanwhile, contains an edited photo of his face to make him appear wider. This is a- <laughs> 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 There's pictures. It's it's just weirdly aggravating. It's he looks like one of those faces where if you like flipped it upside down or whatever, it would look the same. Or where they like take the the facial expressions and they flip it, but they keep the head the same. Mean, yeah. It looks like a like one of those fake pictures that isn't real, but your brain is tricked into thinking it's real. An explicit and attempt. It's not even a good smile. It's, it's just I, that's, I, that's it's the best he could There's something about it that feels off. It's like it could be in a horror movie. It's like a little. It looks like he's. He, oh, it's because the eyes. Smile and he smelled something really bad at the exact. It's because the eyes aren't. So when you like when you when you're happy and you're smiling and you really mean it, your your eyes tend to narrow and you kind of like squint a bit. So it's one of the ways to tell if someone's like faking it if their eyes just look totally normal and only their mouth moves. And that's what it is. It's the eyes. The eyes hmm. are just like normal eyes. Monetize hate clicks showing just how far he's fallen from being the most wholesome man on the internet. The comments were filled with people mocking him and telling him to get a job. In response, he reminded <laughs> them that he was disabled and a felon. For unrelated reasons, here's a clip from March of this year before the crash. Oh, when people tell me to go reasons. get a real job, it makes me laugh because I'm not going to go work harder to make less money. That might be your choice. Motherfucker was begging. What the hell? Mm -hmm. this I, also suppose I just find it interesting because once again just yet enough there are people who will do a certain kind of job that pays less money for them to do more work because there are other reasons for people to work than purely making money but yeah, like so I, it feels like with boogie it, learning it really skills is, as an investment it is a means to an end fundamentally it is a means to an end that end being sitting around playing video games watching tv also the um he's like stolen valoring with the fucking disabled shit but yeah, it, yeah. Well, because are... when people think of disabled, they think, I mean, you know what people think of. They think yeah. of somebody who was disabled because of a workplace. Like he could get an IT job because for they were sure. In the army, you know, like that they have some sort of disability that they got from doing something. And then it puts them in a position where they, it's like impossible for them to do work. Not, you got really fat. So like you struggle to walk around. I mean, he could be an editor for somebody, but it's like, nah, disabled. Could, yeah, like the idea that the only jobs that you can get are ones where you have to walk. You could probably just sit on your ass and take surveys all day, yep. and they'll pay you for it. Mm. It definitely ain't gonna be mine. Yeah, it's, well, it's way, just um, some of these. Yeah, how does anybody else in the world who is disabled? How do they manage it? How do they manage to do it without having a YouTube channel? You know, there would be when our family would take uh, vacation. I, I don't know why I say past it. Our family takes vacations every you know once in a while, and one of the things that they would do was was some people in the family would organize going to one of these like survey taking places where they're trying to get feedback and they'd say yeah we spend like an afternoon or whatever and we go or, or a morning or however many hours we go we take this survey we fill out the quiz we do everything and that like pays for an extra whatever time for the vacation so it was like a strategy for them to do that there's a lot of money in like companies getting good earnest feedback yeah but the problem is just fundamentally like, he just wants what but that's he used what... to have, which is that he could get on, you know, turn on the camera, talk, barely edit, throw it up on YouTube, make enough money for the day or even for multiple days, and then go and play video games. That's it. Yeah, he's, he's, that is, that is the way life should be. And that is the way that, that's, that's what he has sort of, like, that's always the, 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 the status quo, the normal, that's how things need to be. Dude, I don't get why um, this guy's so poor. His merch is like so good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at oh, it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Worst day oh, of my life. Oh, it's not even the real gun. It's a recreation. <laughs> what the fuck? Look, That's lame. That's not. Look, there's no bat, and it's a different gun. He doesn't He's own just... the rights to use Frank's photo. That is. Ooh, actually, I don't know. That is potentially true. Oh, you might be right. Also, may <laughs> that might actually be true. I don't know. Man, I can't anyway. wait to wear that for twenty-six dollars. <laughs> twenty-six dollars plus shipping. Plus shipping. Oh fuck! Well, the good news is, up there every and pick it up. Time you buy one of these twenty-five dollar T-shirts, nine dollars goes back into my pocket $26. and helps me recoup the Just cost I spent on legal fees. Defending myself from arguably the worst day of my life. In a different that means 
Who put you there, Boogie? Why did you? Why, <laughs> it was how, some why, some we, evil doer. I don't know. <laughs> what the name was? Some rap scallion. Yeah. In order to maintain this current lifestyle, I need to make about seventy-five thousand dollars a year. His monthly spendings were not looked upon warmly. One of the comments on this video reads, 75 k in expenses per year is outrageous. Most people don't even make that much as their salary. But if it The vast yeah, majority of people don't make that much in the United States. That's, that's a cool. lot of money. I think we covered I mean, this especially... in the documentary, the fudging insanity of his Oh, yeah, numbers. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Budgeting say, finances. Well, I had to buy I had to buy Diablo 4 and Legend uh, of Zelda and what was the other game? Final Fantasy 16. I think so. He yeah. had to. Had to. And then like, well, I gotta I gotta spend all this money on streaming server. I gotta, you know, I gotta spend all this money. And and then like food. Food was like what was it with food? Because he had food, but he also had like eating out as well as another expense that was really big. Oh, I can't. I can't remember. Um, that. Yeah, it was like hundreds of dollars on fast food. Fast yeah, it was like, like the, that, yeah. it was the it was like the drill candle tweet. You know, fast food is that shit racks up the. I, oof, man. It like ta store. taps me out. I'm really gonna have to eat bag. I, I probably will really have to come in here every night and be like, "Fuck, dude, I really need the fuck money to pay my fuck medical bills." You know what I'm saying? By the end of May, he was stating that he was already down to his last seventeen thousand dollars in savings. And with Bogey's lifestyle, it would be a surprise if. How many people would? Oh, there's a lot of people who'd kill to have seventeen thousand yeah, dollars. You've got to put it in perspective that he was aiming to reach a million, pull out of crypto, and live the rest yeah. of his life in retirement, switching jobs. Now he's all the way down to 17k, and he, according to him, he's got to get at least like 75k per year to just continue to exist in the format and that he has. Bear in mind, he doesn't own his house fully. And like his, if he and sells his, it, it's not even the total amount. And his YouTube channel's dried up. All of his uh, Francis yeah. videos are demonetized. Nobody's watching the new shit, and he can't get sponsors. And his, it uh, is unbelievable that he could actually, after having a YouTube career that was successful for like a decade be in a place where he's only got $17,000 in the bank, doesn't even own his house. Like, that's, that's insane. Well, it, Two mean, version of a lottery winner. You by know, the they way, do this whole thing, they lose everything. This was, what, a year and four months ago? When yeah, he said he had 17 k like So, yeah, at this point, I'm sure it's less than that. Surprise, if that lasted more than three months. Oh, no! <laughs> Dominic Yet he was saying he was doing this. better than ever because of the mushrooms he's been taking to help change his perspective. Psychosilvan <laughs> mushrooms, which <laughs> don't work. This is such a fucking wild card if you don't know the story. You're like, so he's, he's reaching like <laughs> bankruptcy. But shrooms, you're like, what? Like if you're on an antidepressant. Um, when microdosed can help people who have eating disorders, who help people who have anxiety, PTSD, and depression, all of which I have. Also a unique trait awesome. to him are his man. constant epiphanies. Moments of grand revelation meant to guide someone to realization and maybe a change in perspective. Do this feels like if the lol cows were characters in video games or whatever, this would be his unique ability. Like, he constantly has epiphanies. Because the other, like, I don't feel like this is something that DSP will regularly do. Though they all have their own traits, of course. It's just the Boogie's ones constantly realizing he's, uh... He's, he's reached his ultimate form sort of thing. Also, by clown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, yeah, he, he said he had to go. So. Do you believe in manifestation and the power of positive thinking? The more I read about it, the more I realize I may have... Oh my god. Dude, it's, it's literally like he just discovered self-help for the first time in his life. And he's like in his late 40s. Have you heard of the law of attraction? Oh my god, this is such mind-blowing information. Like... Oh my god. Yep. I have created my own misery. I had my second session uh, with my... Oh, this video. <laughs> this, this, is, video. this is an underrated boogie video. This one this is, is underrated. underrated. It is, it is. This is yeah. <laughs> you have to remember everyone, he's gone through a very serious journey, okay? Take this seriously. Psychedelic therapist, and I'd love to go into more details about it, but we can't. Because of YouTube policies and things, I got warned last time. It was not a positive experience for me. It was uh, a hard one. I am Jerry Smith. Well, the context, though, is that after... The, so this is the second Shroom trip. The first one, he viewed it very positively. It was what we saw in the uh, documentary, right? Yeah. Where he discovered existentialism for the first time in his life and was like, it's all... Nothing matters. 
oh my god, nothing matters. That was that was what happened. Which means that. And this, this is which means that he was tweeting that to suicidal people before he believed it, and now he believes it himself. Is the implication that oh wow, nothing really matters? But I've been telling people suicidal people that on Twitter for years now. Oh my gosh. New policies and things. I got warned last time. It was not a positive experience for me. It was uh, a hard one. I am Jerry Smith from season one and two, Rick and Morty. He's not <laughs> Jerry. He's oh, not God. Jerry. Jerry's better than him. I, I, it wouldn't surprise me at all that you, you'd be offended by the very notion because Boogie's a fucking monster compared to Jerry. Is, Jerry's better than him. <laughs> or possibly I'm Bojack Horseman. You're also not Bojack. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, he's got a rationale. Let's hear it out, huh? All right, let's see. Or possibly I'm a combination of the two. And his patheticness has ruined his life. It's ruined his marriage. It's ruined his relationship with his children. It's ruined his career. But what's interesting about that patheticness is that it's a defense mechanism. That he's chosen to be pathetic in the hopes that no one would hurt him. Boogie has chosen to be pathetic in the hopes that no one will hurt him. That's not even remotely accurate to describing his personality. No. The reason I compare myself to Bojack Horseman no. is because, like the character Bojack, I've done some terrible shit. Most notably, I ruined my body. But I think it's... <laughs> That's the worst thing he's ever done! <laughs> I, I, the narcissism. The it's... worst thing I've done is be fat. I've ruined the body that my mother has brought into this world for people to love. <laughs> it's such bull- You hear him say, I've done horrible things, he's like, oh? And then he's like, like, ruined my body, like, no, that's not, no. It's truly awful what I did to the body that I was given to explore. What? This world in this universe. I um I don't know why this really annoys me, the language that he's using here. Um I think the reason why is that I just feel it's so insincere. Like he's describing himself like in his existence as, you know, essentially more spiritually. And it's like, dude, what do you You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. why I, I I it just comes across as so like insincere. Like he's betrayed to me. the responsibility bestowed upon him by the that universe. Was bestowed upon him by whatever, basically like, oh, whatever higher power there is, but being like nice and vague. I, it just it bugs me. Like I don't do that shit. Like that's that's annoying. Like Bruce you don't believe in any of that stuff. Like you Does just, he think of his uh his whole life in video game and TV show things? Like when he has to get up, he's going through a loading zone. That's why it takes him so long to walk out of his room. He's Jerry What's the Smith. thing, man? Like, At that point, that would mean there's something about his life that's sincere, and I just don't know that there is. Uh, this reminds me of that one Marvel movie that uh, I've watched. <laughs> almost every opportunity, I made the wrong decision, and I know on some level it was on purpose because I liked being pathetic. I liked hiding behind it, and I thought it would make it Okay. I thought it would be safe. I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> but Here comes not. the 1 HP voice. Here comes the sniffing. <laughs> he's comes. sniffing, man. He's about to owe. He's going to owe. I'm afraid I was going to die that way. And I was going to die that way pretty soon. Tins on the voice. Get some sniffs in there. No tears, yeah. of course. But that's the best he can do. This is all he's learned how to do. <laughs> And so many other people had tried to help me, and I swear to God, I've never apologized to me. I. <laughs> <laughs> how? How does he do it? Like. <laughs> oh, incredible. I don't know that I've ever been truly authentic about this stuff. I've hurt people. <laughs> This guy's like 800 hours of him explaining this exact stuff. I know. <laughs> so badly. People who rooted for me and believed in me and hope. <laughs> you did not get the okay. Oscar. It's not happening. Look, all right, okay. This is like the Brooke House People... apology video. <laughs> oh, that's the, that's the dog one, right? The, yeah. Uh... Like, look, all right. There is not a universal way in which people cry, but. People who are crying, it's often, like, difficult to speak. Uh, there's usually tears. 
There's oh. never tears with him, ever. His eyes never match that of someone who's crying, and he always does. That oh, voice sure. switches on and off when he starts trying to pull this shit in the, uh, Which, well, the yeah, that, live ones. That it's it like it, you're not. I, I I'm, I'm so sad that I never apologized to myself. It's like, what are you doing? This is not. And then just the sniffing. Anybody. Every example in this yeah. video of him crying is he just goes. <sighs> It's like that. He's not even what? doing the thing that you're supposed to do, like, you know, the actors who aren't good, at, like, who can't cry when they're acting, where they scrunch up their face, you know, they go, ooh, ooh, ooh. But yeah. they're, you know, they're not, there's no tears, but at least they're, like, kind of contorting their face to look a little bit like they're Listen, upset. The budget's like much this. lower these days. He can't put in the CG tears. The budget on the Boogie 2998 television yeah. series. <laughs> <laughs> Hoped for me and eventually got enough. And walked away. <laughs> and they make look at Crash in the background. He's so thrilled yep. about. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Link is there judging him in silence. Is it, Mario is Mario's looking also, away. He's, Mega he's in disgust. Mega Man's got his back turned to him. He's like, okay, all right, <laughs> this is awkward. No excuses for any of this, because there are none. Well, I mean, damn, you could have fooled me with all of the <laughs> excuses that you go to all the time. It's not an excuse, but hurt people hurt people. And until you stop hurting yourself, you're going to hurt everyone that loves you. He hasn't improved over the years with his fake sadness. No, he hasn't. It's the exact same, you know, same format. You think that you think he'd just try harder? Or he'd get better at it over time, you know, just naturally through practice. But he really hasn't. He might. He may have gotten worse. God, I hope if you're still watching, I hope you know what that means. But I'm doing this for us. Oh, yeah, this part right me. at the end where don't, he, don't he don't spins in this like, you. I will continue for you. I'm doing it for <laughs> you. I got you back. Please, it's so gross. Just please understand in the truest sense of the phrase, oh, Boogie, you shouldn't have. Have you guys seen his Twitter? Many T times. Today or... Look at that hidden tweet. Oh, one sec. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I think that just happened. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, just so if anyone can't read this, according to the internet, I lied about cancer. However, for the last two years, I've been treating the symptoms of that cancer, blood tests, medications, and so much more. And there's a big thing he posts about that, but he's been community noted, and it says Boogie has admitted to lying about cancer. <laughs> That's the funniest fucking shit, man. Whoops. I mean, if he hadn't lied about cancer, he probably wouldn't have had that happen. Yeah, I wish funny, they waited that's one how they more get you. week so he would have... Like, he was just about to do a GoFundMe. I know it. Yeah. Just one more week and it would have been bigger. Truly and authentically, let me tell you that I love you. I hope it doesn't go viral. <laughs> I hope this is just seen by the people... That it needs to be seen by. And I, I hope this doesn't go viral. He was actually going to try and get this <laughs> to boost the channel. I was like, no. Yeah. I hope that's a small number of people. He's like... <laughs> that is exactly what I would want a shaman who I go and visit to be wearing, okay? So he was staying with Boogie for a couple days, and then he assaulted the dog. He had offered to help me catalog my magic cards and perhaps purchase them. He took them from Boogie's home and to the local card shop. This is Glenn, the card shop owner, to catalog the cards. When I threw him out for assaulting my dog, he said he was going to keep the cards. So this is where the cards had never been sold. There was no money exchanged. They were just at a neutral location, and the owner of that card shop helped get the cards back to Boogie, okay? 
The card shop owner talked him out of it and took the cards back. He decided that means I stole from him somehow both 10K for the two days of working out and also me entering my me entire magic collection for terminating the deal. The shaman went to the police yesterday before going to Boogie's house. They could tell that he was in a crisis and tried to get him mental health help, uh, but he apparently refused. When the shaman goes to the police and the police say that Boogie's the one who needs mental help. This is just building up to the payoff. That's why I haven't paused it, just to know what happened with the shaman. Used it. Last night, his house and his vehicle were vandalized by his shaman. <laughs> I can't believe I have to say that. This is because Boogie did not give the shaman some Magic the Gathering cards. This he this thought is, maybe the shaman happened. thinks that they're actual cards that like magic. They are magic cards. Look at how he wrote cast pedophile. Spells. What he the misspelled it. <laughs> pedophile. Pedophile. <laughs> he really likes feet. He's like Laris. He really <laughs> likes feet. He's a pedophile. But like you see this. The chances you don't wait. that he did this in his own house. What are the chances? I, the thing that the the ending of the boogie documentary was him doing his true trip with. With whatever his name was, Flaming Star or whatever. <laughs> and then the the epilogue of the story is this. <laughs> you pedophile thief, give me your magic cards. <laughs> what the hell? I need to do a, a tarot reading with your magic cards. <laughs> or whatever the shamans do. Maybe the this shamans... Ends... Hey, shamans got hobbies too, I guess. Exactly. ...is up happening where Boogie's house uh, gets spray-painted with a PDF file on there. That's a picture of Boogie. Don't know why we needed that. Uh, also, Thief on the other garage <laughs> door. That's a picture of Boogie. Don't know why we needed that. <laughs> And uh, this is all coming from this unhinged shaman who goes by the name <laughs> Flaming Star. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Two of the largest locales were now rumored to fight. It was almost too good to be true. Another reason I want to get into this boxing thing <laughs> is because of the Sorry, I just, seeing the picture of wings is just making me think of, look here, look, listen. As you should. <laughs> That stream is legendary. It spawned both look here, look listen, and the, the, the crying <laughs> with the, the dog sound. <laughs> well, yeah, that was real crying. Yes. And then you have Boogie's was, fake yes, ass crying. Yes. The Wings one is real crying. It's, That's what it looks like. It's, it's yeah. really oh, man. I don't know what it is, but like something that just adds to it. It was the whimpering <laughs> kind of crying, too, you know? So, yeah, well, it sounded kind of like a dog. Like, yeah, yeah. Like it was a crying. whiny kind. Of appearing offline does not fucking stop it <laughs> but the best part is that he does that he says i can't do it i can't take this shit no more <laughs> just control it stop <laughs> giving advice you know no nothing about <laughs> the fact that he throws the controller because he always does it <laughs> it's just a natural reflex that's how he expresses his emotions is to but throw again, a console controller thing that, you know like i'm pretty sure he ended the stream right after that because he didn't want to be seen Crying on stream. Money to do it. He's gonna be a killing machine yeah. soon. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is all done through us because I mean we covered it. This this would be. Yeah, man. If we do manage to get these two episodes done, this would be the part. I mean, we're almost at the end anyway. That you would go and watch the uh, initial documentary and fight coverage. That's gonna be how this trilogy yeah. works. You see, we did two, then one, and then we'll do three. Bombs. That's good, that's good, that's Look good. at all of those arcade machines, man. I know. He's got one of those. He's got pizza boxes. <laughs> 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 I saw Boogie get, like, gastric surgery or something. They both did. Yeah. I think they both did, yeah. Wow, clearly it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, look at the... <laughs> <laughs> like bumper cars. <laughs> The Jesus American so national thing. anthem. I don't know how this is gonna play out, but we're gonna throw it downstairs. Oh, no. This is gonna, gonna be one of those weird oh, renditions. Say, can you see? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, weird is bad, right? <laughs> oh. Oh, well, no. people started booing him. Yeah, they did. <laughs> A lot of Americans know it. <laughs> Isn't it perfect as the intro anthem to the Boogie Wings fight? Like, yeah. Like, but at least that's something. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wings. No, wi wing. right yeah. Wings. Oh, straight in there. Wings, wings oh, moving around a lot more. Yeah. Boogie's like, yeah. But, well, I, yeah. I, 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 yeah. And Boogie. 
<laughs> yeah, look look at Wings. He's moving around. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Boogie has been saved by the shorts. The shorts are falling. <laughs> That's Holy, it. It's yeah. Patiently waiting. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wouldn't it be interesting? If like, because I, I mean, at this point, I'm, I'm <laughs> oh, oh, wow. oh. I gotta see that again. <laughs> yeah, he almost knocked his gum shield right out. Oh, Here it comes. The question is, how much more can he take? How much more of the pressure? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 He's showing and taping it up in slow motion. The <laughs> boogie <laughs> 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 action scene. Boogie's like is this, is this gonna be Boogie's oh, second yeah. win? He just doesn't have any power or reach. Yeah, yeah he's, he's not he's gonna do anything. His arms full. Yeah, no, no chance. Oh! Is that is he called it. He's pulled it. Yep, it's over. Uh, okay. Really done anything. Just look at oh, oh, yeah, get in there, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. no. Yeah. And it Dude, wasn't even close. You know what? I, I like, think he, perhaps Wings might earn himself a little bit of respect. I don't think this is happened, but this really is a memeable image. <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah, it really, it really is, As it is in boxing or any other competitive event, the victor gets his spoils and celebration. But the loser is also celebrated for their commitment in doing something extremely difficult by all aspects. The N-word is just a word. <laughs> <laughs> what a <laughs> yeah. So let's just point out what a pause, what a frame. Look out! And when you, by the way, the protein in urine has become an incredible EFAP meme. That shit. I love it. Legs. Yeah, protein in urine oh. is great. You really good EFAP memes. I mean, only the join life. <laughs> only join life. Protein in urine. Um, <laughs> those two in particular. Oh, well, there's man, the, uh, the mileage. Yeah, the only joy in life has popped up on videos that are so much older than when we even covered that shit. Uh, that's, that, that's the strength of that meme. Google my name. You might see rumors that I beat my ex-wife and I am also a pedophile. He's got to be trolling again. No. Uh -oh. Don't do it. <laughs> ah, the soap in our eye. No, don't. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Ugh. Stop. Frame oh, it. No. Every frame. No, no don't no, do that. No, no. Stop no. it. No. Do this. That's the small word. I figured no. that. Uh, no. Every no. frame. No. I figured, I figured it was better this time. Did you? I okay, did. Good. I'm sorry. I saved good. chat. They could just listen oh. to all of your screams. Uh. <laughs> you genuinely believe that I could make a comeback. I did when I showed up, <laughs> but I'm slowly <laughs> realizing that uh, you're absolutely fucked. And that is part one. Oh. Be, the, part two wow. begins with him getting cancer, so. Oh my goodness, this Excellent. is like, this is like the wait between Two Towers and Return I know, of the King. I know, I know. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I think it works Jeez. better this way anyway, because holy shit, you know. That was yeah, you got a, that's a lot to receive, and then you can break it apart, and then you know, sort of a fresh start on the on the recent controversy. Yeah, I feel like I need to like shower, mm -hmm. eat a little bit, something very healthy, go like outside, plants. I feel like I need know, to eat plants. Do, do a single a good walk. deed, even on a low level. Just you know. Yeah, Did you you rob you your audience of seeing the boogie it? sex tape it's twice. Yeah, they can go they never, find it if they need it. They, they, <laughs> they technically never it, saw no it the first time, right? No, they didn't yeah, see the, the first Yeah, it's the second time you've robbed them. Yeah. Well, I I feel I saved them, but you know what? It's just... I think YouTube robbed us of showing them that, so blame them. But yeah, that's um that is the basic intro, I would say. That covers that the broad beats any... of his rise and fall because at this point it's already incredible. before the cancer stuff happened he was already pretty much in the gutter you know like socially well, i think that's all that the uh the recent thing has sort of proved is that um rock bottom there's there's always hell you know like there's always you Absolutely. know as it turns the, out it can go deeper as was mentioned in the fight coverage there was an assumption that maybe he and wings could climb up the social ladder a little with this because this this will give him a bit of momentum mm -hmm. but, but not really that was naive because yeah. people don't change that quickly 
changes if anything it's something that you notice about boogie is it almost feels like he wants to he thinks he can like fast track a character arc he thinks that he can you know like just oh there's this new thing that i found oh there's this new weight loss thing that i'm trying oh this you know like you're just bouncing between these things to jump past the essentially the arduous boring part of change which is consistent effort over the course of weeks months even years but he rather because... so you know really the idea that he'd show up to a fight get his ass kicked and like that that could spur some massive character arc was a little bit naive i suppose yeah because part two is a lot more for lack of a better term like in real time as in several sections are full mm. conversations as opposed to this that's a very abridged um, version of all the events i suppose it would be an interesting one though because i think that the the uh the post um documentary lol cow era has kind of like revealed a uh I don't know, it's been interesting in terms of seeing, like, Boogie's shift in demeanor. Yeah, um, he's, um... You know what I mean? It truly he's is, like, more, chapters, uh, or seasons, even. Like, you guys just saw... This is Boogie's Infinity War. Yeah, th this was the initial <laughs> run of the Boogie TV show, and it, like, ended on the fight. And then the Lol Cow Live was, like, this, the, the, the renewal, it came back, and, uh... It mm -hmm. wasn't... Well, it depends on your perspective. It simultaneously wasn't as good, or was the best season. Really is about there how you rate actual it. Actual shift in demeanor, or well, does it just get it's, worse? It's, um, it seems like oh, it's worse. Um, I think it's like uh, a he becomes. Case of, I suppose we can talk about it. Yeah, like uh, my assessment would be that he is given a platform and a job that requires you to be a bit more catty and uh, cruel, and it like once he gets that access, that approval, he just goes fucking wild. He is like. I think he's much worse in the worst collection of clips from Lol Cow Live than what you would have expected him to be, even from the worst stuff in here. Because, um, you know how he used to... The clips you saw of him at his angriest, he'd be using the Francis cover? Like, I'm just Francis, though. I'm, this is all a joke, this is a character, blah, blah. That's kind of gone now on Lol Cow Live. He's, he's more so doing the exact same thing, but now it's just Boogie, so to speak. Oh, fantastic. Essentially, yeah, he, he's decided it's not that the mask slipped, it's like he threw it away because he thought it would be beneficial, but really, on it. he is he has proven to be like, compared to compared to Wings, he has uh, failed much more. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if anything, people tend to agree Wings has, it's not like he's fixed his reputation, but it's like slightly repaired. He's taken more seriously as a person as opposed to just the guy you make angry on video games. Um, well, yeah, it's, uh, he's had a few times where he's actually, like, made some jokes that landed, or had interesting stories. Yeah. Which, Whereas you know. Boogie, you know. <laughs> yeah, but, no, yeah, you've I'm, seen episodes of Wings sometimes. The, theory. the Predator stuff, when it's come up, has very much, like, pressed him, you know? Oh, yeah, well, so didn't he threaten been... to leave the show after getting enough yes, of those? Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That show has nearly ended, like, 17 times. But that's because a lot of it is bullshit. It's all Keemstar fucking putting it on. But some of it is genuine, I think. Like no, yeah, I think 10%, right. maybe. Which takes us to the end of this stream, I suppose. Um, uh, that was a, a legendary endurance from everybody who joined us, and I appreciate it. The reason why I wasn't given like proper intros or even times like skipping over things, I figured we had to brute force and just get as much re like reacted to as we could from all the people we had for however long we had them. I really didn't even know for a lot of people. But uh, appreciate those who stuck through. And of course, we'll try well, and organize I, um, a second half at some point. I, I really enjoyed watching the video. It's in in terms of there's been a there's been a lot. Of, Boogie may be the most um, documented human being <laughs> now. He would he should have been on that that quiz show that we had about the hundred famous people. Boogie should have been on that list. Um, but <laughs> with all the content that there is about Boogie, that was a really good video to catch people up and teach them stuff. Cause there was a lot of, there was a lot in there that I, I didn't know. And yeah, what's interesting yeah. is that a lot of it reminded me of things that I had just sort of forgotten that passed into the, you know, the mists of time. Mm -hmm. And then you get reminded of it and you're like, Oh yeah, that's right. The Tesla or, Oh yeah, that's right. This, that, the other thing. So I think the thing to take away wild. with the Tesla or the swatting or the mental abuse or all, all the controversies that they all have the same format as the cancer one. He's been doing this forever. It's just that he's been like sort of tearing up with yeah, the lies. It's it's just he has a compulsion to say things that he believes will advance his station in life uh, to a degree that is like insane. 
It's Which, just like every time that there's an opportunity as he sees it to either insert himself into something in a way that makes him look more positive or spin something in a way that will make people uh, give him any attention or praise him. If ever an opportunity presents itself, he'll do it. Whereas a normal person would have a, a much more of a uh, restraint in terms of a willingness to pride. do things like that because they're not um, that narcissistic. I, I think Boogie will do anything. There is no humiliation to great that would anything is worth bearing so that he doesn't have to actually work well or, or what like i would add job. on that rags what i would add is um i think that it used to be the case that he was obsessed with positive attention now he just wants any, any attention, attention. At all. i think he he's accepted that this is his life now um that this is where life has taken him that this is his fate so yeah, as long as he, he he's happy to accept all that, if it means that he can just sit on his ass for most of the day playing games, um, playing magic cards. Uh, I think it explains like his behavior on. Uh, but, uh, I think it know, explains his behavior on Lolcow, like why he starts screaming and doing stupid shit. Yeah, yeah. If I have to put in this moderate little amount of effort, then it's just another day. It'll be the same as yesterday. Mm -hmm. One humiliation. Uh, you know, closer to my death, whatever. I'll just write it as long as I can. I don't have to get a real job. Anything to keep me from getting like kicked out of my house or anything like that is I'll just do anything. There's no no shame, <clears throat> no standard, no principle. It's um that's just kind of what he is. He's a he's a terrible person. He really is a terrible person. And we laugh at him. Um and I'm glad that he's been able to bring us this much joy because many terrible people in the world uh, don't do that. They do the opposite. So, oh, well, that's the way, thing, Boogie, man. If, you know, if he were a better manipulator, we would all be the worse for it. Like, because he would have absolutely able to benefit like, immensely. Goodness, thank goodness he's a, complete, uh, he's a completely talentless hack. Because if he was, you're right, if he was very skilled at manipulation, then you wouldn't know it. He would, he would be essentially getting away with it. He would be escaping justice. And... There's a lot to hate him for. There's a lot to despise him for. Because he, he is legitimately a terrible person. But, man, it's... Every day of his life is misery. Um, and I'm sure he hates it. But the only thing he loves more than himself is... I don't know. I don't think there is anything more. Um, yeah, I was he's say. just sort of fallen <laughs> into a thing. He's fallen into this you know, sort of trap of his own making. But that's his the life. Big, and he can change, but he doesn't. The big takeaway for me was I kind of feel fucking stupid after watching this whole thing about like how long I kind of believed this guy's bullshit because I can mark exactly like the day on this well the timestamp I guess of this video where I'm like all right this is fucking ridiculous I'm off the truck now I think for me it was the swatting once he lied about the swatting and that's how long it took by the way I was mm -hmm. like all right well there's literally the nothing. Yeah, there, there's there's literally nothing at this point that I would be surprised by him doing. And when it got to the cancer stuff, yeah, I, I he got me again. There is, well, yeah, you think that, I I think it's just a testament to how most normal people, I guess all norm, normal people are most, but most normal people would, you just don't imagine that somebody would do certain things because we have lines we won't cross. There would there's just things we won't do. We have standards in our lives and our, and and in our behavior, and so we just naturally assume the default is that other people are kind of like us. There's things yeah. that they wouldn't do, um, like like you don't imagine someone would rob from you or hurt you or tell a certain kind of lie because you'd never do that thing. Mm -hmm. And I think he's he's ridden he's rode that. Um, that assumption from most people for a long time. But it's just, you rack up enough terrible behavior and you're not going to be left with many people who give you the benefit of the doubt, you know? You can fool them a couple times, you know, it's the boy who cried wolf kind of story, but eventually, it just doesn't work out. That's the thing, he's fucking maxed his card out, you know what I mean? Like, he got way like, more than he ever should probably, have. Yeah. Motherfucker's been lying forever. He's a... Uh only now experienced like the truest of the rockest of the bottomless but who knows I, I really don't want to end up saying that when he ends up i don't know i don't actually I'm want to sure... speculate on what he would do next but there are lower lows yeah what's the next step you do wonder what is the next thing well, so a lot of um, people have said this and i do tend to agree faking his death would be the next one faking his um death. I, funny, though. faking i think he he'd fake the dog's death 
He could fake Ooh, that his that dogs could be the next died. one, yeah. I think, because people love dogs, people love, as they should, but people, you know, rightly love animals, and those dogs, man, they're, it's, it's like a good writer, it's Chekhov's dogs, he's, they're, they're being, they're in the background, you see them here and there, they pop up, we know he's got dogs, he's referenced them before, when are they gonna come into the story, when are we gonna get the dog payoff, and that might be the route to take, it, maybe it'll be, uh, like, it could be anything from, uh, he could fake like a fake a hate crime on himself, quote unquote. You know, do some lar you know, some arson that he did, and he frames it on someone else. Or maybe, ooh, maybe he could do like a, a, a like a car accident. You know, nothing like crazy, but something that makes you go, oh no, it poor poor boogie got in a car accident. Um, he could take it. I don't know. I think there's a lot more options than you think, but. That's true. He, he, he always surprised me smart. throughout the, the construction of that video. It was, like I told you, I had forgotten about so much of that shit. I was like, damn, yeah, I remember when he lied about this and lied about this. Like, fucking hell. Is there a thing this man won't lie about? We haven't found it yet. But maybe. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I feel like everything's on the table, but it might be faking his own death because he's not going to kill himself. He, he loves himself too much. Well, and he wants to see what people uh, would say when he's dead, you know? So I could totally buy that he'd do yeah, that. Yeah, I think and so. And then I totally yeah. buy fucking we, come back and be like, this was, I tricked you all to see what you would do. When Tom Sawyer attended his own funeral, he didn't mean to do it. Um, but when Boogie does it, he will mean to. I think there will be... Yeah, I think you're right. He needs to know what people say about him. So we can we jerk off to it. Shall see. Uh, I just want to say as well, thank you so much, everyone in chat, for your support via, uh, well, hanging out with us mainly, but also with Absolutely. Super Chats and members, here. myself. And we'd also like to thank our, we'd like to thank our sponsor for today, Mountain Dew. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you, for a delicious, tasty non beverage. Non-diet. Non-diet. Oh yeah, this is high octane, the pure, the pure shit, real Mountain Dew. Uh, um, by the way, the throwbacks do taste better than the, uh, the than the the modern Mountain Dew. Maybe that's placebo. Maybe there's I don't know what it is, but it's like Mexicokes. They just taste better. They use better ingredients. There's something about it. It's the glass bottles, man. There's something about it. They just taste better. So shout out to Mountain Dew for sponsoring our podcast today. Yeah, it's me. A joke. They didn't bringing in rags will absolutely get to it. Obviously, though, the 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 recent, as everyone would know, we are now what four episodes away, or at least four weeks Ooh. away from uh, anniversary. Every day so we approacheth closer. Gonna have to do some preparino for that, but we've still got House of the Dragon to be covering, and mm -hmm. Deadpool and Wolverine is on its way out, and we got the other half of this uh, this boogie adventure. So, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. the third age of boogie. That's right. So many things on the way, but before we head out tonight, before before we we go with our three remaining guests, uh, Chud Logic, where where can people find you? What are you up to? Oh, I am uh, covering a lot of drama, a lot of crazy stuff that's going on, on the internet. Uh, find me at Chud Logic on YouTube, and that's the best place to see my stuff. I will. I'm very racist. Out. Yeah, absolutely. I'll sort out all the descriptions oh, yeah. so you can find links to what you're looking for. But yes, if uh, I will say. If you enjoyed this episode in particular, you probably will enjoy Chud's channel, I would imagine. It's similar. You, you dive into the uh, the happenings of the world. You always deal with very upstanding and noble people who make a mistake, yeah. right? That is correct. And uh, also, I just want to throw out there, I believe I've got the Rags seal of approval. So yeah, I just want to put go. that on the box too, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, uh, I, watch, I watch Chud Logic's uh, content. I watch... Let's see. How did I find... I found out about you is a while ago because I watched like kind of you and harmful opinions sort of like back to back a lot of the time. Yeah, harmful opinions uh, is great. Yeah, you um, might have heard of yeah. Chad as early as when we had him on after uh, he he did an audit of my Naziness. Was uh, just yeah, which found very lacking, which I was very you know disappointed by. I was hoping very to find more <laughs> I tell him all that all the time. It's very disappointing, <laughs> but. Yeah. E he, I, as Boogie has shown us, people can change, so you never know. Yeah, what are you up to? You playing video games? Uh, I've been seeing you live streaming. Yeah, I play video games. Hopefully get a video out within this week or the next. Oh yeah? Name three games. Three games? Uh 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 well actually I play a bunch of visual novels lately. Does those count? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Damn. Uh <laughs> well, well, why did you say Life is Strange one, two, and three? Video game in your world, yeah. <laughs> Life is I didn't say three, that. But no, those I aren't just... games. No, they my they own just don't reckoning. Count for, they don't count for the three. 
because he's like, dude, do these count? And I'm like, nah, now he's going to have to really think about it. Oof. Uh, what was it? Okay, then, uh, uh, Cellar Blade? That was one. Okay, mm -hmm. does count. Uh, he's got one. Let me think. Um, Baldur's Gate 3. That's another. That does technically count, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. It is hard to name another one. I'm trying to think of another one that I played. He's got 30 uh, well, years of video about, game playing experience. Yeah, I, you've, listen, can, well, give me a game that's not about sex. Could you do that? Could really break from the mold that you're setting here? Damn it, I was going to say Luigi's Mansion, but let's rule down now. Oh, that's, that's where... Uh, like any okay, well, then, like suck, Mario let me Kart. Tell you. There you go. Yeah, 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 oh, it. okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. So what's your next video about? Uh, I should buy Avatar, obviously. Ugh, you're obsessed. You still haven't properly skewered the live action version, have you? The I know. the the, yeah, the, the James Cameron? Yes. No. <laughs> Not quite. That would be the... that would be funny for April Fools though. Oh, an avatar video, yeah. yeah. Because everyone's yeah. forgotten about yeah. that movie and everything that hey, happened. Right. Hey, let him release the, the third one. one and it'll bring it all together for sure. I'm certain of it. Wrap it all up in the it. most beautiful, beautiful. And the fourth and fifth bow. one, evidently. Uh, people were saying like when Avatar 2 came out, they're like, yeah, fuck all the people who don't remember any of the characters from the original Avatar. <laughs> this is a cultural icon. Meanwhile, that has since died down and I don't really remember anything that yeah, happened there was, in Avatar 2. Yeah, everyone saw it and no one remembered it. So it's interesting. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, Nicholas Diorio, where can people find you? What are you up to? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do drama shit. Same kind of stuff as Chud. I do streams on my second channel, which is the same one as the main channel, but in lowercase. Uh, and Ooh. then I do video essays. Wait, you can do that? You can have the yeah. same? Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, you can't have the same at. So one of them is Nicholas Diorio, and the other one is just Diorio. But yeah, they, they look uh, pretty identical. I do that on purpose because then people go, oh my god, I was unsubbed for your main channel, and they subbed the second one. You know, Boogie loves Oreos. He does. Dude, not me though. He doesn't respect me. No, no. He, he does. <laughs> he doesn't. Res does he respect anyone? I love those. Certainly not himself. Do um... you think there is someone? Do you think that there really is someone that he? Yes, looks he up really to respects and... Desiree Four. <laughs> oh, when is that the, the current mannequin one or, or the one to come? Or <laughs> uh, oh, future, is that the flashlight the tape to the? <laughs> That's the flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't know. I it's hard to keep. They like cracked straight. it in Vision Four rags. That's the one. The working model was just. <laughs> exceptional <laughs> well on that note i hope you guys had fun with the descent into hell that's not even I had over a lot of fun it's uh there's more to come but for now we're gonna look forward to we're gonna head out thank you so much and we will yeah, see everybody. you next time see, see you later, later everyone. Everybody. bye 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 bye